Come on. 30 seconds ago, it's supposed to be live, and it's still not showing us live. Well, let me share. Ah, there we go. Now it might let me share. I had that set to go live today, didn't I? Higurashi when they cry. I did really like that show. Fucking weird. Had to save that for later. Higurashi when they cry. I just did this a couple days ago, didn't I? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> uh, apparently, his son is having a mental breakdown in his Discord after his declining viewership. Womp womp. We used to be a community, guys. Who said I think the streams are bangers, but people just don't see them. Now he's threatening to Minecraft himself. Cause I'm sure they'll help get people to show up to your streams. Right. Drag the lake. You have a ride. Good day, James. Yes, it is a good day. I'm off. I had nothing. I had nothing to do today. I had all my chores and shit done on Monday. Vacuuming, dusting, laundry, whatever. So today it's like, wake up. What if I like doing today? Let's make a bunch of videos. <laughs> I love that Mr. Valedictorian doesn't understand what a freaking projectile is. Like, how do you not understand what a projectile is? Do you think projectile was only like a bullet from a gun or something? That's the only thing I can think of is that he thought it was only coming from a gun or something. It's not a bullet from a gun, guys. It's a spear that I threw. So let's see. I made a video for... Dangers of My Heart, anime slash manga. Uh, Jobs for Incarnation Seasons 1 and 2. Was the other one that I did. Love letter. No. 
my love story with Yamada level 999. I think that's what it was. I have music reacts lined up, but when they go live is a whole other story. I have like six or seven ready to go, but just like eh. At least I'm on Fridays like I normally do. It's like I like doing the music reacts, but the hassle was Alright, I do it this style. Locked with wide. Fuck. I'm gonna try it like this. Locked with wide. Try like this. Caprice strike. Fuck. I was like, oh, well, you got to do link and sync, and you have like the picture of the music video blurred, and it's like, well, this isn't any fun. Like, you gotta like get on. Like, you can't do it on a phone. You have to only do it from PC. You do link and sync. And I was like, dang it, YouTube, stop blocking me worldwide. Although, please, block me worldwide if the other option is copyright strike. And it just became less fun to do because I just had to deal with all the being blocked worldwide and or copyright strikes. And so there's some set to go live, but they're all link and sync usually because you have to. Which is very annoying because I did like doing those. What was really funny is, like, oh hey, this video has been up for three years, has over 100,000 views. Randomly gets blocked worldwide. Or just today, one of my Fallout 4 live streams got blocked. Like, what? Why? Why not? Like, I did Fallout 4 a long time ago, and yet randomly today, one of the videos got blocked worldwide. Or blocked partially. I think it was blocked partially, not worldwide, but get a little notification of, hey, this video's been blocked in certain countries. Like, why? It's been up for how? Over a year now? And it just now gets blocked? Like, come on, YouTube. Why do you make no sense? And so I just got a huge music list. Which, what I don't like is... Like, if I was to though, copy my mix list and share it, like, you don't see it. You don't see my mix. It does something weird. Or it plays, like, the first song on the list. So, well, that, that kind of defeats the purpose of sharing the song. And I'm trying to share, like, the whole mix list with someone. And you can't. YouTube and its shenanigans. Oh well. I'll get over it eventually. Someday. Far in the future. Like, I never probably would have discovered Baby Metal and Bandmate and Death Roll and X Japan and Lady Baby and all these others that I've listened to. Weren't for the interwebs.
No seizures from the space cat. Okay, he still kind of is. <laughs> Maz Isley Spaceport. That does sound familiar. Ace Man, how's it going? I, I just love all the bugs he's coming across because I've never came across a bug like that. I'm using a fuck ton of mods, and that will screw the game up. There was a... what was it? Carlax Infernal Metal. Dan and will not do the second part of it. Until I exited out of the game, went in, took off all the mods, setting it all in one folder, so just take the mod folder out, restart the game, do the quest, and then put the mod, well then save out, put the mod folder back in. But you know what? Again, that's my fault for using mods. And it was an easy fix once I figured it out. I had to spend like 20 minutes on the Google machine. After 20 minutes on the Google machine, it's like, oh, do this, this, there. Hey, it worked. But like after the party with Carlag, it's like, all you're doing is whispering into each other's ears what you want to do to each other. It's like, that is so sweet and romantic. Like that is far more romantic than any of the more adultish scenes you'd get with a staring or Lazel or Shadowheart. Just the two of them curled up next to each other, whispering each other's ears about the dirty nasty things they want to do to each other. Then we finally get the metal, the second metal on her chest, whatever, and finally, we can have her way with you. <laughs> yeah, that 45 minute fucking rant was hilarious. Even at 1.25 speed, it took a while to cover. Yep, 130 hours is wasted because he lost a single spear. But it was the most important spear in the game, guys. You don't understand. I love that the spear was absolutely fucking worth us during that fight because Gortash was immune to thunder damage, and that's what the spear did. Like, the spear is literally worthless in this fight. Why are you so cranky about it? Where's my spear? You still haven't told me. <laughs> Actually, since the fix is, or the situation that happened was, he picked it off from the ground directly instead of equipping it. It was counted as an environmental object. And guess what happens when you throw those? They break. Those OP he's building. I think that's another issue is the guide he was following this whole time using that spear is not worthless. So he's super salty about that. Guys, my entire build was based off this guide I've been using the entire time. Now that guy's worthless. <laughs> I tossed Britney Spears around for a bit. Oh, who am I kidding? She'd hurt me. <laughs> She's got total crazy mommy dummy vibes about her. Like when she tells you to jump, you don't ask how high, you just start jumping. <laughs> Oh, 
because I might... Ooh, I might have to see what movies are playing tomorrow. So what new movies come out tomorrow, if anything is worth watching? That, uh, Late Night with the Devil was fan-fucking-tastic. I am so sad to see that movie's not doing great. That movie deserves all the money. Ghostbusters, no, wait. That's for today. Where's tomorrow? Tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Ooh, Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. Oh, I might have to go see that. Ooh, and they got an XD at 4. Oh, that's perfect. All right, I might be going to see the new Kong movie tomorrow. Let's see, Immaculate don't care, Dune don't care, Kung Fu Panda don't care, Arthur the King, Imaginary, don't care, don't care. Late Night with the Devil is an awesome movie, but I already saw it. Bob Marley, eh. Wait for that to come to HBO Max. Brainy. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, 7 o'clock. I watch it after I watch. Nah, I'd be getting home from work way, I'm home from that way too late. Was light is bleeding? Meh. On oh, ten twenty is showing. Yeah, can't watch that. Right, so I might be watching the new King Kong movie tomorrow. I mean, guys, movies are too expensive. How do you guys expect me to go see King Kong vs. Godzilla, or Godzilla Kong, whatever the movie is, tomorrow? Unless you guys give me $1,000 right now. Because, you know, I need to get a large popcorn and a large drink, guys. Oh yeah, it's the raw fill music. Raw fill picks good stuff. <laughs> There's too many Asian people in the movie, guys. I had to get refunds. There's too many Asians in it. No one told me a Godzilla movie was gonna have so many Asian people in it. <laughs> Why can I see him saying that? Haven't they like banged on stream before? Which definitely said I don't need to see those two do one. Charlie Chan? You mean Jackie Chan? I don't know who Charlie Chan is. <laughs> now, Chris Chan makes an appearance in a movie. That's gonna be something to watch. He needs to make an appearance in one of the Sonic movies, I'm telling you. Depends on how you make the movie. Like people say, oh, you couldn't make Blazing Saddles today. It's like, yeah, but not for the reasons you think. Think about it. Oh no, the hero of the movie is a black guy? Oh, that's woke. Oh, they make the racist people have to be the bad guys? That's super woke. And that's why you couldn't make Blazing Saddles today. <laughs> He's just too busy saying Chicky Chang Wang to say any name. <laughs> Chicky Chang Wang, go fuck yourself. I 
Because of how irrational and angry he gets whenever he sees a minority on screen. Don't you dare call him racist. I mean, sure, the second he sees a minor on screen, he loses his fucking mind, so it's ranting and raving, chewing on his fingers, but don't you dare call him racist. That's saying something, Robert. How you doing, man? Humor's so dark, these people start chewing on his fingers. <laughs> Wesley! I'm so hoping for more gold dust. I just love that minor, the minus of things, he's all. Watch! Like, the screen took 1.4 seconds to load instead of 1.2 seconds. It's a glitch! I know, it just took an extra couple of point seconds to load, dude. Calm down. Ooh, burritos are good. Oh, he's definitely gonna bring up Ninja having cancer. Cause what was it, like, melanoma on the bottom of his foot? Like in a weird place to get it. Like of all the place to get melanoma cancer is on the bottom of your foot. Like, how does that even happen? Acknowledge that as Burrito Day. Uh, Luis, he had a whole 45 minute rant over it yesterday. And I love if you keep an eye on his chat, people will be like, alright, that's like the third ad in 15 minutes, I'm out. It's like, ah, DSP has it set to every six minutes. I looked into it. DSP has his ad set to appear every six minutes. Like, dude, that's a little much. He said like six, ten, or six, twelve, eighteen. Yeah, every six minutes. So six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, or thirty. Got mine set to twenty-four. Or, you know, once every half hour ain't that bad. Nope, DSP's got it set to every six fucking minutes. So I don't have a free bird around here, so I wouldn't be able to tell you that. I've done Chipotle. Chipotle's okay, but... I'll just stick to the grilled cheese burritos at Taco Bell. And if you don't believe him, just ask him. You'll definitely tell that's what the fans were asking for, even though it makes no fucking sense. <laughs> Someone tips me ten dollars right now, I'll skip the ad. I've not watched the new X-Men that they got up. I'll get around to it eventually, though. I have so much on my list to watch. Now that I got High Dive, I got a whole new list of shit to watch. You know, you don't have enough time to watch everything you already have? 
Well, here's a new streaming service to give you more shit to watch. Finally got through Jabba's reincarnation. I had to stop there for a bit because uh, the ick factor was getting to me. Is it a good show? It's a good show. Very funny in places, interesting, cool concepts. But then the ick factor comes and it's like, God, why can I... Ugh. So what, don't worry, after the age skip, they're adults now. Well, they're over the age of 18? No, 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 they're adults in that world, which is 15 and older. Like, so they're not adults! Can you stream the Batman animated series anywhere? I'm pretty sure you can get it on HBO Max, can't you? Or Max. I'm sorry, it's not HBO Max anymore. I can you imagine you made such an incredible character that they got introduced to the comics afterwards? Oh, good question. I don't think I've seen Phil's name in the chat yet. And it's 210. And I'm not delayed. Did he pass out? Please tell me he passed out. Guys, it's not my fault. I got too drunk last night because I didn't make enough money. Actually, no, he actually made a good chunk of change on Like a Dragon. He made over $100 on Like a Dragon. He's about to get his third hat in a row. He's about to hit the heckle. Three streams in a row. Holy shit. Well, anime series is also on Prime. Nice. Professional gamer, guys. Late to his own stream in his own home. Even with a union, if I was late this many times to work, I wouldn't be able to keep my job. Now I'll just stick to Taco Bell or Burger King. Right now, Bake, uh, Burger King has the two for five Whopper Junior thing. They have two Junior Whoppers for five bucks. So I have one on my way home from work at two o'clock. And all right, it's dinner time. I'll have the other one now. Just take those in an air fryer. Holy shit! Fuck the microwave. Fuck the microwave. It's all about the air fryer for me. You stick. Oh, I have half a pizza left. You stick in an air fryer to heat it up. Delicious. Burger King sandwich, sticking the air fryer, heat it up, and that lash ass. King. Where 
the fuck is he? Did he die on the toilet? <laughs> Fall like the king? Is he just now going live? <laughs> he is just now going live, holy fuck. Those things are amazing, Wesley. It's what I got. I got the Instant Pot Duo, which is the pressure cooker and air fryer in one. So you have two different lids to go with it. That's what I've been using, and it is so fucking amazing. Holy fuck, I love my Instant Pot air fryer duo thingy. Like, alright, dude. Three pounds of ground beef, two pounds of rice. Two pounds of veggie, spices, butter, whatever. Throw it all in there. Air pressure, or the, nah, the air, the pressure cooker section. Hit it. Done. It beeps. That food is ready to go. You have seven pounds of food. You have ten bowls of food. At least. Ten bowls of food. Like, I am set for a fucking week for dinner. And lunches. Like, holy shit. Next five days is covered. And then other times, like, right, you know, you on the way home from work, do the two for five junior whoppers, eat one on the way home, do that on the fridge, and nope, it's time for dinner. Stick in the air fryer. He has to cook a snack for cat. Music ended for some reason. Uh oh, what did music stop? Yeah, that's the other thing. You get an air fryer for the summertime. Then I have to heat up a whole oven. That's the other thing. Like I was doing burritos. Like, all right, normally the heat up an oven takes this long. So I actually set the preheat for the oven, set the burritos in the air fryer. And guess what? About two minutes after the oven was done preheating, they were done in the air fryer. Like, they are done. They are ready to fucking go in that air fryer two minutes after the oven was preheated. Garrett, how's it going? DSP didn't start the stream until about... Two minutes, maybe three minutes ago. Oh, I'm not actually seeing him in chat. Oh, this is Nightbot going off over and over and over again. There's Dark Gaming in his chat. Dark Gaming's chat, but where's DSP? He is super fucking late. They'll never remake the X-Men Legends games, unfortunately. Fuck, they won't even make a new one. <laughs> Oh, he's got to wait for the Zelda pants to come out of the dryer. Yes, yeah, so if you ever get the chance, get the Instant Pot Duo. You get pressure cooker and air fryer in one. I get my old Instant Pot to my mom. 
My mom, her oven stopped working, but she has a toaster oven that fits pizza, so she's good there. And she's like, well, I want to do a large pot of rice or a large pot of pasta. You can't do that with the toaster oven. Like, well, here, here's my old instant pot. It actually has a button for rice. You put the rice in there, you put the water in there, get rice, and you're done. Like, it's done on its own. You don't have to do anything. Press that button, and you're good to go. Well, he doesn't, his wife does. I don't think DSP ever sobers up. <laughs> So fucking late to a stream. For DSP forever. I say like he didn't show up until like two fourteen. He didn't start the music until two fourteen. Well, his slide stream, whatever. And yeah, we've just been sitting here waiting. Guys is on my phone emailing Larry Studios demanding they give me back my spear. They told me no. They called me an idiot. Oh hey, he's finally setting a stream. Holy shit, that was only six minutes of music. Oops, wrong button. He only played his music for about six minutes. Because he didn't start till 2.14. Pause has only been a feature for like two or three years. So yeah, it only took him two or three years to realize he can pause recording. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Level 1 Podcast. Welcome to my final consecutive streaming day of the week. Today is Wednesday, it's the Wednesday. 27th of March, 2024. How are you all today? I hope that you're all doing well and you're ready for the final push of RPG Overload. That is right. We have two RPGs that are really ready to finish within the next couple of streams each. I have the black bag shirt ready. I'm excited to see the end. Like I said, the light is at the end of the tunnel for us to come out and finally jump into a ton of new games all at once, which would be very exciting for this channel. How are you? Well, how am I? Well, just woke up. You know what they say? You ever heard of a term, uh, Murphy's Law? It's interesting. It's an interesting term. It's an interesting saying. Right? He's going to screw this up. Sometimes life is just crazy and it applies. And today was one of those mornings where, without giving you too much detail, I was running all around trying to do my normal routine of shaving, showering, having breakfast, while chaos was ensuing in my home. Wait, 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 wait. You don't shower in the morning. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't shower in the morning. Fuck off. Home that I was running around trying to control, right? And so I was already kind of like running way behind. But I was like, oh, I'll probably still make it in time for the podcast. 
So I sit down and I turn on you don't the stream shower. and everyone in the chat is freaking out saying, why is Phil's you know, podcast not on yet? You know, he's a few minutes late. I'm like, well, get to it. I might as well just turn it on rather than talk to people in chat. I'll just get it going. And I sit down. So it's, the podcast is going on and I, tur I sit down right here as the stream is, is starting and I take my seltzer and I open it up and it explodes all over me. Look, the bottle is wet all over the sides. It went all over my desk here. <laughs> Oh my God! Too bad I didn't like get not, on his laptop. It wasn't enough chaos already going on in my home right Would've now. Would have been funny if he fried and then his the laptop. Thing just erupts like a geyser in my face. I was like, Oh my God! So that's life, right? Thank you. Uh, the good news is it's nothing too terrible going on or anything like that. It's just normal life stuff, but it all just piles up and then all of a sudden hits you at once. You know, today's the morning when I do a lot of things. Like I shaved for the the, the time of the week that I shave is today. So I had that going along with you know having everything else I normally do. So I'm already kind of like behind. Snort. And then everything else happens at once. So anyway, nothing crazy. Don't worry. Nothing horrible. It's just weird because I am one of the more consistent content creators out there. I have a set schedule and I'm pretty much dead on every day on the schedule, right? Like it's a rare day when a stream gets canceled. Are his or if I'm really seltzers not the stream carbonated? I thought they were. Concerned because I'm here every day like clockwork, right? I shave every Being couple even days. Even just a few minutes face. late today, people are like, what's going on? Is Phil okay? <laughs> right? I, I actually appreciate the sentiment. I do. That's nice to know that people care because you know that I'm usually on time and if I'm not, something's going on. So thank you for that concern. It's actually very nice. Um, but everything's fine. On today's show, we have a couple things to talk about. First of all, an update on RPG Overload. We are almost done with both Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Probably two more streams each, maybe, and we'll wrap them up. Maybe three for Like a Dragon. We'll see. Uh, but also, I have an interesting idea for something to do during my upcoming birthday bash marathon, which if you didn't know, is only in a week and a half drink, now. My birthday is on April like 6th. I do with my jug of water. I'm a big marathon here on about exploding. I have a really interesting idea to run by you guys tonight. I talked about it on last night's late stream for the few that were there for Like a Dragon. People seem to like the idea. So, of course, now I want to present this to our usual daytime stream folk and see what you guys have to think. Um, in addition to that, we got some game news today. All right, so I have a couple game news stories to cover. And then lastly, and this one I'm not going to spoil until we start playing Baldur's Gate 3. But, ladies and gentlemen, okay, I had a back. sneaking suspicion about an element of the Baldur's Gate 3 plot throughout the entirety of the game. And... You got your spear back. Through a rare cutscene that most people don't actually get to see during the game, my suspicions have 100% been confirmed. You mean the that guy I you actually, used. per my role-playing of the game, made the right choices. Now, I don't really want to inundate this podcast with that discussion. I know that many of you don't care about Baldur's Gate 3. So I think what we will do... And why would they be there for the game? Once I boot up the game and we start with the gameplay later today, I want to kind of reveal this to everyone. And yes, of course, there'll be plot spoilers, but that's fine because we're playing well, the Wesley, game. Obviously, good people, to there are going to be spoilers right? on the plot, right? Uh, Clean shade. <clears throat> oh, see, 90s guy says, I don't know if there are right choices in Baldur's Gate 3. When I reveal this plot to you, this plot twist... You actually will know that that there are right choices in the game. Most people would not know this because if you miss this one cutscene, there is unanswered questions. But the cutscene actually only plays in like two situations ever, and most people never triggered those situations because they're not go. following a guide, jackass. Yeah. All right. Let's get started, shall we? Um. Well, first of all, today's my last consecutive streaming day of the week. I want to thank everyone who is patiently waiting in the wings. It's been two weeks of RPG Overload Mania, where I've literally just sat here playing Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon trying to finish them so that we can get to the new games. And I know some people are very upset at this. You guys are absolutely positively in the right to be upset because there's no variety on the streams. I'm a variety streamer. It's not fair that you're not getting the variety that you're usually used to, okay? You're going to get it soon. You make your All schedule. Right? I want variety. I'm craving variety. I want to play other games, not these same two. You so I'm happy we're getting to the end. Schedule. All right. Um, Jackass. But thanks to those who've been hanging out with me and still engaging and supporting these streams, regardless of the fact that it may not be the games that you're loving, uh, there's good stuff coming. In fact, just okay, he's playing Dragon's Dogma. returning to Dragon's Dogma 2, starting up Which my co-op playthrough of Beyond RPG. Two Souls with my wife, Kat, uh, Alone in the Dark. Those are three things I want to do kind of right away. Also, I, I definitely want to at least give the Battlefront Classic Collection another shot and see if they've fixed it because I've heard they've patched it multiple times and it may actually work now. 
but maybe if it's just a joke, we never play it again. And of course, some people are asking me to return to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm okay with that, but I don't want to immediately jump into it since we just finished two RPGs. I don't want to jump into two more. All right, but, but Dragon's we'll Dogma is an RPG as well for balance and see what happens. So <clears throat> there is good variety coming. All right, and of course, my birthday marathon is coming up on Saturday, April sixth, and that's going to be a big variety of stuff. So the first topic today, let's tackle this idea that I had for my birthday marathon event. For those who don't know, when I do a marathon, you sit instead down, of you doing play video games, and people give you money. Two different streams Great idea. of two games. I just do one ongoing stream that starts usually at the same time in the morning, around 10.45 a.m. Pacific time, and will run all the way to like 8 p.m. or later. So it's a super long stream for me. I'm sure he got someone to pay him. nowhere near that long. Or donate um, the game to him so he's going to play So the, here's what we're doing during that event so far. Number one, a gaming schedule update. We're going to actually go through all the game release schedule for the rest of the year and get all those solid release dates and mark them on a calendar, and then we'll get an idea of what months will be busy and what months won't be so that we can kind of fill in the gaps of projects oh, and things that we want to do when there's time permitting. Because the thing is, there may be months when there's no time because there's so many new releases, and there may be months with tons of free time, and then we have the opportunity to say, hey, what about this game that I skipped and didn't get around to? Or what about this game that I started and never finished? Maybe we could bring those back. Maybe we could actually get Fightcade set up on my mini PC and get some classic fighting games going, correct? <clears throat> so all these possibilities. Um, and I'm excited for that, obviously. Uh, so let's see. Let's do that. That's a big thing that will get us geared for the rest of the so year. So obviously, okay? in addition, there's going to be food. For that. I'm going to order a meal, eat it live here, called Feasting with Phil. We have a good time with that little. I mean, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it a food vlog. You can call it a mukbang. You can call it whatever. But it's just a fun little thing that we do. And I talk with you guys while I eat and tell you about the food, but also answer questions and stuff like that. Um, my wife's going to be making me a birthday cake, so I'll be having a piece of cake at some point during the stream. <clears throat> and there'll be some booze in store bought cake because. It's my birthday, so I'll probably be drinking a few things during that day. Now, another idea we had is a tier maker. And the idea that we had so far is to maybe rank Mario games. Like, take some of the big, biggest Mario Sunshine, games of Dead all Last, time and all just that. kind of rank them against each other. Could do that. Or if you guys have a better idea of a, a tier maker, I'm all ears. Typically, the tier makers that have done the best, if you can believe it, are, like, about food. Like, when I've ranked foods and stuff, people seem to like that. Thing you it was know also when I food. ranked the best games of my career on YouTube. I've ranked my previous Game of the Year awards. People like that, too. So, if you have an idea of what you think you want to do to rank you know, rank something in a tier maker, we could do that. Now, I came up with another interesting idea. Randomly yesterday. Maybe, Mr. Casanova, how you doing? I was going my YouTube, uh, what do you call it? YouTube Studio app. And basically what this app is... It lets you do all your stuff on the go. I don't have to be at my PC. I can approve comments. I can check on video status. I can do all kinds of You've stuff. You've been with doing that. You could be able to do that for and years. Just on a whim. I don't know what what happened because I wasn't really thinking about it. I said rank videos by views. You've been able to do that for years. Boom. Fourteen years of videos ranked by video views appear in front of me, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, this is fascinating because some of the videos that are my most viewed videos of all time on DSP Gaming make sense. Others are like, you wouldn't have thought that those videos would have gotten that many views, okay? <clears throat> and so, an idea popped into my head, okay? How about Which this? Your For my birthday whales bash, you to do this? we do a very special birthday edition of Retro React. DSP watches and comments on his most viewed videos of all time. No one does that, Ace. And so what I'll do is I'll take my most viewed videos on all of my channels, including DSP Gaming, Dark Side Phil, my former vlogging channel, as well, which is now DSP Reacts, and my former KO Gaming, which is now DSP Throwback, and I put them all into like a playlist. So I can have like the top 10, top 20, most viewed videos I've ever made on the internet. And we can watch some of them. We don't have to watch all of them. We could just basically do it as we're having fun. So what is the most viewed video I've ever made on the internet? No. I think I know, but I could be wrong. Home front revolution. So I will rank them. I'll put them into a personalized playlist, and we'll just hit play, and we'll watch number one, it's number two, front number three, and it could jump. It could jump all around the channels, because in my tenure as a YouTuber, I've had a few videos that have hit a million views. Not a ton. But a few. I have a few videos that hit like multiple million views. And then I have a few videos that have like one million or very close to one million. And then I have videos that are like hundreds of thousands. You know, it trails off. So I think that would be pretty cool because 
it's something very different that I normally don't do. More and home from revolution. A special thing to do review, for the birthday event because it doesn't take away from anything Mind else. Mind you, he I'm never actually beat the game. From retro reacting to a playthrough on the DSP throwback channel, it won't take away. And they're cam from me doing my gameplay. You know, I'm it's doing all it on about a day them. that it doesn't really interfere with it's anything. Not about the game, right? right? Now, here's the thing: it, it's gonna be a special series. I'll record that and I'll release it as a special series of videos on DSP throwback. So the throwback channel will have some bonus content for the month of April uh, because we did it during the birthday event, right? <clears throat> I think that would be really cool. Okay? So, what do you guys think? Some people are reacting really well to it, and others are saying that's trash. But a lot of people are saying it sounds like a good idea. I mean, like, it is trash, game, it sounds like a fantastic right. idea, right? And now people are trying to actually guess, like, what's the most viewed video I've ever done? So, I think it'll be interesting. Something different. And again, I'm reacting to my old gameplay style, my old commentary style, my old recording style, which has been fun as we've done it on the throwback channel so far people have really liked it so i think that this would actually uh do well so anyway that's another idea for my birthday event you know and again keep in mind other things we could do during the birthday event if you want to see me return to street fighter 6 for the first time in months and do some casual play i'm down for that wow like, play casual some, not even know, ranked. blanca honda what a bitch zangief lily and dalsim just casual play i wouldn't do ranked play because i'm so <laughs> rusty but I would do some casual play or something like that if that's what you he want. He won't do right because he's rusty, you know? guys. So I, I, the, and the no thing one is, wants I just to watch want to have fun you. on my birthday. I don't want to have to What's be. What's the fucking point of, of watching you play like, casual? Okay, so we have a schedule of eight things we need to do. Let's do them in this order. Boom, boom, boom. I don't like that as much. I like having a more relaxed event, especially if it's my birthday and I'm going to be drinking. So it doesn't have to be ultra serious, right? <laughs> this is business. Doesn't have to be serious, guys. He just wants to get drunk okay. on stream. So there you have it. Again, any more ideas? We have a week and a half to figure this out. I hope you'll be here on my birthday, April 6th, for that fun marathon event. Okay? Excellent. Um, Let's get caught up on RPG Overload. In Baldur's Gate 3, we're already in the end game. We're in the final area of the game. It's past... Basically, you're past Act 3. This is kind of like Act 4 or end, end of game. <clears throat> and we're in the midst of... Uh, so you shouldn't be taking huge three more streams to beat this. You should be done of big today. Time battles, and the first one is the biggest one. After that, the, the battles are tougher enemies, but less of them. So we're in the first one, and how would you know that unless you're using a guy? Group of allies. We have like holy fuck, DSP. Uh, after this, they're tougher enemies, but there's fear. The only way to know that is if you're using a guide. Ten groups of allies we can summon for the end game. I summoned one, and it seems like we're doing fine. Like we're actually winning. Keep in mind, these battles take forever because there's like, I'm not even kidding, there's like 30 enemies you have to kill. But we're doing all right. Like, we're kicking their butts. And it was funny because I was like, gee, should I summon more friends? And then uh, I think it was Darziak in the channel who said, why would you do that? It looks like you got this game. It's already won. Why even summon anybody else? Just keep going. I'm like, yeah, you're a good point. So we actually kind of saved right in the middle Maybe of that fight. <clears throat> now, I don't actually know how many fights are in the end of the game. So we'll see. Uh, but we'll see how far I get today. You if should I beat be the beating game today, it that's yesterday. Great. Apparently, there's like a two-hour epilogue segment, and we'll do that on Friday. If we don't beat it today, then we'll definitely beat it on Friday, and hopefully we'll still have time to do the epilogue segment because I would like to see this game sent off, you know, sooner rather than later. You, you have nothing else better Friday, to do. That would be super, super. You can sit there. If it was okay? a five-hour epilogue, you can sit there and said, watch it for five hours. At the beginning of the show, I have found out a critical piece of Baldur's Gate 3 lore that most people have actually never seen. Even though, you know, the cutscenes are all online now, the game's been out since September, most people who play the game don't encounter this particular cutscene, and they're not aware of this particular plot thread that actually changes the plot, and there's been a series of choices that I have made throughout the game that a lot of people are baffled at. They're like, why is Because you're using that? a why guide. And I keep trying to rationalize my choices. Because and you're people are using like, a guide. Oh, you're wrong. Actually, from what I've seen in this cutscene, 100%. I have... I was correct. I know. All along. And there's only one cutscene He's using a god. Because it's the he only so time fucking ever blatantly using a god. And I was like, wow. Well, I'm glad I made the choices that I did. And it actually makes sense because something happened last stream yesterday in the plot that kind of seemed weird. And you're like, why would that have happened? Why would this particular character have done this if, you know, the entire game it was something different? And now it makes sense. So... I will explain this as soon as we start today. We're going to be in the middle of the fight, but as soon as we start the gameplay of Baldur's Gate 3, I want to explain this to everyone. So That the guide you've been using that told I you actually, to use the spear, uh, feeling better you're so now, mad about losing. That, you know, 
that this is the case because I, I feel like I've made the right choices. You know, some people got an ending to the game. They thought it was a happy ending. And in reality, if you see that cutscene, you realize it's not a happy ending. You got fooled. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's continue. So today, end game of Baldur's Gate 3. Will we finish all the combat and finish the big last boss or not? I don't know. But I have another scheduled stream on Friday when I come back from break. So it's all good. If we don't do it today, we'll, we'll wrap it up on Friday. Okay. Um, Tonight on the late stream. I think they're probably nice people. Especially his, his dad. His dad's probably just... Dragon Infinite well. DSP. I feel that, especially his dad's probably just no nice normal. He he worked in an office for how long? He worked for the helicopter company. And he worked for the hel company, ah, helicopter company for so long. And did such a good job that when he's like, Hey, my son's a fuck up. Hire him. They did it. Like he said, Hey, I need a favor. Hire my son. And they did it. Like, if you hate someone, you're not going, oh, he wants us to hire his son, we better hire him. No, if you don't like him because he's a piece of shit, you're not doing that. So I definitely feel at least his dad was a good, normal person. And just DSP fell so fucking far from the tree that it's hilarious. Continuing with the end game of it. And last night, man, we were in turbo mode for two and a half hours. We played through chapter 13. Finished off chapter 13, went right into chapter 14, which had giant cutscenes and plot development. And now we are in the final segment of the game for Kasuga and his party in Hawaii. We are actually in the final fights. There's like a couple boss fights left. And then it's done. His plot is done for the game. So we're there. We're in the home stretch. However, this game has two That's protagonists. That's why they to move to two locations. Seattle. So when we finish with Kasuga, we then have to go back to Japan for Kazuma Kiryu's party. And the problem is, they're going to be under level. Like, I've been playing two, three straight streams with Kasuga's party, so they're almost like level 50. Kiryu's party is like level 41. So I'm almost like 10 levels under level for the end of the game. What I'm going to want to do is power up weapons and jobs, and I'm going to likely have to do some grinding to prepare, because that's what happened to my wife. Is she's like, I completely beat Kasuga's story. It went back to Kiryu, and I had to grind for like an hour or two in the optional dungeon to level up so I could beat the game. And I'm like, ugh, sucks that you have to do that. But at the very same time, this is the send-off for Kiryu. So maybe it's it's cool to at least have one final segment of gameplay. The only bummer is... Only bummer is... It doesn't fit it your schedule. It seems like, sadly, it's going to be longer than I had hoped. I was hoping that I would beat this on Friday and time it exactly with the, the end of Baldur's Gate 3. And now it's looking like it may not be the end. Like, I may have to do another stream of Like a Dragon to finish it, like, maybe Saturday night. How horrible it is you when have it, to play we're, a we're video there, game. Right? We're at the end. 140 hours of Baldur's Gate. He has to play a video game, hours of Like a Dragon. We're there at the end of these incredibly lengthy games and ready to wrap them up. All right? <clears throat> so, let's see what happens tonight. How let's see how horrible. far we get. I know I'm going to finish the story and play tonight, a video game. But I don't know how far into Kiryu's we'll get or if we'll get a chance to start the grinding and then maybe jump into his story on Friday night. I don't know. We have to see. But that's where we are with each current game. Now, I'm off from streaming tomorrow. So no streams or, you shouldn't or be videos tomorrow. tomorrow. But then I come back on Friday, and that's where we jump right back into these games to finish them. Once I finish these games... If you're games, worried about finishing Like a Dragon is, on time, bring back Dragon do a short Like a Dragon stream tomorrow. To the daytime streams, and alternate that with Alone in the Dark. Okay? Now, I know Alone in the Dark didn't get stellar reviews, but if you take a look at the reviews, actually, it sounds like a pretty sound, interesting, suspenseful horror game, which I love. They're my forte to make no, a not. horror game entertaining. I do a good job. You sit there looking bored the entire time. That game, even though it wasn't rated super high, will do pretty well. I think you guys would love the variety on my streams. It would definitely get more interest than, say, another RPG right now. Okay? So I think we're going to alternate between Dragon's Dogma 2 and Alone in the Dark. Okay? <clears throat> And then, on the night streams, I'm probably going to want to do a Battlefront stream just to see if it's been fixed. And if it has, maybe I'll bring that into the, fo the, the fold as a multiplayer game once or twice a week, maybe. But I want to start this co-op playthrough with my wife of Beyond Two Souls. It's been... My wife. Basically, we had the idea two weeks ago, and we just my been waiting, waiting So now when these RPGs are done, we can finally start scheduling that. Now, for clarification purposes, number one, Beyond Two Souls is not a super long game. I it's around 10 to 12 so hours hoping. long. I am so hoping... And also, he can't my wife is not going to want to do this every day, every other day. Or, I mean, Friday. Her, you know, probably maybe Pokemon once a week, Saturday. twice a week tops. Okay? So this would take potentially several weeks to get through to finish. Probably over the course of April, we'll be doing this Beyond Two Souls playthrough together. This is our first ever actual co-op playthrough. You know, you could argue the Dondoko Island was, 
but not really. We only did four, four hours of that, and quite frankly, it got boring, so it wasn't really officially a playthrough. It was just kind of an experiment. Uh, this is different. It's narrative-based. <clears throat> she's never played it before. She's wanted to play this game because she likes the Quantic Dream formula, and she's never seen anyone else play it, so she's completely unspoiled. I thought she was a fan of yours. Why it's didn't she want you play it? It's going to be a fun playthrough to have her with me and making all the choices and me being Why there didn't she want you play if she was such a huge fan of yours? I'm going to control the supernatural character uh, while she controls the main character who does most of the choices. We're so, a huge fan of yours. Never watched you play the game. Now, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I leave in your hands. The thing is, if we bring back Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you realize we're playing two RPGs again. We'd be playing Dragon's Dogma 2 and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth at the same time, and it almost feels like we're going to go right back into what we just did with Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. Do you really want to go back yes, to that Yes, but Final Fantasy VII is not Like a Dragon. Final I'm Fantasy VII is a good game. The, the other idea I have is <clears throat> to resume Elden Ring. I haven't played Elden Ring in a year now. And so to bring back that playthrough, my second run, the Magic user, try to get back into the swing of things, learning the game, trying to figure it out, um... And continuing on with the hardest parts of the game, you know, we still have a lot of the hardest <laughs> gameplay. We got to go to the underground. Uh, uh, and, and fight Facebook that does alien. not like glasses. That takes us to the magic island where you fight. But if I don't wear dragons. my glasses, I can't we see shit. We have to shit. go to the up, upper right hand corner of the map, the frozen area, <clears throat> fight the giants, and then there, that gets us underground to the Moog Lair, and that's what we have to beat the Palace of Blood, so that we can actually get the DLC unlocked. So just what I just described could literally take like most of April if we play it like once or twice a week you know what I'm saying so that's what I'm thinking is that we that'll be April I mean just think about that Dragon's Dogma 2 Alone in the Dark co-op with my wife maybe some Battlefront and bringing back Elden Ring does that not sound like an awesome April and of course once we look at the schedule on April 6th my birthday marathon and we see the landscape of games coming out now we'll have a better picture of what else is happening and decide what other new games we want to play in there okay so, I hope that sounds good. I that just that's great variety, is it not? And of course, there's some people saying, "Well, bring bring back Sea of Stars." And this, we're 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 waiting on RPGs. We're gonna wait for a time of the year, all right? When there's not RPG overload. I the last thing I want to do is play two three RPGs again at once, and then it's all boring again. This channel is already dramatically down in views and engagement and support when it comes to the YouTube side of stuff. The streams wah, have been wah. doing great, but the YouTube side of things have been way down. Because people don't want to come by and just watch the same two games all day, you know? So I think it'll be a good variety you month make the as schedule. long as we're maybe just all doing your one choice RPG. And do Dragon's this. Dogma 2 is the hot new one everyone's playing and talking about. So I think that's what we should do right now. Okay? Fair enough? Hi, pipe, pipe. He doesn't want to be Mr. Hype. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for my favorite segment, your favorite segment, and everyone's favorite segment here on the Level 1 Podcast. It's time for DSP News. Bill eating a shotgun I think it's show. time for me... To change the logo a bit. There we go. It hasn't been red in a very, very long time. That looks almost pinkish. Right? Hold on. I want to make it like red. Can't have pink, guys. That's not manly color. That red? That's red, right? Good enough. Okay. It's time for some gaming news. Let's cover it. And by the way, as you guys know, shout-outs will be coming at the end of the show. So thanks for being patient. Thank you, Jared. You upped his membership there, and I'll give him a shout-out in a bit. <clears throat> we have a couple news stories to cover today. Yes, Air First Force of all, life. prepare to laugh, because ladies and gentlemen... So glad I got around to getting Air Skull and Bones. The first ever quadruple A game from Ubisoft, according to CEO Eve Gameo, is currently being sold for $40. The game has only been out for one month and has dropped in price from $70 to $40. Womp Chances womp. are we're going to see even bigger price slashes soon because retailers who stocked this game have sold nearly no copies. It is just sitting there on the shelves, unsold. So retailers are just trying to get rid of it and they're just continuously slashing prices. Right now at Best Buy, it's 40 bucks, but they're actually predicting that prices will go down to somewhere around 30 to 20 within the next next month because Ouch. literally no one has bought, played, or talked about this game. It's dead. It's a dead-in-the-water game. Are you shocked, right? Like I said, my wife and I tried it on one of our days off on Game Pass. The game is literally a mobile game. 
it has all the mechanics of a mobile game. It has so you should love bad it. graphics, you love quick time animations. Games. It just has the feeling that it has that <clears throat> that gameplay loop of resource gathering, right? And and just repetition. There's nothing fun about the game at all. It's it's pathetically bad. So are you shocked that Skull and Bones is forty dollars only one month after release? And by the way, again, this is Eve Game O, the CEO. When they said, "Can you justify the seventy dollar price tag of your game?" And he said, oh, it's, a, it's not even a triple-A game. It's a quadruple-A game. The guy is a jackass who should, literally should not have his job. He, there should be someone else in charge of a game company that's in touch with gamers and what they want because he's going to keep hurting not only his own company but the games industry as a whole if he keeps driving this thing off the cliff. He's an idiot. He's made bad choice after bad choice. How about how many games you have released, DSP? Track record now. Oh, wait, you've never released a game before. I remember over a decade ago, the big botch launch of Rayman, uh, Rayman uh, Legends. You never complained about WWE Champions. Rayman Origins or Rayman ah. Legends? I think it was Rayman Legends, where originally the game was supposed to be cross-platform. Mr. Igimi decided that it's going to be a Wii U exclusive. Now, at that time, no one knew the Wii U was going to be a huge flop. So all the developers made the game exclusively for Wii U, and then the Wii U comes out and flops, and he delayed the release of the game and ordered them to make the game cross-platform. To which they responded, that's what we fucking wanted to do to begin with, and you told us not to. So now our game is done on Wii U, and you're telling us we can't release our finished game. We have to sit here for four or five more months to port it to all the other consoles. And they were picketing outside of their game dev studio saying, release the game, it's done. You know, <laughs> the, the, the management don't know what the hell they're doing. So they took the time to make a good game instead of releasing ago. a buggy game. And it's just been misstep Arms, after misstep after misstep. The, the mishandling of Assassin's Creed and how bad it got, right? The mishandling of all the Ubisoft franchises and how they run into the ground and they're all samey and they suck. This guy should not be in charge of that, of that again, company. He's, he's tell me how many games you released, DSP. So, Skull and Bones, it sucks ass. It's already slashed prices. I don't recommend that you pay any money for it. Just saying, it looks terrible. But there you go. Um, Our second new story of the day. Hands-on previews of the new upcoming game Judas from Ken Levin are finally hitting the internet. And if you don't know who Ken Levin is, I don't blame you. It's been a long time since we heard from him. He is the person in charge of Bioshock. And I don't mean Bioshock 2. I mean Bioshock 1 and Infinite, the two games that connected and then had cool DLC to have this alternate universe multiverse plotline. That's right. The multiverse was a thing in video games before it was in the Marvel Universe, or I should say the MC. The fuck? DCU, well, DC Comics and Marvel Comics have had multiverse for decades. Shut the fuck up. DCU. Correct? Um, so, very interesting. Uh, here's what we know about Judas. It's Bioshock in space. It has a non-linear story structure, meaning you can play the game in different orders, and it's all fine. It's up to your own decisions. The main character has memory loss, and you're trying to regain your memory over the course of the game. Three major side characters are in the game. One is called Tom and voiced by Troy Baker. And before we all make Ooh, a, a rude comment about Troy reloaded. Baker... Uh, I like him as a voice actor, and he actually hasn't been in much recently, so I would welcome to see him as a voice actor in this game, as, a, as one of the main you characters, so I'm happy for that. He's a great voice actor. Uh, Hope <laughs> and Nefertiti, don't know who they are, you know, there's just three main characters. Each of the narratives occurs simultaneously. So it almost sounds like there's three stories, but they're all taking place simultaneously, and maybe the characters actually have interactions during the course of the game. Um, your decisions with these characters will greatly affect the narrative of the game, Every player experience will be different based on the choices that you make and the order that you play the game. So maybe if you play with Nefertiti first, Tom second, and Hope last, it might change the plot. As opposed to if you play with Tom first, Nefertiti second, and Hope last. You see what I'm saying? That's interesting. Maybe some, some replayability. Apparently, there's going to be some roguelike elements. For example, I guess the protagonist's name is... is uh, excuse me, the antagonist's name is Judas. And she has the ability to regenerate yourself after she dies. So you can technically kill the antagonist, but then she might come back later in another form or rejuvenate after a time and come back after you. Which is kind of interesting. The game sounds interesting to me. It sounds like they've taken a, an established premise. They've added some new elements to it. 
It sounds like the element of choice is going to be cool. I like the fact that it's not linear, so you can do it in different orders and have different outcomes. And, dude, Bioshock 1, in my opinion, one of the best modern games that I've ever played. I mean, that plot was so effing good the first time that you played it. I mean, the plot twists and stuff. So, man, I can't wait. This game sounds great to me, but Would again, you, you gotta wonder, the fuck up man, with all the hype now that's gonna be behind this, because Bioshock has been on the shelf for, what, a decade? You know, will it live up to its hype? I don't know. Um, but it looks good. And so I hope that we'll have more information soon, and I hope that uh, it comes out, you know, relatively soon. I don't think we have any information on when it's coming out yet. i just seen this information. Like, people are talking about the previews that they got or had. But no one's real. I didn't see anything about like a solid release date. I don't think the game has a solid release date yet. <clears throat> ben Rogers says, keep in mind, Bioshock 4 is still in the works. Yeah, but the problem with Bo Bioshock 4 is it's not made by the same people. You know, it's the same company. They own the rights, but it's not the same people behind it. So there's a good chance it won't have the spirit or the feeling of like Bioshock 1 and Infinite. It, it might feel like Bioshock 2. It's kind 2. of surprising he has had more medical issues with how bad his health is. It really was. It was an un oh, how bad his health should be with how un unhealthy he eats. mess of a game that didn't feel nearly as good as Bioshock 1. You know? that It was sad that when you played it, you're like, oh, I wish you want to play Bioshock 1 again. You know? Um. Anyway. <clears throat> Judas, keep your eyes peeled for it. I'll let you know if there's any more information on it. Okay? Um. And then... Uh, our final news story of today is that Phil Spencer was interviewed, <clears throat> and here's what he said. You ready? The layoffs that have happened at Activision are necessary because Xbox is a business, and it somehow has to be profitable. He thinks that the console market is currently not growing, and that Xbox's brand pivot to games on more than one platform is a path to growth. <laughs> Allow me now to read word for word what he said, and then I'm actually going to give you your own dented opinion on my it. opinions on That's this. Wrong. So here's his fir first big statement. I will say every decision we make today and tomorrow is for the better of Xbox, said Spencer. I know sometimes things get weaponized and there's some evil in the background that's making us do things. Phil hates exclusives. That's why we're like PlayStation, we're like we're on PlayStation and Switch now. Every decision we make is to make Xbox stronger in the long run. It doesn't mean everyone's going to agree with every decision that we make, but it is fundamental for how we make decisions. This notion that Xbox can only be this one device that plugs into the television isn't something we see in the Gen Z research because nothing else is like that for them. Some of them will have an iPhone, some have an Android, but all of the games on everything are the same. I can still get to TikTok on both of those devices, at least for now. All of their stuff is available wherever you want. So for Xbox, our brand pivot as we attract and maintain relevance with a younger audience is Xbox is a place where I can find the great games that I want. I'm not going to say anything yet. <laughs> I'm going to keep reading word for word what he said in this interview. Okay? It was a slight trade joke, dude. It was a black market trade joke. It's a little bit totally of bullshit, different. Spencer. But I'll say the thing that has me most concerned for the industry is the lack of growth. When you have an industry that is projected to be smaller next year in terms of players and dollars, and you get a lot of publicly traded companies that are in the industry that have to show their investors growth, because why else does someone own a share of someone's stock if it's not going to grow? The side of the business that then gets, get, that then gets scrutinized is the cost side, because if you're not going to grow the revenue side, then the cost side becomes challenged. We're a business. I said this over and over. I don't get any luxury of not having to run a profitable growing business inside of Microsoft. And we are that today. But just across the industry, you mentioned it. And in sitting here at GDC, I go to the guy who's declared bankruptcy being interviewed, and somehow I reflect came on out friends of mine worse in the industry on the other end. that have been displaced and have lost their jobs. And how just I don't want this industry to be a place where people just can't with confidence build a career. So that's why I keep pivoting back to how does this industry get back to growth? But to your question, for us at Xbox or any of the teams that are out there, is it really an outcome of an industry that's not growing? I can, it can grow and it will grow again, but you see this time right now and the implications have human impact and we should all reflect on that and think about it. Well, first of all, Mr. Spencer, it's not our job to reflect on it and think about it. It's yours. You're in charge. You're the one who's responsible. So if you're not growing, 
You Why? created the monster. Now you can't control it. And if it. you can't figure that out, step down. It's that simple. You're in charge of the ship. If the ship is going off the edge of a waterfall and everyone's about to drown, and you're the one controlling the ship, do you think maybe someone else should take the reins? I'm just saying, like, you're in charge. He says, we should all sit back and reflect. That's your fucking President job. President make it about that's crashing into a are. bridge. Literally, that's your position. Right? So when you, when you hear shit like this, it's PR speak. What is he saying? We're a company and companies need to make money. And if we're not making money, we still have to make money. So we have to cut people. Wrong. Wrong. That's completely incorrect. Okay? People invest in companies for long-term results. People don't immediately invest in stock and think, tomorrow I'm making a profit. That's not even the point. Day traders. Someone who's a smart investor goes for long-term investment. Sometimes you'll invest Day in a stock that's that. a long shot, but you think that projected down the line, it'll get some money and you'll make a big gain on it, right? Dark Seed of Flow, how's it going? Stock thinking, tomorrow I'll make money. He's literally saying, well, what would we you know about trading money stock GSP? Right you don't now, do that. Right? No you one will ever invest in us ever oh, hey, that reminds me It's completely Jack fucking Robin false. Hood. What you need to do is prove to people that your company has a plan that long term you are going I'm to be profitable. Currently, you have two hundred fifty-two dollars a day. He's the of nice. Xbox, and he doesn't even understand fucking business or investments. That's from the guy who's never ran a business. <laughs> Last time he had a job was what fourteen years ago. Like, it's insane. Last had what a job saying? fourteen Literally, years it's ago. Literally, it's nonsensical. This is complete short-term thought that doesn't work for any kind of a long-term industry. He's he's making judgments in his company and, you know, everything Xbox based off of we must make immediate profits now no matter what. And that's not how a good business operates at all. There should be a long-term plan in effect that you can prove to investors it's worth it to come invest with us. Here's why. I have this in place, this in place, this in place, this in place. Not, oh, well... Right now, the whole industry is seeing some shrink. So therefore, we have to cut all of our jobs so we can still pay out money to the shareholders. That's stupidity. You know what? If you have a ton of shareholders where all they care about is immediate profits every moment, you have a bad group of shareholders. They're not going to have your back when you need them. So that's fucked up. Are you well, supposed to go to them and beg for your company more as tips? a get-rich-quick company. Instead of a company that will actually benefit people in a portfolio of long-term investments, you fucked up. Sorry that I have a finance background and I know about this shit. No, you he don't know, know shit. How to run his company. He's making you haven't done anything business-wise in 15 years. In re relation to anything realistic when it comes to business. And this guy is in charge of the whole fucking company. Take a sip, you sleazy asshole. <laughs> Unreal. Absolutely unfucking real. I hate to say this, guys, but this is just goes to prove again. I said it again and again. The people who are in charge of these companies don't under even understand the industries they're talking about. Right? How often do you think there's going to be a giant explosive profitable boom in console gaming? Maybe once every console generation, there's a, a spike. It's not going to be constant money pouring out of it, but there will be times when there will be giant profitable streaks. You know, do you think that Xbox's strategy recently is working? Buy up every fucking third-party studio and then literally just be hands-off and let them do whatever they want and pump out unfinished messes like Redfall? Do you think that's going to make money? But that's what Phil Spencer's doing, and now that that's failing, he's saying, well, we still have to make money somehow, so cut everyone's jobs. No, Phil. Here's what you do. You get fired. And someone else steps into your role who knows how to run a company... And then you don't what, have to do you? that anymore. Are you going to apply for that Someone job, DSP? Someone just take charge instead of sit back and act like a frat boy and dress like you're in college, right? Someone who can actually fucking put their foot down and say, here's what we need to do with Says the guy who used to wear gamer shirts every every day to his so-called business until LTG made fun of him for it. The only reason he's not wearing a gamer shirt right now is because LTG made fun of him for it. Our games. They have to be good. They have to qualify these criteria that gamers are looking for. We have to be sure that we're hitting these markers so that people will want to play our games on our consoles. Not, oh, well, the games industry is in a downturn, so I guess we just cut jobs until it comes back. You're a fucking idiot. Bill Spencer is a fucking idiot. What he's saying is ridiculous. I read this article this morning. I was like, are you out of your fucking mind? It's just insane. You know, it's absolutely insane.
and staying in the membrane. As he says, he scratches himself but like a chin. We're, I hate to say it, but, you know, the, the whole corporate America in particular is an industry where people fail up. And what I mean by that is these people are horrible at their jobs. Fail up. Right? They you, motherfucker. Things, and they're still rich and they still succeed somehow. Because it's like when you're, once you're at that level, you literally never, never get any, any accountability for what you do. You just continuously get paid. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <clears throat> there you go. Michael Caine just Hot said something very cattle. interesting in the chat. You ready? He says, there's an old video interview clip with Steve Jobs. He explains why companies fail. Because salespeople get promoted to decision-making positions and salespeople don't care about quality. You've got Eve Gamo over here saying, C of the, excuse me, I said the of the, that's incorrect. Skull and Bones is a quad A game worth $70. The game is a pile of dog shit. But he says that because he's a salesman. You got Phil Spencer over here telling everyone, oh, all these studios we're acquiring are great and everything's good. Then he completely hands off with anything and all the games they pump out are dog shit. So then he says, oh, well, our industry's in a downturn, so we have to lay off people to be profitable. You're in charge. You are the people in charge of the companies. And the people who are getting punished are the people below you for your bad decisions. Do you see a problem with that, perhaps? Right? Really? He sees himself, Listen, doesn't he? if I make a bad Cyclops, decision, how's it going? if I do shitty things here on stream or whatever i'm the one who gets punished for it, correct i'll be the one but well, you did nothing wrong you did everything i correct. said something awful on a stream that was terrible and then other people suffered for it not me so i'm fine i stay where i am and i just keep you know i get to be still be a youtuber but everyone else gets hurt imagine that that's the positions these people are in they can literally just sit here and make mistake after mistake after mistake and their company you just motherfucker on you make these mistakes get, suffer for it that's pretty insane don't you think like, Michael Scott just, at least had his heart in the right place. That you have people in charge. I mean, I've already had an issue with Phil Spencer over the years with some of the dumb things he said. I, I keep telling you guys, you can't trust the guy because he's essentially just, a, just just like we just said, he's a salesman. He's not a CEO. He's not a leader. He's a salesman. He's put there to the forefront to push stuff. And then when it all fails, he just smoke and mirrors you to a different direction or something else and makes up an excuse or whatever. It's nonsense. The guy's a joke. I mean, why is Xbox right now, even though they have comparable hardware to the PlayStation 5, why are they so far behind this console gen? Can you think of a reason to have an Xbox besides Game Pass? I mean, Game Pass is a great value. I like the Xbox controller better than the PS5 controller. But if all games are on both consoles, and PS5 has a few awesome exclusives, why would you not want the PS5? Correct? So, unless he can fucking figure out a reason to own his console, there will always be a downturn of console sales this, this generation. I mean, it's his fault. <clears throat> I honestly don't know why people like him so much. Why? Because he has a smile... Because he, you know, again, because he looks like a friendly guy. Again, because he looks like a, a friendly guy. There's also a downturn in the economy and increasing inflation. He was in charge so people of, don't have the money Microsoft to spend on the Xbox One right era. Now. And now the Xbox Series S and X era, when it's on a downturn. You understand? So Spencer didn't decide to increase inflation. He's not doing the right choices. He's not. He's not doing the right choices. He's doing all the wrong choices for Xbox. And it's sad because the hardware is good. There's nothing wrong with that console. I like playing games on it. It's his fault. He doesn't know how to run the company. And it, the thing he just said there blows my mind. He says, so we want people to think of Xbox as the, the place to play all the good games, but it doesn't have to be a console. Then what the fuck is it, you idiot? What is it? What are you talking about? Are you a third-party developer or are you a first-party company that has a PC console that you want to play games has on? Game Pass. You can't have it both ways. If you have I it both played ways, many no one games needs a console. You on can't PC, sell Xbox as a brand Game Pass, the brand including the console. coming up it's Pills of Eternity to Deadfire. Right? It does, he says all makes with no that, fucking sense all at all. with Game Pass on PC. It does not have to be on a console. Jackass. Anyway, it blows my mind. It gives me a headache that these people are in charge of these companies. Uh, what a story. What a, an uh, that'd be fucked GDC. up, Garrett. I mean, after that, I'm going to be honest with you guys. For all the people who are like gung-ho behind you know, Microsoft, I'll be honest. I, I have lost confidence in this company. Listen, I love my Xbox. I love Game Pass. I love the controller. Hell, I still get surround sound on my Xbox, which I don't get on my PS5. But, dude. You can't be a worse manager. You can't be a worse leader. I don't. I, I really can't imagine. I mean, the guy is such an inept idiot. He's like an oaf, a bumbling, bumbling around, slipping on banana peels, and fucking making excuses for everything. It's, he's ridiculous. He's like at this point, it's like a, com a comedian. He's not a fucking corporate leader. That is not how you run your company. Like, what the fuck is going on? Anyway, it is what it is. Yeah, I guess we'll continue to follow. I don't know how he thinks he's going to pull Xbox out of the fire when he's at GDC saying shit like that in interviews. All this does is kills consumer confidence. I'm glad I'm imagine you're a shareholder of Xbox, right? And the New CEO Zealand of the company you own, I don't know how they can afford anything there. Just said, in an island, he they believes there's an everything. industry downturn. So everything the costs way, way you fucking money more. Your share is to fire employees. Would you want to continue to be invested in that company, or would you say, "Wow, this sounds like a, a ship that's sinking. This sounds like a room that's on fire, and I need to get the fuck out." Right? And he publicly said this in an interview. 
like New Zealand, Why Australia, so United Kingdom, like they're even if everything he says is true, is it's still stupid to say it. <laughs> oh my god, right? Sometimes you have to be smart enough That's why, like, to realize that Bay things need to be more. left unsaid. Bill Spencer's not smart island. enough. He's dumb. Yikes. He's an idiot. He doesn't listen to me, guys. You just give me all the money so I can tell him what well, to do. Well, guys, that's what I got for gaming news today. Ban uh, on the trolls. Sorry that that one was such a bummer. It really is a bummer for me. Because, again, I like my Xbox console. I, I like the Series X. I think it's a super console. Spencer, you need to find a way to ban all the trolls so I don't like have to deal the idea with trolls. Of Game Pass. It pains me. It pains me to hear people who are in charge of this industry say dumb shit. It's like, so, it, it seriously, it's like, this guy is like, it sounds like he just that's got, like, got in and out PC of a college game system. Pass, that they just taught him like four and five shit. and switch. And so that's all he knows. So it doesn't he has no insight. He has no experience, no wisdom, usually. no wisdom. And he's been running Xbox for what a decade now. He has zero wisdom or any kind of knowledge in the industry. He's just still spouting out his textbook answers for everything that he learned in college. You know, that's not the fucking person to have as a leader. Should you be the leader he's then? He's got DSP? a nice smile and he's a good salesman, right? So he's the leader. Sounds like he's a plan. He's got charisma right? and he's nice to people. Yikes. So that's why they dislike okay. him because he's nice um, to people and he has charisma. Roger, How dare I, don't, he? I didn't hear anything about a Marvel Rivals. Maybe he got announced today. I didn't hear anything about that. I'll have to keep, look, look into it. He says there's some new 6v6 PvP beta this May game coming out. I don't know. Okay. All right. So anyway, guys, <laughs> sorry that yeah. the news was such a downer and a bummer today. What? What? You know, I got to cover what's in the news and. There you go. Um, so, that's what I got for today. Uh, I've covered pretty much all of my topics that I wanted to discuss. So, I guess we'll get to shout-outs at this point. Um, now, wait a minute. What happened here? Oh, no, he broke something, guys. Hold on a second. Give him $1,000. I didn't get the and also message. like that he mentioned Maybe focus groups because focus second. groups, mm. yeah, sure, listening to them is a good idea sometimes, but not all the time. There we go. Yeah, for some odd reason. So, Jared, thank you so much. Jared re-upped his Ultra membership for 13 months this morning. It didn't capture his message in my leaderboard system over here, but there's a fan funding section on YouTube now, and it has his message, so excellent. So, Jared says, I love the idea of the birthday react and return to Elden Ring. You share the same birthday as my father. I never forget the sixth. Have a great streaming day, Phil. Thank you to Jared. I'm glad you like the idea. I feel Thanks for sharing. Father having I think, the same birthday again, as him. if I get good feedback over the next week, I think it's something we're definitely going to do during the birthday event. And I think people would like to see me return to Elden Ring after being away for a year. I need to get back into it to prepare for the DLC regardless, right? Excellent. Uh, so thank you, Jared. I am David. Just did a super chat and says, hey, Phil, been a while. How you been? Uh, I've been good. If you haven't been around for a, 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 for a couple of many, months, nice. I'm going to be honest with you. You probably haven't missed a heck of a lot unless Shut you're interested. DSP. I was looking at uh, the Atari collection on Nintendo Switch. Get it for my mom. Oh, it posts for the games. No, it doesn't. It has space, not, uh, but it doesn't have Space Invaders. It has like Missile Command, but it has like 2600, 5200, 7800. Like, so it's the same game, just across three different Ataris. That's how they get away with, oh, we got 50 games on here. Like, no, you have like 10 games. We have like three different versions of every game. Like, yeah. My mom about it. She's like, yeah, it's all right, especially if it doesn't have Space Invaders. She was a beast at Space Invaders on Game Boy back in the day. Interested in Baldur's Gate 3 or Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth because those are the games I've been playing the heck out of Um, because they're so insanely long. And we're currently in the midst of what we have been calling, hold on, RPG Overload, where literally every major high-profile game coming out has been an RPG, and I've been trying to juggle all of these, and it's been very rough. Because they're too long and they take so long to get through that the channel becomes inundated with RPGs. Which is why I'm saying right now, I think what we should do, we're finishing both Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon this week. <clears throat> we will be playing Dragon's Dogma 2, but I'm going to be balancing that with way other different games. So that that way we have variety back instead of the same shit over and over, okay? So, uh... Same shit. You've been gone. Way to up the, the stream there, months, DSP. That's what you missed. And guys, this week you want to watch the same shit? And, uh, Remember, guys, it's the same shit, we're guys. We're actually going to uh, do variety. But outside of that, I don't know how long you've been away. 
So, <laughs> you know, all kinds of stuff going on this year. DSP Throwback Channel, <clears throat> which is my rebranded it's channel. The same shit, where guys. I do all throwback you guys want to watch the same we shit? Two re edited, re uh, reprocessed playthroughs going on there of Red Dead Redemption 1, which is almost done, and Final Fantasy 13. Which, as of this, oh, I forgot to mention, as of this morning, ladies and gentlemen, you ready is for this? Is it played Dragon's Dogma 2 VR, and Elden Ring, which over are both 40 parts RPGs. into my Final Fantasy 13 remastered playthrough. Okay? Which is my original playthrough, upscaled, 60 frames RPG per second. RPG Overload brings you know, back Elden Ring and Dragon's Dogma 2. minute parts, thumbnails, the, the whole nine yards. After over 20-some, I think it's like 22 hours into the game, the game just went open world. We just got to Grand Pulse, which is where you can finally explore an overworld and do missions and do side content and stuff. It's finally not linear. This is actually when the game gets good. It took that long for Final Fantasy 13 to get good. Well, how, how lame. And that's why I feel that game wasn't as good as it could have been, because who wants to wait 22 hours to play Final Fantasy in a Final Fantasy game, right? Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Um, Jin Brain forgot what he was going to say. What was I going to say? <laughs> he oh, is so fucking so lost. So the throwback channel, not only do we have two ongoing playthroughs for posterity purposes, but also I started reacting to my old playthroughs once a week, and people love this retro react idea. You know, modern Phil, 14 years later, coming back and watching his old playthroughs and cringing at the bad commentary and laughing at the gameplay and just generally reminiscing and having a really good time with the audience. So I've loved this event, and, you know, we're doing it more and more. You know, people are currently voting. on. You're running into the ground Sunday. again you guys like with everything. On Let's take a look, because we haven't looked at All this right, in GS several parody. days. I got someone coming up on vacation soon, so, so I'm going to be volunteering for some overtime. Hopefully they let me get it. Currently on the main channel page of DSP Throwback, the we new have a poll on the like, community oh, tab I don't like where people no are voting on what the next uh, retro so, yeah, well, event People will be. on vacation, and you don't really got the a results. choice. 467 votes in so far this week. Keep in mind, this poll will keep running till Sunday. Uh, Dark Souls 1, the original 2011 run. Continuing on with it, because we did play it once, and we got to the Tor Taurus Demon, the first major boss. 24% of the vote. Bully, my original 2013 run, 48% of the vote. Bioshock 1, the original 2009 run, 18% of the vote. And Mass Effect 1, the original run where I played it on Insanity, 11%. So, it looks like, unless we have, no exaggeration, about 200 more people vote and vote outside of Bully, it looks like Bully will be our next Retro React project starting this Sunday night. 11 years old that playthrough is. And that was a, that was a historic playthrough. I was like, go there and Number select, one, uh, it split the kind of quality the playthrough was. It started as a camera pointed at the TV. And then midway through, I adopted direct capture and it became a direct capture live stream game. And number two, it's a Rockstar game that's not a Rockstar game. And what I mean by that is it's not GTA. You know what I mean? It doesn't follow that adult formula. It is a more PG rated game. Um, but it's not really PG. It's kind of in the middle. It doesn't have the over-the-top violence and sexual themes of GTA, but at the same time, it's very irreverent. It's got that immature humor to it. It's a fun game. So it's kind of cool that for the first time in so long, we're we'll exploring uh, that universe. I'm actually excited because I don't remember how even how the game starts or anything. That'll be pretty fun for Sunday night. Now I'm curious, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. FYI. FYI, will you give me money? I was doing Retro React once a week on Sunday nights for six weeks to do Heavy Rain. You guys loved it so much. You came out, you engaged, you supported, you, you kept supported, it going. Support, supported, okay? That's all he now, cares about. If this continues, meaning, let's say this Sunday night for Bully, people come come and they show up and they engage and they support and it does and well, they support. That's all I will cares consider about continuing support. doing this on a weekly basis. That was not actually the original intention of the series. I was going to do it maybe maybe like twice a month, if that. And I was going to keep it scarce because I felt, hey, if we don't do it all the time, it'll feel special. But you're right? going to run into the ground but like you do everything else. They seem to love the idea. They've been really you know, liking the idea, showing up to the streams and supporting them. So if the stream does well Sunday night, I will keep it in the rotation every Sunday night. Okay? So let's see what happens. You know, go from there. But right now, fully on Sunday night and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay? Cool. Um. All right. Our first tip of the day has rolled in. Oh, he's so happy, guys. It's a $4.20 first tip. Cent tip. Excitement. From Dan the Man. Thank you, Dan the Man, for a $4.20 tip. I appreciate <laughs> that. His World of Warcraft retro stream. That'd Hope be hilarious. Well today. It was actually funny because Dan him. was here last night when I was playing Like a Dragon. And I said to him, 
Dan, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying Like a Dragon. He goes, I'm not here to watch. I'm not watching that game. I just wanted to support the streams. I was like, oh, okay. Not not surprising. You know, again, these long RPGs have have really been around for two, three months. In the case of, of uh, Baldur's Gate, like over three months. So I'm not surprised that, you know, people just come by that like me. You know, they're like, man, I can't wait for him to finish these games so we can see something else. No one likes you, DSP. So thank you, Dan. The first tip of the day. I don't even think your uh, wife likes you. from Dan you. there. Uh, taking a look, I think that's all we've got for now. So hint, hint. if any other contributions come in, I will shout them out. And if anyone wants to chat, uh, please tag me in the in the chat. And we'll see what you guys have to talk about, Okay. Uh, Sussy, as much as I would like to take more days off, I cannot take more days off right now. They suggested that every Sunday I alternate one day, one Sunday being a React day and one Sunday being a day off. That would never work. I have people who are members of the, the DSP Reacts channel because they get four streams a month to submit videos and be watched. So that wouldn't work. Uh, I just can't. I have to work as much as I do right now. But you maybe don't one day that will work. Change. If you play Something video changes, games, a channel will Friday's week, then the sixth day, will be sitting to watch other people's videos. Change. People will you stop do not work constantly, even though I just sit here and make content all day and stay in my lane. Uh, I don't know, but right now I have to work as much you as I do, and there's nothing I can really do about it. Work, okay. Uh... When is Friday Night Fights coming back? Says Lucky Gremlin. I have no idea. Right now, it's not in the cards because right now I'm all fighting gamed out. I'm enjoying my hiatus from fighting games, which hasn't even been a month yet. Uh, I you can't wait to get back into them when there's a reason. Don't. Right now, I don't see a reason. Work. Uh... What's up, Jade? I know you won't be here for Baldur's Gate. I'll see you tonight for Like a Dragon. Derek says, I'm thinking of doing a birthday tier maker for your birthday. Well, what would it be? Like, what what's your idea for it? Because that's what we're trying to figure out. Like, what kind of a tier maker should we do on my birthday? Uh, have I ever called into a radio station before? No, never, Mr. Toadstool. I have. Dark Gaming says, I did a quest last night. That's old I am. Two. We used to it call into radio stations. Other missions I was doing. The game has a lot of easily missable content. Um, My wife is playing Dragon's Dogma 2 right now. She's way ahead of me because I only played it the one day. And she said, a lot of the stuff is awesome and a lot of the stuff is wonky. She's had more than three different missions that were supposed to be timed missions that you need to do them, like, right away. And then the mission, like, doesn't work. Like, she had a mission where apparently someone was, was uh, like, stuck in a cave being attacked by wolves. So she went to the cave. She saved the person. And the person said, I'll see you back in town, you know, and then meet me there, and that'll be the end of the quest. She, the person never made it back to town. They just disappeared womp, from womp. the game entirely, just gone. <laughs> and she went oh, back to look, and maybe he's still back. in the cave. He's not in the cave. He's not on the road. He's not in town. Yup, yeeted off the planet. Great. And that's she says that's happened like three times in her playthrough. So Are you about to demand <laughs> that studio great, right? write you a letter of apology? <laughs> Double M says after all the RPGs are finished, you have future plans for another RPG. I mean, we're talking about this now, right? Dragon's Dogma 2 is the next one for me. After that, do we go back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Do we go back to Sea of Stars? Do we play a new one that I skipped? I don't know, but I know I can't play three of them at once. It's never sure going to work. Can. It will never work. I, I, I can't. Even now, Dragon's Dogma 2 and Final Fantasy 7 at the same time, I don't think it works. I don't. I, I, we, I have to play different games. I can't all be playing RPG, RPG, RPG. <laughs> That'd be hilarious, you Garrett. Know? Sussy says, don't take a second day off. Have a Sunday that's a fake day off where you chill with us here. But again, again, what I'm that's trying to tell you, day. all right, is that's reacting. It's a day off. I'm already so in demand for what I'm doing. So in right? demand, people guys. Want me to play, like literally that's in chat, people are saying you're not going to go back to Final so Fantasy VII right away, and I'm like, no, I don't want to play two RPGs at once. <clears throat> Double M just asked me, well, what other RPGs are you playing? When are you playing them? And then everyone's like, well, what other games are you playing? Not RPG. You understand? Like I'm being pulled in ten directions already because I'm so in demand by my viewers. So when the man, he has to cry back, back every, every single week, fucking day. Right? The people are paying for it. They want to have that react show. People are loving retro react. They definitely want that to continue. Right? So it's like, I am, I'm, it, I'm in the opposite situation of a lot of people who are like, man, if there's no hot game out, I have nothing to do. I literally am being demanded to play all these games at once, and I can't do it all. So how then, in the case that I'm already not able to play all the games that people want, how on earth then am I going to take a day off of anything to just hang out with people, right? Like, like I hear you. What's happening right now is 
basically people are saying things are going to change. You're not always going to be a full time gamer. You're getting older. We like hanging out with You're you. You're I mean, turning 42, point, the last not couple of 82. Months, I once a month, I've had a late night where things just didn't go according to plan. So I said, let's just do a late night hangout. 42. Stream. And those streams get 82. high attendance, high engagement, and high support just for me sitting here chatting with you for a couple hours, right? So I hear you. I think that's where we're headed is in the long term, it's going to be less about gameplay, 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 playthrough, 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 and more about just kind of hanging out and talking about various topics and the like. I, I completely agree. But right now, I'm like being pulled in a million directions. So unless people are okay with me dramatically reducing the amount of gameplay that I put out, right? I don't see how that's possible. You play, like, you know, I'm one man. Games. I'm getting pulled in a hundred directions, and there's not much I can really do about that. I can't. I you wish have to cry and cloning, beg for support every well, single you know, time. I don't know if cloning would be a good idea. My clone might get some, some good idea that they could take over for me and try to murder me or something. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe shouldn't clone, you know, but I'm one guy and everyone wants to see me do everything, right? <laughs> but Get says, I'm currently grinding Metal Slimes and Dragon Quest XI while watching the podcast. Good luck. Aren't they on that island? They're that particular island that has like a ton of Metal Slimes. I think there's one island that has like a bajillion of them, if I remember correctly. Oh, hold on. Got a burp coming. Feeling pretty bad. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. Wow, you had I time to mute the there. microphone and you coming. still I didn't want you guys did you, did you hear it badly? Didn't. I tried to do it in another direction than the direction of the mic. Sorry about that. You had a chance to mute the microphone okay. and you fucking um, I received did it. a twenty five dollar tip. One minute, man. From one minute man, he says, I hope you don't run out of spells today. You could have grabbed some bombs in case. The Nautiloid tanks are waiting for you to blow them up. So they do blow up if you hit them. Okay. Hope you choose the most satisfying dialogue options. Good luck completing your first run. Thank you, One Minute Man. And One Minute Man, did you hear what I said earlier on the podcast? I have been privy to a cutscene in regarding the, the plot of Baldur's Gate 3. From a guy that, actually that he's made been the right using. decisions the entirety of the game, but you wouldn't even know it. And a lot of people who beat the game don't know what's going on. And actually, the ending is very deceptive. And apparently, I'm going to get a better outcome ending because of my choices but people let me put it this way without spoiling i can't really explain what i mean but i'm going to be talking about it first thing when i boot the game up okay there you go where the gaming says you do blatantly talk about using a guy that's the sp really you mean just uh, on-demand videos and when stuff? When the WD servers go down, he's probably going to be Hopefully sick that's not the case month. by the time I upload later today. Guys, I'm too sick to um, play video games. I'm just so is, sick. If it is, I guess what I could do no, is... No, it's nothing to do with WWE Champions being shut down. Stream ...once the stream processes. Which is always an option. Right? I guess we'll have to see how it works. <clears throat> that's a random mail this. This happened to coincide with WWE Champions servers being shut down. Okay. Dark Gaming says, I should just show the cutscene. Well, I'd have to find it and play it on the YouTube app and everything. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Gaming says, everything gets stuck at 7%. Every video you upload gets stuck at 7%. Keep in mind, YouTube servers are regional. So it could be a regional thing depending on where you live. But this has happened before to me where I try to upload and videos will just endlessly get stuck and not complete. And then all of a sudden, later in the day, everything works because they basically fixed the problem, whatever it is. So hopefully it's not an issue. We'll see. I'll have to figure it out later. Actually, I might know sooner than later because I believe uh, today one of my editors is probably getting a new video of Red Dead Redemption up when on your unpaid Robot, editors so uploaded during the when day. When your unpaid editors doing all this work I'm and uploading the videos for uploading. you. So, I want to laugh when they upload porn one day just to fuck I, with them. I guess I'll have to check on that later and see if the channel got a new video or not. And if it didn't, that might be why it can't, if it's all screwed up. And the servers are not accepting vids. I don't know. I do not know. I'll have to see. Yeah. Way to stare at your phone. Anyway. Hopefully it's not a big deal.
how long does it take to upload videos? It, it varies. And this is what I mean. Like, YouTube is so inconsistent. There's some days I'll queue up the videos from the one stream, my first stream. I'll queue them up, and I'll go to eat dinner. And within an hour, I'll come back and check, and they're already live. And I'm like, wow. And then there's some days I queue them up to upload. And I go to eat dinner, and I come back, and they're not even done by the time that I'm starting my second stream. It's the same exact video quality. It's the same size of the videos. It's just a YouTube thing. YouTube fucks up. And so he did nothing it's wrong, just on guys. them. You know, it's correct. completely inconsistent. You know? Like I said, I think it has something to do with different regions and stuff like that. I don't know. No, Derek, I don't have any suggestions for the tier maker. That's why I've been asking the audience. Wow, look at that rocking. Oh, uh, let's see here. Roxanne, I received a dollar chair. tip from Anso Kamaru. He says, every time you say, e -gimo, I crack up. I don't know why it's so funny to me. He just announced that Immortals of Avium are going to be one of three PlayStation Plus games this month. That's awesome. I was literally about to buy it the other day. It's crazy. It just came out. Uh, it came out in the fall, all right? It's a shame it's a flop. Apparently, everyone that plays it said it's great. Yeah, it's a combination of really bad marketing and really bad timing. You know, it came out around the same time as Baldur's Gate 3, correct? So everyone was so hyped what about Baldur's Gate 3 out? and no one had heard about this other game because they He's really had to buy a new phone well. soon. No one even uh, knew when Champions it was coming out or what it was about. So, yeah. That was one of the reasons why he was talking about having to buy a new phone. He was so upset about it. I received a $10 tip. From Chakak. What's going on, Chakak? He says, how do we know you haven't already been cloned and the real Phil was dead for five years? I think you're lying about being more mature. You're a clone that murdered the real Phil. Well, maybe somewhere out there, uh, there's still a, there's a 42 or about to be 42-year-old Phil who's making incredibly crude comments, getting himself into all kinds of trouble, getting canceled on every platform. <laughs> right? Uh, perhaps you're right. Maybe that's true. Maybe I'm a Peapod person, right? You ever seen Invasion of the Body Snatchers? Maybe. Who knows? And maybe... Immortals of Avium. Just maybe. Single I wouldn't even first be conscious person magic shooter. Correct? Maybe. The story I of Jack as he joins an late right? order of battle mages to save a world on the edge of an abyss. Of an abyss. <laughs> magic is the core of both... Oh, well, it's an interesting, defense, uh, an interesting defense, fluid, uh, premise. Fast, spell-based combat. More than 25 spells and 80 talents. Eh, could be... Interesting. Derek says, another Let's idea I had is to make a Kahoot care. quiz about you. There are four Spall options the hero's flavor, never to heard of it. What the heck Overwatch is a Kahoot 2, quiz? Mega Bundle. I've never Fuck heard of that, that before. Fuck Overwatch well, I've been playing the re-release of Multiverses in May. Uh, perhaps. You know, I really liked it when it came out two years ago in, in early access. I enjoyed it. I played it for a couple months, and then people told me to stop playing it because they got bored of it. So maybe, maybe it'll be a little bit of a fun reinvigoration to jump in when it comes out and play it a little bit more. I doubt it's going to have long-term longevity uh, because it didn't last time. But maybe for as, as a mess around... It is a free game, by the way. So, yeah, I, I don't see the reason why not to mess around with it a little bit again because I did like it two years ago. Oh, let's see here. I received a $3 tip. $3. He's going to be happy with that, guys. You're completely ignoring and missing out on an idea people tell you about. It's Community Nights. Once a month where every month you and the community vote on what game we all play next with you. That's a huge opportunity you're not taking. No. I don't do it because... It, I can't do it because of the trolls. I, I, I've explained this so many times over the last decade. That's I swear Ross. at this point, I feel like I'm talking to a wall that people just That's don't listen Ross. to. Okay? I can't do multiplayer nights. Because unless it's an incredibly controlled environment. Okay? Unless it's an incredibly controlled environment in some way. <clears throat> okay? The trolls Sadly, will get me, guys. You don't want the trolls to get me. Anything that's an open lobby, anything that's like anyone can join, join with multiplayer, they fucking ruin it. You understand? Like, for example, if I do a lobby, okay, we're going to do a lobby in Call of Duty. Immediately, half the people in the lobby are trolls who are just going to sit there and teabag and block the shot and not play and just be assholes. And all that does is it, subs it upsets the other half of the people who are there to play and can't play because the game's ruined by the trolls. So why I set trolls. up a night to play games I with people trolls. when you know it will be sabotaged and only upset those that actually want to play games with me? All I'm doing is creating a miserable night for people, right? I know because it's happened before. Every night I've you been stream is a miserable night for people. Now, in the case of Street Fighter Six, we somewhat were able to keep it under control a bit. There was still trolling. There were still people going in there with bad names. 
who were basically they wouldn't leave and they like yeah, you the WWE champions, they lost, but they still have a spot because they're assholes. You know, it worked, but it it was rough around the edges. But arguably, I think it did overall work. And after doing those, what was it like three weeks, four weeks in a row? Interest fell off. People weren't attending the streams anymore. And I said, it's time to move on. They weren't giving him money, so he You know, stopped. it just wasn't a big deal. There the is the no money giant stopped, demand stopped. for Community Night except for yeah, Trolls. Yeah, Thumb What. What the fuck the was that? Trolls want Community Night so they can show up and ruin it for the fans. So why I was sure I heard should thumb I what, create but the you, environment you, you confirm to Trolls to say occur? Thumb what. I'm not stupid. And that's the truth. Is why stupid. is there demand for it? Because Trolls don't really have many opportunities where they can fuck with me these days. Right? The chat is under control. The games I play don't have the interaction level that they can fuck with it, right? It's not like Wings of Redemption who tries to play every game online that he plays and all the online games he's constantly fucking I with. I tried appearing right offline and it still Instead, doesn't work. I, I stay in my lane and I do stuff that's controllable environments and therefore they don't have any effect on me. My streams do well. My gameplay does well. But you won't do it because well, of the trolls so they so still control you. Because they want to always be this thorn in my ass element and they can't be. They're basically, all of their efforts are fruitless, right? So why would I create the environment for them to now get attention again? I'm not going to because I'm not stupid. So if yes, that's a genuine are. question you're asking me, I hope that now you've got the answer. It's the same answer I've given every time it's asked in the last 10 years. People just don't listen, right? Don't you think I would like to do that? I used to. Don't you remember back in the day? Uh, people used to play with me all the time online. You know, games like Battlefield, games like the Assassin's Creed multiplayer, uh, Call of Duty, fighting games. We used to always do those kind. In December, when typically game releases would dry up, I would actually have entire weeks of multiplayer with fans. And it worked, and it was fun. And then all of a sudden, that's when the, this is how you don't play hit, and all those movements hit. And I Evil became the, the meme of the internet, and it just Evil became AJ fun to fuck yay, with Bill. And this is how you don't play. I'm not going to put my community into the line of fire with a chance that somehow, possibly, we could have a night without trolling. I'm not stupid. So your answer, if, to answer your question in a nutshell, the abridged answer, why don't I do community nights? It's a lost opportunity. You're a bitch. I'm just going to respond, nice try, but I'm not stupid. Thanks for the tip. Yes, you are. Uh, Spawn Killer did a super chat. He says, could you upload your King of Hate HD vlogs? So what you're talking about is the missing vlogs that used to be on the old King of Hate HD channel, but the channel is no longer visible. Uh, yes and no. Yes, I could if there was demand for them. Right now, it seems like most of the demand is for game playthroughs to either be uploaded because they just don't exist or to be restored so that they're better. Like, once we got through Red Dead and Final Fantasy 13, everyone was saying, what about Fallout 3? And I was like, but Fallout 3 is visible. And they're like, no, but Fallout 3 looks like shit. Can you do something about that? And that's what we're kind of looking into right now. How can we improve it and make that work, right? Um, oh, excuse me. But you're right. There's a ton of blogs from back in the day that were present on the King of Hate HD that just don't exist anymore that perhaps I could recreate on the throwback channel long term. The other problem about it is that a lot of the videos that we're vlogging have music in them. So, you know, back in the day, I didn't care about profits. I wasn't monetizing content. So a lot of the videos that I had from back then has like music. So why worry about it now? That literally is just I didn't worry about profit anyway. and content, guys. So the effort would be like, so why worry about it now? Back the vlogs, but then we have to edit out music somehow and stuff, you know? Um, we would have, have to. Why don't you do in it? Particular from the King of Hate HD channel, you know, over a decade LARPers, ago. That you not think the LARPers. That you, you're missing or you would like to see. Let me know. But I have not heard much major call or demand for the vlogging content. It's still possible we can re upload it for posterity purposes, though. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Eternal Late Pump says, I'm shocked people wanted Final Fantasy 13. Lightning's a terrible protagonist. Dude. I always said Final Fantasy XIII was a, not a very good game. Really? And people just were like, no, the freaking, uh, you know, Final Fantasy XIII, the, the playthrough's been gone for too long. We want it back. So, all right, I'll give you what you want. <laughs> I, I know the playthrough's not that good because the game is boring as dirt, but I'll give you what you want. And it did okay Eric says, hey, on views. Are multiple choice quizzes? I can create one. I can make it about you. Whenever, whoever gets the most correct answers, who knows fills the most, there's a top three. Oh. I mean, if you ever wanted to take a stab at something like that, go for it. But I wouldn't know what trivia or whatever to put in there. You know what I mean? Like, how many times has DSP messed yeah, in front of children? Questions and answers and everything. And I think that <laughs> sounds like a lot of work. No, that's up to you if you want to try it, Derek. Okay. Uh, 
No, I never played Star o Star Ocean Second Story Remake. I never played any of the Star Ocean games at all. I'm trying to think if I ever played any of the Star Oceans. I don't think I did. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Okay, what the fuck? My phone just blew up. Ten <clears throat> messages. What the hell? So, do you speak? Gonna start playing the game? Are you gonna sit there and stretch and relax? No. Sit there and scratch your head. If Battlefront is better, would I put it in the rotation for a bit? That was my original intention, was to have it in the rotation as a game to break up everything else as a multiplayer game, and then it fucking just completely died on launch because it didn't work. So if they fixed it and it plays and it's fun, I would love to play it. You know, I hope that they fixed it. How do you pronounce the name Sephiroth? I pronounce it like this. Sephiroth. In the song... The lyric is like, Sephiroth! Like, it ends with, like, an S. I don't know why. But it, they, it's like, they're not... I always thought they were saying Sephiroth in the song. Like, But no, it's... I think they say, like, Sephiroth in the song or whatever. It's confusing. But it is Sephiroth. <laughs> a trivia chat quiz sounds fun and interactive. How much money did DSP right, spend on W Champions? Hundred thousand plus, two hundred thousand no plus, one quarter is million playing plus. Anymore. Playing what? Infinite. The Stellar Blade demo is available. That's great. I told you I'm not playing it. I'm not playing Stellar Blade. I There's a woman in Stellar Blade, Blade, guys. He can't can play it. How many names does he have to tell you? There's Stellar a woman Blade. in Stellar Blade. He can't it. play it. Because I've already said. Stop say asking piece, for a game you know he can't it. play because there's a woman in it. My guns because I know things aren't going to change. So there you have it. I him to play a game with a woman in it. What's next? Expecting him to play a game with a minority in it? You think, oh, no one's playing Star Wars Battlefront Collection anymore? You don't think so? Oh, yeah? Oh, shit, I'm on the wrong console. I was going to try to boot it up right now. No, wait a minute. It is on PS5. Hold on. Hold on. You're going to hear some sound effects, guys. Actually, no, I'll mute it. Because if I don't mute it, you guys are going to hear Star Wars, and that's going to get claimed. Let's see. That's the only thing he cares about. He doesn't want to get claimed. I wonder if it updated. Hopefully it did. I turned off the sound. You guys shouldn't hear anything. If you hear the game noise, let me know. You shouldn't hear it, though. His fans are trolling and tell them that they hear it. Okay. Exciting gameplay footage there, DSP. Uh, 9,000, let's see, how much did he claim in expenses in his bankers call? 9,000 in July, then 5,000 in August, September, October, Connection November. Connection to host was lost. That's not good. So, oh, I'm joining the match right now. I what the fuck he tried to pull off in July that cost $9,000. Oh, uh, it's a stupid, is it a hero match? I hate these. No. At yeah, 5,000 right every now. month by July, which was 9,000. I'm literally playing right now. And it's working fine, actually. Yeah, it's actually running pretty good. You're playing a game, but you're not going to show any of it. What a gamer. I just killed someone. It's working fine. Why did that not hit him? Direct hit. Direct rocket hit to the droid. Oh, DSP, can we Dude, see this? Like no, you can't see this, guys. Yo, it's nice. It's can't smooth. can't play a video game on my video game stream, buttery. guys. They fixed it. They completely fixed it. This game is working well. The hit detection seems to be working fine. I'm playing it while I'm streaming my, my podcast. And uh, yeah, wow, they completely fixed the game. It, the, the hit detection is outstanding. I think he said 8,000, but I just who died. knows? If he yeah. even remembers what he said. 
The hit detection is outstanding. It was working perfectly. I was hitting them with rockets and regular lasers, and everything worked fine. It looks like they fixed it. So that's cool. And I got so in man, right away. I got right into a match. And of course, the question is, how many of those were real players and how many were bots? Because I think that game does have a ton of bots, right? So I don't, I can't answer that question, but it was working. I think that's, that's fine to at least try a one-off night stream and see if it works. And if it works, great. And if not, eh, forget it. I thought it was 25 push-ups off stream. By the way, dude, I received 20. another dollar fifty tip. Dollar fifty. The Indian DSP says he wants to meet you and discuss possible collaboration. If you don't agree, he wants to sue you for taking his name. Very nice. Actually, he would never be able to do that because even if you have a similar or same name, it has to be in the same realm. So, for example, if I also were an artist who did, like, Indian-style pop music like that that person does, then that's a suable offense. You can't sue someone to have the same name in a completely different medium or realm. That's just not possible. You can sue you over know? anything, DSP. That'd be like saying... You can sue over uh, anything. Tom Jones sues a politician whose name is also Tom Jones just because he's a known politician. You're like, what? You can't do that. You know? Anyway. uh, Once again, you can sue over Yeah, anything. the game looks like it's working. If you win so, or not, that's go. a different question. And uh, perhaps we will stick that into the rotation over the weekend or, or Monday, Tuesday next week once these RPGs are done. But in the meantime, guys, I gotta go. Alright? I gotta go. So thank you guys for watching the Level 1 Podcast. I hope you enjoyed the show. Keep in mind, I am not here tomorrow. I return on Friday. Hopefully on Friday, I will have a big... Uh, Should do a two-hour like a dragon stream RPGs. tomorrow. We'll just saying, news. I'll talk about my day off. Have to get through so that way all you beat it on incoming. Friday. All right, and uh, I thank you all for a great show. Do a two today. or three-hour grinding stream. That's all you got to do. End game tomorrow. push. But guys, I got everything done. All my chores are done. done so all the DoorDash orders, so we're thank good. Thank you guys. See you Friday. Peace out. I still want him to have to move back home. Can you imagine he's live streaming? And he starts bitching about something. Honey, can you stop yelling so loud? Ma, you don't understand. The game's lagging. It's stealing my mouse. Wham. Ma, what are we having for dinner tonight? I don't want chicken nug nugs. Well, honey, it doesn't matter what you want. What matters is what I'm making. But ma, I don't want chicken nug nugs. Why can't we DoorDash McDonald's again? Honey, we don't have the money for that. But ma. Why can't I imagine that so fucking well? Oh, did he freeze up or... No? I'm gonna laugh if his internet's down. <laughs> oh, that's getting pinned. That is getting pinned, Garrett. What board game did DSP not play and even banned from his childhood home from being played ever? The game? Sorry. The Burnells don't believe in not being perfect. <laughs> oh, that is perfect. You know what I want, what I really, really want? I'll tell you what I want, what I really want. Want to hunt, want to hunt, want to hunt, what I really, really want to say. Ah. You want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Nothing lasts forever. Friendship never ends. That song's not stuck in my head. I am so fucking sorry. <laughs> what? I gotta pay my bills? No, that's stupid. Flip the board over. Pretty positive thing about the game life. What? I landed on rest so I gotta pay taxes? Bullshit! Don't know I'm a gamer, guys? I can't be paying taxes. All right, so I don't know, because, oh, in his chat, so according to his chat, it's not Raw Phil or me, it's DSP. I don't know if DSP's stream died. He can pull an Anya from Buffy. Can I trade in the children for more money? <laughs> uh, Anya died. I 
I know, I can't sing to save my life. I still do karaoke every year, and a marathon, and Klausicon and stuff. Thankfully, karaoke doesn't matter if you know how to sing. It matters that you have a good time doing it. Ooh, even Dark Day Mirror. I mean, Raw feels like, okay, we're tired of waiting. We're going to switch over to this music. Or not? Oh, no. Oh, no, Mr. Phil. Also giving me an error. Wow, this is... There's no other way for me to get it because the, the, it totally corrupted, uh, which is why OBS froze. I'm trying... Oh, wow. I'm trying to change my camera resolution, and that's also giving me an error. Wow, this is uh, interesting. <laughs> yes, fucking crash. Hold on. Crash, 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 crash. Is this working? It literally... Like, that also was, like, taking forever to load, so... <clears throat> Basically, something's up. I wonder if I should just force close and open OBS again, see if that fixes anything. Are we? Are you guys still here? Can you hear me? Everything's still working? Because I might just turn off the stream, close OBS, open OBS again. You hear me? We're good? It is working? All right. I think I am going to just quickly restart the stream so the stream will buffer again and then come right back, okay? I'm going to do that just for a quick refresh. I want to make sure OBS isn't all messed up. All right, I'll be right back. Uh, without chat telling him what to do, he figured it out. Generally, turn it off, turn it back on, fixes everything. Surprised he didn't have to sit there for 20 minutes waiting for a tip to come in telling him what to do. Well, while we wait, let's play a commercial. Well, what that aroma can do, brought a day for me and you. The best part of waking up is pictures in your cup. Yay. That may be the greatest thing I've ever created. On DSP, keep fucking around. I'm gonna laugh if it killed everything. If it killed everything, that'd be hilarious. Which means I'd have a open day. I don't think I'd start Pills of Eternity yet. I, I maybe go back to Lords of the Fallen and just continue melting bosses. Which I have to admit, that one Kamehameha Wave spell fucking melts bosses. I don't know if I can do 20 push-ups. I could try. It's been a long time since I've done push-ups. I've been doing, like, the weight bar at the gym, but not actual push-ups. Ah, eh, fuck, well, I'll wait for him to come back. I'm gonna try to just see how many push-ups I can do. Oh, God, I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Chair out of the way. One, two, three, four, ah, five, six, ow, ah, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. I'm done. Ow. I gotta stand up. Ow. Not bad, fifteen. <laughs>
but he literally comes back and always says something either sexist or racist, pisses people off, and people are like, that must be Kirk. And it always is. You know? <laughs> so this I, I really don't fan even know what else DSP. to say. These are At your this point, to this guy, fans. Even if I were to unban him, he would be rebanned within a moment. These are your fans, the DSP. I know it. You know, if he learns these to are the people you attract, and then just made into account, no one would have a problem, right? I don't know what else to say, Kirk. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I can't make the world be a different place. Uh, no one wants that kind of stuff, including me on my streams. And you keep coming back and acting like that, and then you get moderated. I can't. I can't help you. It's amazing okay. how he doesn't have a single fan Brief that's break. not fucking dented. We're going to use the restroom and I'll be right back and we'll start. Derek, I'll be right back. Uh, Nani Mouse. And KK Kirk. DSP, just let me back one more time. I swear it won't happen again. Come on, DSP, I swear this time I won't hit you. Hmm. Yes, this is the time for the cheer segment. The best segment. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Actually, I do not have an idea. <laughs> That's... Actually, Greg, that would not be a bad idea to have ad space on the back of a chair. Or on the front of the chair. Or, I don't know, maybe get a sponsored chair from a gaming company. They're like, hey, we really like your... Like a Dragon streams. how much you love and have passion for the game. So we sent you a Like a Dragon chair, so when you're not on stream... People see the like a dragon logo on your chair. He would fucking love that. Uh, let's see. Let's go to render. Do I have it in here? No, I won't be ready to be in save. Oh, I don't have it in here. I was trying to find something to play while we wait. Which video is this? <laughs> I'll play this the video for you guys. It's hilarious. That is classic. Oh, that's another good one. Well, that one's funny too. Bonk. Shill, shill, shill. I don't want to be Mr. Shill. I just want to be Mr. Bag and Cry and hope you guys give me money. We've got to have money. We've got to have money. 
<laughs> oh, this is pretty fucking funny. Yeah, no, that, that looks like shit. Great job, dude. You made the world grossest sandwich. Congratulations. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. It looks like a messy sandwich to eat, but yeah. I don't know if that one was loud enough for you guys to hear. <laughs> Mainstream journalists won't show you this. He's back. Okay, are we ready? Let's boot her up and then I can tell you guys about this discovery I made about the plot. Of Baldur's Gate 3. Got any trains? Thanks to uh, Dark Gaming actually sending me a clip of the game. Okay? He looks so unhappy about something. Who's he banning now? Guys, I was gone for like five minutes. He had to come back to this shit. And Lenny Emanuel banned everyone. Oh, he is super grumpy. Look at the big old grumpy face. All right, see you tonight, Derek. Are we ready to resume, everybody? Okay, here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. It's a fresh day, and we are in Endgame. This is the first of what I'm assuming is many fights that we're going to have between now and the end of the game. Um, and we're so far so good. Like, even though it still shows a lot of enemies, uh, we're doing pretty good. I don't feel like we've been dominated by any of these enemies or anything like that. Uh, I think we've got... You know, pretty solid progress so far, and we're going to continue with this fight. However, I do have an important update for everyone who has been watching and following this playthrough. I found an ending no and one else has ever found, guys. This is kind of interesting. Except for the person this that used the guy that you're using. Directly relates to my story choices yesterday. So for those who weren't here yesterday, <laughs> all right, what happened was thus. There was a thus. critical choice where you had to decide, are you going to allow Emperor to control the Netherstones? and then go fight the nether brain or are you going to go illithid and control the nether stones and fight the nether brain is Karlak going to go illithid and use the nether stones to fight the nether brain or are you going to have the uh githyanki prince orpheus do it we ultimately decided on the githyanki prince orpheus and that's the plot i i selected now immediately when we did this what happened was emperor said well since you're now against me, I'm going to go to team up with the Netherbrain. He warped out of the artifact and left, and that's it. That's the last we saw of him, okay? <clears throat> now, I immediately said, there's no way we could have trusted that guy. The entire game, he's trying to act friendly and protect you, but at the same time, he keeps trying to say, you need to go Alithid, yeah, you need to go Alithid, you need to go Alithid, and you keep telling him no. And he just keeps pushing it anyway. Like, he doesn't respect your decision. You don't want to become an illithid. So just based off of that fact, I always suspected something was going wrong. Also, the fact that he was very deceptive the whole first half of the game. He didn't reveal who he was until Act 3. Right? All this stuff going on. So come to find out, there has been a subplot. Oh, when we first found out about the Emperor, if you remember, he started discussing about his time when he first went illithid and how his, he got influence on Baldur's Gate. And he started talking about this plot line with uh, Duke, Duke Selene, Selena. I forgot the name of the Duke, okay? But basically she was a, a, a leader in the region and he became befriending with her. And that's how he had all his influence. He became befriending with her? What the fuck is that word? He was friends with her. And so 
he was helping her rule and stuff like that. Stelmane, thank you. It was Duke Stelmane. That's correct. All right? So, but then he says, unfortunately, she died. And basically, it led to a lot of bad stuff happening and stuff like that. But that's where he leaves it, right? And all we know is, you know, from piece together, from pieces of the game, trying to figure out what actually happened with that situation. Well, guess what? Last stream, right before we came here to the endgame area to fight the Netherbrain, remember? We found a log. log. And if you remember the log, it was between log. Gortash talking with the Emperor. And Gortash interrogated the Emperor, and the Emperor basically said that he knows that if he's far enough away from the Netherbrain that he can leave its control, and therefore he's not under the control of the Absolute as long as he can separate. And it's his plans to kind of stay away from the Absolute forever so that he can stay independent, correct? But he's confident that if he gets far enough away from the Absolute, he can become an independent thinker again. He won't be controlled by this Netherbrain. Because that happened once and it happened again. In fact, he even admitted to Gortash, for 13 and a half years, I pretended to be under the influence of the Absolute when I really wasn't. He admits this in the log, okay? Log. Also, we found a log in Gortash's log. throne room, and we had already read that log somewhere else. I think we had actually log. read it in the um, the vaults as well, the, the uh, counting house. So there's a log that's talking about Duke Stelmane. And the log basically says that one day, like Duke Stelmane's servants or whoever walked in and found her acting crazy. She was drooling at the mouth and she was eating flesh and they thought, is she eating food? No, she was eating brains, okay? And from that moment on, basically they said she was crazy and you know, she never was herself again and then eventually she died, all right? So we have all this weird information, but we don't have a story to piece it together. Like, what does this all mean? Well, I found out that there is one situation in the game that you can create where you will actually get a, a full-on explanation of the Emperor and his intentions. But there's only one situation you can create to do it, and I never did it, and most people don't. So there's some people who go through the entire game making these choices, okay? But you use and the guy that's the only way you know to do scenario, this. And people thought they had a good ending, and they actually have a bad ending. But the game doesn't give you the full ending, so you don't know that. Because so allow me to you explain, the because the entire that... game I kept telling you guys, I don't trust Emperor. At first, I didn't trust whoever this mythical guardian angel being was, right? And then because I because you were Emperor, using a guide. Okay? So basically, if you, Do you want either insult the emperor's looks a ton, or if you completely 100% refuse to side with him, he reveals the truth. He shows you in a cutscene. A Do you want to play the fucking where game? Where it's him so and just... Duke Stelmane. And what actually happens is he shows you the real relationship they had. He was not friends with Duke Stelmane. He was psychically controlling Duke Stelmane the entire time. They never were friends. The moment he met Come her, on, man. he was psychically Do you want to play the fucking game? Her be his friend. Do you he has her drinking with him. He has her doing all this stuff. And it's all him 100% controlling Duke Stelmane. So, what ended up happening was, after all this mind control that he was doing for years of Duke Stelmane, she basically snapped and lost her mind and became, like, what is what does the Mind Flayer do? He eats brains. So she started eating brains because she lost her mind. She thought she was like a Mind Flayer. So that's how she snapped and basically went nuts and then eventually died. Okay? So basically, even Emperor is evil. He, even though the entire game he's acting like your friend, he's pretending you, it's all means to an end. Much like how the nether brain says, oh, this was all my plan. That actually was all the Emperor's plan. His plan is to make you think he's your friend through every single level of the game. So at the end, you give him the crown and he'll disappear. And apparently if you give him the crown at the end of the game, he disappears and the game ends. But it's actually the bad ending. In the bad- Why the fuck would you give the Emperor the crown on, anyways? Down the line, will eventually come and take everything over with the crown. Just not immediate. Why so the fuck would you give him the crown in the first place? Fuck that, that made noise. the right choice and got the right ending. So anyone who played this game and sided with Emperor did the bad ending and doesn't even know it because the game doesn't show you years down the line what happens, okay? So, that's pretty insane. If you remember, my choices were always, I, I'll go along with the Emperor, but I don't fully trust him. And this is so reflected with what happened yesterday, okay? 
Yesterday I told him, no, I'm not going to give you the nether stone. Someone else is going to go illithid and do it. And he got immediately pissy and said, well, then I'm going to go side with the nether brain. It's like, wait, 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 what? The entire game, the plot is you want to stop the nether brain. You don't trust it. It's going to take control of everything. Now, because I won't give you the nether stone, so you'll be in control, you leave and go join the nether brain? What the hell? So it's just revealed his true intentions all along. It's my way or the highway. Either I'm going to be in control or Sounds no like one you, will DSP. be in control. And that's it. So he's going to go cause chaos. And ultimately what I think he wants to do is he wants to beat you. And then eventually, remember, in his log with Gortash, he says, I can pretend to be in the control of the netherbrain. For 13 and a half years I did it, but I can do it again. And then basically what he's going to try to do is find someone else to help him to overthrow the netherbrain down the line. So you were his grand plan. The moment you say, I'm not going to side with you, I'm going to have someone else use the nether stones. He gets pissy and leaves because it's not his plan anymore. And now he thinks, I'll just redo this, you know, in another decade or two. So there you go. So he was actually a villain the whole time. And there's no way you would know that. How dare you plan ahead, guys? Not like me. Scene showing that he never was friends with Duke Stelman. He always was controlling the whole kingdom through psychic powers. You know, that's what pisses off DSP is that this... That, that, so, uh, is there a save the world ahead. ending? Like, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what the outcome of my ending is going to be. I chose to make Orpheus and Elithid... Well, that's a good point, Wesley. It's not that it's good or bad ending. Said, it's once what happens with your choices. That would mean no one has control of the crown. Like, oh, you didn't so maybe that's turn Kazador into the... I don't know. We'll have to find out. Ascended that's where Vampire? Okay. Well, but if I decided with Emperor, really that's see the, the actual bad that, ending that of the game, people don't game. realize that. Is it good or bad Pretty to send him? Huh? Who knows? Okay. All right. Uh, I received a $5 tip to get things started here today. From Adam Theory. He says, level one goal. Let's go. Thank you very much, Adam. And indeed, with that $5 tip... It is now time for the Gunner Glasses. You know what's really funny Gunner about glasses, all this? Guys. There are people who are so simple-minded and black and white thinkers that because I've criticized this game over the course of me playing it now 140 hours, they think that I don't like it and I'm secretly just playing it to get views or something. And it's like, first of all, money. the game's bringing in no Not views. Not views, money. It's the popularity of this game waned on my channel like two months ago. You know, I barely get 200 views a video on this. It's all about time. the tips that you and get. Number two, you hit the why would I be so every interested time. in the lore of the game unless I liked it, right? I I do like the game. I don't think it's the best game ever made, but I do definitely like the game. So, uh, High Darkness says, "What's going to happen to Lazel's people without the prince?" Well, if you remember, what he said to Voss was, or what he said to us actually to Lazel was. Well, I will save everyone by becoming a lithid. I'll make the ultimate sacrifice. Tell my story. If you tell my story to the Gith people, they're going to be inspired to know what really happened here, and they're going to revolt against Valet. Or Va Vulcan, excuse me. Vulcan. That's what he said. That's what he said in the dialogue. So, will that actually come to pass? I have no clue. But let's see what happens. Because okay? haven't the game, so it's All right, well, KDSP. let's continue with this fight. We just killed this guy. We have no one up here anymore to fight. They're all dead. Everyone is down on the ground, right? We have a bunch of people, like, down here. Yeah. There's a guy right there. There's two standing right there. There's one there. We've got Lazelle about to go ham on this guy. These two, actually, right? And then we have a grouping over here. So Lazelle's probably going to take care of a bunch. I don't think she's going to die to any of these, honestly. But we will have to get our party across at some point. Or into range to hit all these guys that are, like, chilling on the other side. Okay? Now. I guess the question is, do I want to summon more people? Or do I just want to, like, maybe teleport someone over there? She has Misty Step. So I could, like, Misty Step myself. You should Misty Step yourself right off a bridge. Into the action over here. Like, maybe to the middle, and then I could activate Guardians. You know, and deal some damage or whatever. Like, I could do that. Hmm. Chat, tell them what to do. How many allies have I spawned? Only the one group. The Harpers. They were up here sniping down. I haven't done anything else yet. 
I'm thinking I want Shadowheart to go down there into the fray because right now everyone's kind of so far away. I think I am going to Misty Step over here. And then I think I'm going to use Guardians. <coughs> we'll do a little. Ah, four. sorry. Here we go. And I think that's it for the turn. So she's going to help. She's going to back up Lazel because Lazel's probably going to need healing. Take out all those guys. So wait, can I? I'm curious. Could I do this? And then do this. Will this work? No. It doesn't du double deal damage. I just wanted to try it. And it doesn't double deal damage. That sucks. It would have been cool if it did. Alright, let's get her out of here. Alright. They have like the worst accuracy. <laughs> It's like it's just like a bunch like of bodies. Like for sure, don't do he just got a manicure. His son, I swear, it's bleaching out his yes. hair. It's not gray hair for me being old, guys. It's some bleaching out my hair. Necrobites. <laughs> That's probably one of the All right, one well, of many reasons why he avoids fights because uh, he knows it takes an hour for every fight. All right, so no four party members here. against one goblin. So again, one hour later. Kind of All right, we finally finished that fight, guys. Got here. How long does the fight take? Up to this guy. How far can she move? She can move to here. Her jump is an action. Oh no, her jump is a bonus action. Okay. Missed. Okay. Ah, uh, he's getting that. He should have been it yesterday. But with the way he plays, he takes forever, so he probably won't beat it today. How is it missing? 94% and it missed? You're so full of shit, dude. Really, the game is so full of shit. 94%. Lee, how's it going? Yeah, he's so milking the game. This is the only game that makes 100 bucks, guaranteed. Yeah, he should have beaten it yesterday, but he won't even beat it today because he takes so fucking long. They suck. They miss every attack. Hey, Lee, who do you think the cards are going to draft? I saw them talking to ESPN about them getting uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. be still on the board. Which, I don't know, because the commies probably need a wide receiver to throw to, too. Okay. Like, first pick will be a quarterback. Again. Third pick will be right. a quarterback. You know what I could do? Oh, they moved. I was going to say, I could shoot a bolt down there. Because there's four of I them say, down. If he's not drafted by the commies, I can definitely see him going to the cards. I wouldn't mind him falling away down to the Vikings, but that ain't happening. I said the Vikings are probably going to pick up uh, J.J. McCarthy from the Wolverines. Try this. See what happens. He died. He died. He's prone. I killed multiple guys right yep, there. Yeah, so has Jay Sway. One of them is prone. Okay. I feel like the Harpers and, and also Orpheus and the Jinn are good enough to take out these little guys. These two. Hope I'm, gonna so I'm not fail. feeling like worried. I want to move. I want to start helping my team over here. Did I rejuvenate a spell slot? I think I will. I think I'll rejuvenate a level 6 spell slot. Another step forward. Okay. Alright, Lazelle, it's time to go to town. You got two guys right next to you. I don't think the swinging attack will work, though. Oh, it will? Okay. Zoop! Them both. That's excellent. Can't use it again, though.
only one to ten damage. That's lame. Only one to ten. That's so weak. Why? Who would want to use that at this point in the game? Let's try a troop attack. If you need to do one to ten damage. Done. Hey, do you see that video of the turtle running oh, away from an alligator? Right? Turtles yeah, can move right when there. they need to. No. I like the video that like, they put a Hot Wheels car underneath the turtle. So Damn. like the turtle's moving the hard across the hardwood floor. He just she wiped him out across. of existence. Yes, she did. She killed three. He's probably not used we to moving that one, fast. Two, two in the building. We have one up there. So we have three more right there. Where are the oh I was gonna say, where the hell are the other mind flayers? There's one right there. There's another mind flayer somewhere. I don't even know where the hell he is. Where is he hanging out? I don't see him. Hmm. I guess we'll run into him when it's his turn. I don't know where the hell he's standing. <laughs> I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, that cat sort of is grounded of gators right, like yeah. Moving, I'm out. Since we got more enemies that way, right? I guess what I should do is not block the door. Like maybe stand here but not block the door. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what? I didn't even see him. Holy shit, he was there the whole time. I never even saw this guy. Wear your glasses, DSP. You might see well, him. Oh, he missed. He fucking missed. Oh, uh, right, let's see here. The gin. Let's have the gin attack some of these guys <laughs> if we can, right? Total simulator would be a great game. Going under the water and then popping back up. We can shifting wind right over here. Was it? Manhunt. Manhunt was such a good fucking game. Is it a great game? No, but it's a good fucking game. Yes. Drunken inhale. Thunderwave. Dude, Thunderwave. Target is blocked. What? Oh, he's not. Saved. He didn't get pushed. Okay. It is Orpheus's turn. And Orpheus reached this guy. Come on, Orpheus, uh, don't fuck it up. Or do, because it'd be funnier if you did. Can reach the guy? Does it use an action? Levitate? It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's a separate move that doesn't use an action, which is pretty darn cool. Okay. Her turn. Extract the brain. Well, he's not stun prone, swooping, or unconscious. I guess we could do mind blast. Do mind blast. But we also have potent blast. It's only if they were concentrating, though, right? From what I can see. I'll try this. He got stunned. And his concentration is broken. Uh, Super good. And this is a bonus action. Man, it's amazing how too. easy this game goes when you use a guy. And he's on his ass with one HP. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Rubber That'd be awesome right there if you had a spear that did AOE damage and you threw it. I could go into the map instantly. Alright, Harpers. Guys, my hand hurts! Come I've been help. training left for like 500 laps, guys. My hand hurts! <laughs> he murdered him. <laughs> yep, they're gonna get the other guy that's prone now. See, the Harpers are gonna take him out. That's good. So, Shadow Heart. I'm gonna have Karlak and Darkscale Phil take out this Illithid. I'm not too worried. I'm gonna have Shadowheart come up here and try to help uh, Lazel. I guess the question is, what should we do? Hmm. What do I want to do? Guys, uh, I gotta check my phone real quick. Know. I, I don't wanna go too the crazy. Guide. Oh, this is what I do. Okay, guys, uh, I had a Eureka I moment. I do, like, a level 5 flame strike spell. Oh, the, the Maz oh, race. Oh, excuse me, those aren't the Harpers. Those are the Gur Monster Hunters. 24-hour Those race. are the Monster Hunters who are helping us because we did the, um... We did the questline to kill the Cazador. So, my bad. 
I'm saying the wrong thing. It's a monster. If we do this, how many will this hit? Three? It'll hit all three. Saying, oh, the shit. Crazy yeah, surf in the Le Mans race was that, like, two that brothers wanted to win it. And everyone was like, how the fuck are they funding this? And it turns out they were drug dealers. What happened? I couldn't even see. Like back in the 70s or something. Like it they were dealing drugs and all that. Money. Using it drug money to the fund their cars and all that. And it hurt the mind player pretty bad. So it was a pretty good move. Do I want to summon like a spirit weapon for an extra turn? I don't really think so. But everyone was like, oh, hey, we're Ferrari. We're funded really by don't Ferrari. And these two brothers show up like, yeah, we just got a bunch of money. Don't ask don't ask where the money came from. don't have much to do here. <laughs> I guess we could cast Sanctuary on Lady Zell just so they don't deal any damage to her until she taps. Do that. Okay. We're doing very good. There's not many enemies left. Okay, ended my turn. Here we go. <laughs> Definitely sounds like the government. You made it out of the ice. All right, Karlak. Now, this guy has a shell on him. What does that do? Immune to magic missile. Armor class increased by five. So he has crazy good armor right now. Okay. I love that because they didn't realize that it got cold in November at night in Las Vegas. It's a desert. I mean, it's hot, so we got to have our slick tires and all that. The heat. Like, uh, okay. you'll be racing at night in November. Yes, it's a desert, but it's at him. night that was easy, in easy. November. Did you really okay. think it was going to be uh, that cold well, in November? She has another turn, but really she doesn't have much she can do. Yeah, there's not much she can really do here. I don't think she's in range <laughs> to get anyone with her bow. I just love that they didn't realize it would get cold Where's the enemy in the, the desert the in November. The ice? I can't even see him. He's here somewhere. Like, what the hell are you guys He's thinking? He's, like, blending in. Right? We hit him with the ice. He crawled up. Where did he go? <laughs> Where the hell did I certainly I don't see him. Is that... No. Where Guys, is only one racing in about Baldur's Gate 3. You can't talk about it in my stream. What the? What the? I couldn't even see this one either. Are you kidding? They're sitting right next to me. I couldn't even see them. Holy shit. Well, then open your fucking eyeballs. All right, we'll do a menacing attack. Oh! I couldn't even see the enemy standing right next to me. They're blending in so well. And you refuse to wear your glasses. But that's besides the point, right, DSP? Missed. Duck. Missed again. You totally suck. And then went back up the ladder like a wimp. <laughs> you should be fine. I see more like racing, but I don't think on the aisle of that. Chronic backlash. Infernal resistance. Where's this thing going? Is it running away? I think it's running away. Okay. Finish this guy. He only has 13 HP. I say he'd be like, oh, we're going to do a desert race in Australia in July. So we're going to bring all of our heat gear. Uh, July is winter in Australia, guys. Good night. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's start moving this way. I don't really have much else I can do, so I guess that's my turn. I do have a level 6 spell that I rejuvenated whenever I want to use it, but I'm not going to use it now. Lazelle's turn next. There's going to be an ass whooping. Uh, or Las Vegas prepare for that. Three? They're too okay, busy trying to get you spell. into the casinos. No what do they care about you, racing? <laughs> Love it. No magic for you, stupid. I'm trying to incubate the dead again. Okay, Lazel. I think Lazel should go after the Mind Flayer. I think that's the better move here. Let's go for Troop Attack on the Mind Flayer. Doing all right, all right, GB. Miss. Watching him using a guide and being all, Game. I think I should do oh, this shit. here, guys. I should do here. I think I should do that, guys. Full of shit. Like, yeah, you're not using a gun or anything. You just happen to know exactly what to do. Guess what? I didn't miss that time. I fucking critical hit his ass. Deader than dead, baby. Bummer is I don't have enough movement to get up here and kill this person. Right? So, I guess 
Sadly, we're going to have some actions wasted. Unless I leap? Hold on. What's this? She can get as far as here? She can barely get to the door. Look. I don't think they're going to let her leap up there. They're going to say it's too tall, right? Uh, yeah, they're not letting me. Not enough movement. Darn! I have no movement to, to jump anywhere. So basically, my, my action's wasted. There's no way they're going to say I can hit this person. Nope. Ah, sucks. Full action waste. Two actions wasted. Can't do shit. Yeah, no way to get extra movement or anything. I Should even have, have my bonus a bit better attack. There, DSP. What a shame. I'm the guide can only take you now. so far there, buddy. Can't use them at all, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Okay. What a shame. Okay. Our gin buddy. We've got... Wait, isn't there another enemy up here? There is. He's right here. Dude. He's sneaking in the bush, and I could barely see him because of that. Haha, <laughs> he's in the fucking bush. Target is blocked. How is it blocked? He's in a fucking bush? You're serious? Yeah. Ooh, what'd you get? Target is blocked. Why are you telling me the target's blocked? This morning. Cause I'm an adult. I wanted pizza, so I made pizza. <laughs> he yeah, now now. Together, have an air Target is tonight. blocked. This bush defends him against all my special abilities. What a jerk! Pizza and wings, awesome. Target is blocked. It's a really thick bush, man. Fuck Must be a '70s bush. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's a yeah, bad joke. This. I'll see myself out. He still didn't die. Damn, this guy's resilient. He only did like one damage. God damn. Wait a minute, I get an extra... Why did it use... I'm so confused. It looks like you can do anything at any time with this character. You see that? Yeah. This is really confusing. I don't even understand it. I don't even know how you can use him. Because he's like so powerful. Look. He can come over here now. Alright, go over there and start helping them. We're almost one. We only have like two enemies. You don't know now. how to use him because he's too powerful. We almost won the fight. How does that make any sense, DSP? This character is too powerful, so I don't know how to use him. Orpheus. What? We're all teaming up together here. We didn't even need anyone but the monster hunters for this. Step one, walk one step over here. <laughs> pizza, wings, step and beer, two, right? Down meow. Here. Uh, pizza, wings, yes, beer, yeah. <laughs> Miss stupid. Don't drink. So much for that. <laughs> so, 29 health. I could just use a ranged attack. Let's do a radiant damage ranged attack. Not enough movement. Wow. Here, her shot is super short, or she just doesn't have the angle, I guess. Oh, okay. Same thing here, like she wouldn't be able to do the range attack. No, she could do it. She's just an idiot. Oh, she, she has to get to the brain and fail. Makes no sense. Uh, That's what we're all waiting for. We're waiting for him to get to the brain and then failing. It's going to be funny. So a level one guiding bolt. Still can't do it. Not enough movement. Good lord, this is stupid. So to my choice, that'd be right, Dr. Pepper, Strawberry, and Cream. A, a Got one in my hand right now. Probably miss. Yep. Yep. And that's really it. I don't really have to do anything else, right? Yeah, we're good. I'm not even gonna waste waste anything else. Okay, everyone's dead. There's no enemies here. So Carlac is gonna try. Really, there's two enemies left, right? There's this one here, the one up there, the the stupid thing down there, and is that it or is there one more? No, there's a, no. There says there's no. There's three. There's only three left. Did she jumped down here. No, 
Of course she can't. Why would she be able to jump down there? What a ridiculous thing to say, right? No surrender. No. Fail. 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 Get down there. I'm gonna guess they're gonna say it's too far. Of course, look! Uh, what about this? Missed it by All that right. much. <laughs> Cannot reach. Cannot reach. It got a critical hit. What? Cannot reach. Critical hit. Amazing. <laughs> Whatever. Here you go. Here you go. Throw the goblin tracker. Hoo I murdered her with the goblin tracker's dead body. Amazing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gotta use those bodies for something, man. They're taking up all this space. So that's why I play it on PC. That and the mods. Oh, so many fucking mods. So he many literally mods, just like, went down that ladder, and now he's going back up the fucking ladder. What is this stupid enemy doing? What a fucking moron. Alright, there's just these two left. What's up, oh, Maria? How are you? A whopping four damage. Take that, vile beastie. I'm fury. I, am death. I would just like to say thank you for coming over here. You saved me the trouble of having to walk somewhere else. And you instantly died. You're really making my job easy. You bow, or you break. Hello! <laughs> I was saying, it's, it's not always like, oh, uh, like, no. suck big boobs and It's like, hey, this one makes gold oh, weigh nothing. This? this is annoying yeah. to have the gold weigh so much. Almost dead. This is the last enemy. And then you get others where it's like, you always roll 20. Like, you know what? I know what I want to do in this game. I'm this tired so, of, I mean, he oh, you're trying to save the right? tieflings because you're a tiefling. Oh, you rolled a four. Your tieflings die. Fuck you. Like, no. I'm a tiefling. I'm saving the tieflings. Roll 20. Does he have a healing ability? No. I was going to say, can he heal my party members? Nope. Nope. Although it does make lock picking and trap disarming super easy because it's 20, 20, 20, 20. Fuck you, you fuck you. Completely overpowered for this you fight. need to roll a 30 or higher? Ridiculous. Nat 20, fuck you. <laughs> Can't reach. I don't think you can reach. Guys, I don't get it. That's my eighth natural 20 in a row. I don't know what's going on. Sculpted no, I'm not using mods. I says I'm using mods is getting banned. Action interchangeably? <laughs> what? I'm not using mods. I'm just getting natural you, 20s rolled so every time. Devour your foe. I can't reach. He has been for PC, and I turned him down reach. when it wasn't what he wanted. A waste of a turn. How do I do with all the enemies here? I, I flanked them from the side. So when the fight started, when this fight started, I didn't enter from the front. Like, it's intended that you're entering from the entrance here, in which case they'll have the advantage. I use the side entrance. There's a way to crawl around the side. That you read in a guide side. to tell you what to do. And when I did that, I already had... I was right here. I climbed up the side of the castle here. And I climbed up here. So when I aggroed, I was already halfway in. So I was able to take out the Mind Flayers and all the shit that was concentrated here. And it completely screwed them up. They didn't have any kind of formation because I flanked them. So because flanking the was definitely the way to, to go. Um, what I'm to understand, if you use pure stealth, you can just skip the whole fight, too. Okay, who am I? Shadowheart? You would be the person to try to skip the whole fight. Heading there.
<laughs> Icing, now that's a term I don't hear that often. Uh, heading out. I'm already thinking about it, it's like, man, when I built my newest computer, like, it was a good advancement from what I had before. Six, seven years from now, where the hell are they going to have in the future? Like, when I made my Maybe last computer, it didn't have M2 hard drives. This new computer, oh, uh, M2 hard drives, baby. Movement to grab this thing. I totally wanted to throw the body. They won't let me. Not enough movement. And they're saying he's too heavy to throw, which makes no sense. The normal body guy, yeah, he's too heavy to throw. That's stupid. So now they get one more turn. How's how lame? He might not make it to the Elder Brain until t uh, not Orpheus tomorrow, because it's day off, but until Friday. Clock. Which is insane. Like, dude, you're at the Look end. Me. You should get to the Elder Brain today. Fuck, if you did it right, you should beat the game today. But he won't, because he's slow as shit. Son! Ass is whooped, right? Com ass is completely whooped. Pretty easy. Not a big deal at all. Did the uh, hunters take off? Pretty easy when you Our use a gun. still with us. Of course, Orpheus is still with us. Same with AMD instead of Intel. I think the hunters took off, right? They're not here for the fight, so let's save. Thank you, X-Shooter, for 22 months as a member. I really appreciate that, X-Shooter. Thank you for the support. All right, so I don't even know where we're going, actually. East? I guess we go east and we go this way. The game still hasn't oh, told him where he's going. DSP hasn't looked up a guide to how to make the most glitches happen. Oh, I don't get it. I had eight there. glitches Look. in one hour. The this game's bugged. The only way to get that many uh, glitches is if you use the guide. I'm not using a guide. Rest, will there be an opportunity to heal? What do you guys think? Chat, should I use a do. short rest here since I have limited time? You guys know better than me if it makes make sense to short rest or just continue on. There's a full heal at the end, so I should short rest. All right. Stuff back. But you telling me the high hall? Looks like part of the nether brain, but we'll need to be higher up to climb it. Huh. I wonder how many more fights there are before he says they're great. Oh, what the? Whoa, what's going on? Need to get to the brain now. Where? Oh, are this is the part he's gonna hate. The one on the stairs. Yes, he's gonna hate this All part. I the one on the stairs. He's so gonna hate huh. this part. What is this? What the fuck is this? Are we being targeted? Chat, tell him what to do. He's gonna hate this part. He's so gonna fucking hate this part. I am laughing. He's gonna fucking hate this part. I'm laughing my fucking ass off. D Dog, how's it going? Holla, holla. Oh anyway, I think we have to get out of there. This looks like they're targeting us, does it not? These, like, yeah, this is gonna fuck like this part up so badly. I can't wait. Ah, That's what it looks like to me. Another reason why I wanted to cover today, because he's going to fuck this up. Gotta love those critical misses. Yeah. Critical missing. Critical missing. Kiss my ass. Yeah. Oh, this part is... Oh, yeah, let's get the popcorn ready for all that salt, salt, salt he's about to produce. Uh, I won't even use Frenzy right now. Shit. 
shit. They look like targets, so... I guess I should land just Teemo. outside of the target. Hala hala, Teemo. It's not clear what this is, and there's nothing to tell you what it is, right? There's no way to see what this is. It's stupid. Why can't I tell what this, this circle is? Another new game mechanic, never explained. And I'm supposed to just know what the fuck's going on. Guys, they didn't no do idea. a 20 minute tutorial explaining what this circle it means. Be a target. It could be a safe spot. I don't fucking know. The game has never should have done this before. Just figure it out, and if you die, reload, right? How about, tell me how the fuck to play the game, game, you fucking stupid thing. Guys, he needs so a 20 annoying. minute tutorial for every single aspect so of the game. fucking annoying. Guys, they didn't give me a 20 minute tutorial on how to move the camera. Can I get a brain drop? Actually, I think they did give me a tutorial on how to use the camera. <laughs> Find out. Oh, he's so hating this. Didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. What the fuck? Time to push my luck again. Oh, thank no, you, game for existing. Part of the fun, part of the frustration. If you're 140 forward. hours into a game, you just want to fucking finish it. You don't want to have to learn new fucking bullshit mechanics at the end. It's so dumb. No, DSP, you spend 140 hours on a game. All right. Generally, if someone spends 140 hours on a game, it means they love it. They love that game. They want to spend more time with it. Oh, because I did it. I didn't cast a spell. I did it. Can't. X to doubt. How's it going? Guys, why can't I just spend 1651 and win? Who are some WWE champions? Yes, here we fucking go. Goodness, man, it's a video game. Have some fucking fun. I don't play video games, but I play videos for money. Fucking miss, you fucker. Fucking missed you, fucking piece of fucking shit, fuck. X to doubt. Normal gamers don't sit there for ten minutes going, guys, tell me what to do. No. I was like, supposed to know you weren't supposed to now. smash your face into the enemy that's on fire. Why that sets you on fire too? It's bullshit. I was I like, supposed to know fire would damage you guys? The game never explained to me that yeah. fire damages you. Bring out your brains! Bring out your brains! Guys, I need those brains. I, like I, need, he, I really do. I need those brains so to pay my bills. For five turns. Devour your foe, lowering all their ability scores by five, and by each one's subsequent turn, you regain two to twenty hit points per turn. This lasts five turns, and then the user is left prone. Oh, the target is left prone. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. How does this confuse you, DSP? It's part of the game. There? I saw like that you gain experience like it's the end of the game. The fuck am I gonna do with all this experience you're giving me, guys? Ah Wow, that worked well. Well, either some of us are going to get fucked up or some of us are going to be fine. I have no idea. I feel like these are targets. So I'm going to cast Sanctuary on Lazel and see what happens. It's probably not going to work, but I'm going to try anyway. I really don't have anything else to do right now. I don't want to waste any spell slots or anything, so fuck it. 
that's the end of the game, DSP. You're gonna have to do it and all. Nothing happened. There was no cannons or anything. So what? I don't even understand. Joy. Nothing happened at all? Ooh, Fanta. Nothing happened don't at all. Don't you want to? Want to? Fanta? Don't you want to? Want okay. to? Fanta? No, why would I haste my characters? Do you think I need it in this fight? I don't need haste in this fight. These guys are easy. There's very few of them. The question is, how do I get up there? There's no ladder. What is this glowing spot? I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> You're not wrong, Wesley. Like, how do you turn down Bazel? The mommy dommy space iguana. <laughs> how do you turn her down? Yes. Or the cinnamon roll carlac. We're all terrible fighters, right? Or the bottom twink vampire. The like, how do you turn him down? Highlighted for a second. What statue? What statue? A crumbling statue. Oh, it's like a puzzle. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's not a puzzle. It's a puzzle. And it's it, not a puzzle. He needs to go hit the crumbling statue. That's not a puzzle. It did absolutely nothing. Medium toughness. <laughs> Guys, Medium I had to do toughness. something. That's a puzzle. I couldn't do anything. I can't even read what medium toughness means. It won't say. Look. Y'all got slowed. Best be on my way. Landscapers outside. Oh no, the landscapers! Darn, I wanted to break the. I got today's Wednesday, so the landscapers are here. Indeed, it did not. Not the landscapers, no men who actually work for a living. Don't cry and beg for it. Alright, let me uh close the window, because the landscapers are out there. How you dare do someone who actually works a job a show hit up. To the statue for it to do damage. How dare someone who actually works for a living show up. Reminds me of that he hasn't had a job in 14 years. Oh, okay. How many times do the landscapers work? Once a week. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday they're here. Oh, uh, So then why okay. don't you take Wednesdays off? So she would have to hit this for 22 damage. Yeah, but the sound of people working for a living still bothers him, so he's got to go up there and turn close the window. So he can't hear real Not people working. resources bonus action. Why does she need a bonus action to push it? How does that make sense? This doesn't make any sense. Why does she need a bonus action to push this? It should be an action, not a bonus action. It makes no sense. This game makes no fucking sense of anything. <laughs> Nothing in the game makes any sense. It's a complete nonsensical game. Nonsensical, guys. They had to have an action to do an action, guys. on Orpheus? Eh, I'm not even gonna bother. Let him hit Orpheus with it. It's 20 damage, big deal. Joy. <laughs> Hold on. What are you doing, banning someone? Oh, uh, can I fly up there? Here. I 
can't levitate. Can't do anything. I don't know what that is. Anyone know what the fuck that is? I have no clue. <laughs> well, he can't seem to do anything. If I dash, he still can't reach the destination. Now I can levitate. Oh! What is... What is that? Is that a target? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Chad, why don't you tell him every single aspect of the game? Now I have no turn to do anything. Okay, great. Great me. turn. Good work. Those were targets. Oh, he got lucky. Yes, DSP, those are targets, and you knew that because of the guide you're using. Oh, and reinforcements. Okay. That was quite possibly the worst volley I've ever seen in my life. Like, they didn't do jack diddly shit, right? Too high, can't make it up there. Can she climb up here and then jump? Get it, just go up here, I guess. I can't. Fucking piece of shit! It's fucking work, you dunk! Incoming. What is she doing? Why didn't she walk up here? Still not fucking dead. One health. Finally left. killed her. That shit took forever. Yeah, I can't even use my. Unless I use Hellcrawler, but you need a short rest to get that back. We might not even do a short rest after this fight the way it's going. Yeah, I won't waste it. This fight ain't over yet, DSP. Now, in two hours, he should get to the brain. He should get to the fucking brain. Like, I don't know how he doesn't get to the brain. But it is DSP, so... Expect for him to find a way to slow this down and fuck it up even Ouch. more. Ouch. Hell of an end. I wonder if this is worth the cost. A painful end for him. <laughs> All right. Where's Lazel, by the way? Trying to take over the world. <laughs> oh, same thing we do every night, Pinky. Here? I wonder Attempt if she'll be able to make world. it up there and fight these guys or not. The bummer is that these explode. So, you know what? It's probably ain't gonna work because of the range. They're gonna say, you have no line of... Yeah, you have no line of sight. Can I just cast a spell? They're probably just gonna say path interrupted no matter what. Nerf! <laughs> Scratchy, scratchy, sure. Hey, wrong shot. Wow, the fly is completely worthless. Yeah. So I used fly, but it doesn't let me fly. Look. It doesn't... I can't fly. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now. Yeah, I want to kill them. I want them to die there so that they'll push into him and they'll explode and do damage to him. But the question is, can I even do that? Will they let me?
Nope, they're gonna it's gonna push my guy, see? Try throwing the fireball, but it probably ain't gonna do enough damage. I need something that's gonna deal the damage. I definitely don't wanna waste my chain lightning here. That would be a waste. Hmm. Log, 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 log. Everyone wants a log, log. Hey, kids. It's log. Shit. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. Hey, kids. Here's a song about a whale. No, it's not a song about being happy. That's right. You get a long rest after this fight? Is that true? If that's true, I'll use it. I don't know if that's true. Hopefully it's not true and they just fight, fuck them over. That'd be hilarious. There we go. I've been a while since I've done this fight. Load. So I don't know if that actually happens. So much for reinforcements. Instant death to the reinforcements. Instant that was death. Amazing. Instant death. Instant fucking death. Now you probably think it's Labor Day is for women who go into labor when That's they're pregnant. That's a hell of a jump. <laughs> that is so cool. What a jump. Every time I watch him play this, I want to end up playing it at the stream. Play. I, won't. I oh, we're gonna, you said you're going to get a oh, full rest. So that ain't okay. going to happen. Counter spell and psionic backlash. These guys stand Because there's no jumping on Baldur's Gate 3 and playing for half an hour. You jump on Baldur's Gate 3, you're playing for hours. It just sucks you in like that. You hit him with that tentacle whip. Nice. The only bummer is, I think they're in the target. I don't know if that thing gets a turn right now or not. Instant death, instant death, instant fucking death. Damn, he fucking flew up like Superman. Cool. Good for now. 2 a.m., dude. Get to I don't bed. Know where we're going, actually. I mean, thank you for hanging out, but dude. I think there's more enemies back. That time. Where the fuck are we going? We're trying to get behind it? Or if that's the case, this is where we're going, right here, right? This door is where we're going. Oh, see, I didn't even know that. That's where we're going. Shit, if I had known that. Well, that kind of sucks. I didn't understand that. I can't hit this guy. He's out of range. I guess he's just going to chill. You're absolutely right. I need to split the part. I also need to get everyone out of harm's way. Of these targets, right? Can't reach destination. Are you fucking serious? What, can I walk like two feet? 5.7 meters is not too feet, Why can't she walk up this? Look. That's over 15 the feet. will not let Shadowheart walk up this. Try jumping up there, maybe? What the fuck? Why can't I walk up this? Look at this dumb shit. Can't reach destination. Why can't I walk up this? Because the game hates you. This is And it thinks it's funny to make you do this. Oh, my God. There's a clear fucking space right fucking here to walk up it. Oh, you can't walk up that. Oh, all Fuck right, Greg. You. 4 p.m. in Texas. Houston was awesome. Then I there. got to go to Galveston. Very stupid Gal game. The Gulf of Mexico God is so fucking beautiful. damn, this game is frustrating, man. Well, we're gonna get hit, and there's nothing I can do about it. We're definitely taking damage here. Nothing to do, dude. Nothing I could do. Uh. That hurt. Oh, come on! Come on! What the f Did it kill us? I think we died. Who died? It killed half my party. Ouch! 
It sucks when that happens, doesn't it? Killed it killed half my party. Who's dead? Lazel. Lazel is dead. She was right here, and I it blasted her off. So Lazel is dead. Blasting off again, just like Team Rocket. Unbelievable. Dark Scale Phil is fucked up. I'll help you. I can't even see the ring. Like, is this a is this a target? I can't tell what's a target and what's not. I guess I'm out of the target now. Oh, he's going to be so unhappy. I love it. Yes. Anytime DSP suffers, the world celebrates. Can't do this because Target is out of sight. Yeah, this sucks. This fight is shit. All right, I guess with the part, I'll be back. Fuck this. Fucking ending is frustrating <laughs> as shit. So dumb. Somebody's well, not I gotta happy. Pee. I'll be right back, everybody. Oh, you gotta pee, huh? Suddenly he has to pee. You just went to the bathroom. Like an hour ago. DSP, you went to the bathroom an hour ago. Why do you gotta pee again already? That's not good, dude. Probably will see a fucking doctor about that if you gotta pee all the time. <laughs> he's gonna get. Yeah, he's wiping it in a whole different sense. Holy fuck, DSP. This is insane. Like, you really think this is good for you. Like, alright, guys, I'm mad, so I'm gonna go take a break. When I come back, you better give me all the money to tell me how to beat this. There's no way he peed and washed his hands that quickly. All right, I'm back. I mean, it's pretty obvious you can tell I'm not having a good time. This, these final battles are tedious, annoying. Another new mechanic with this cannon kills Lazelle. Now I gotta figure out how to revive her. Like, this is a fight that if it was a straightforward fight, which is what you want, it would take five minutes. And instead, this is gonna be another hour fight because the game is designed to annoy you. And it's really designed like to all. annoy and I just you. Want to get to the end, but instead, they have to put all this before the end just to, to draw it out as maximum length as possible, right? Like anything they could the game's possibly doing do it to make fuck it more with you, DSP. Drawn out and only reason they are doing. No one else has to go so through this. You're the this only game to really go through is. this. Um, I received a ten dollar tip. Oh, there it is. Whale call from Guru Ligma. There's a long, there's a long rest station up ahead. Enemies will constantly respawn until you get to the top. So what we're trying to do, but as you see, I'm trying to get up there, and then I get shot back down by these cannons. It's incredibly annoying. Again, it's there's a difference between challenge and annoyance. Like, you know I'm going to do it. It's not challenging. It's just time-wasting, right? It really is. This is not a challenging fight. If they wanted a challenging fight, instead of having the mechanic of the cannon and everything, they would just put a bunch of tough enemies here that you have to face and be smart to fight. But instead, that's not what they're going for. They're going to annoy you at the end of the game and make this as drawn out as humanly possible. It's drawn out, guys. It's not good game design. So let's make it so that you have to push statues. Let's make it that the cannons are constantly in your face, right? Let's do everything possibly annoying so you can't enjoy the end and just see <laughs> the final end. Just to fuck around instead. So oh, I, I just want to press X and win fuck around. the video game. Genesis Gaming says, I confirmed there's something wrong with YouTube's upload tool. I uploaded through my editor, and it worked. So, okay. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be fixed by, by later today. I really don't want to have to edit every single video out of the, the stream. 
But I guess we'll see what happens. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, Genesis Gaming. My genie didn't get pushed at all. He didn't even care. I can't see the area of effect of the Thunder Wave because it blends in with the floor. So I literally can't see. Nah, I guess not. I guess it's limited. Let's have him walk forward into this fire. Neither, none of them died. Oh my god, none of them died. He could, but Chad didn't tell him to do that, so he's not going to do it, Dennis. I actually looked at Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. 2, I could see me playing. I don't know about 1. Like, You can definitely tell the quality difference between okay. 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, I don't know if I'd actually play it, though, because there is the evident quality difference. Now he's stunned Carlax, and now, of course, you know, we can't actually uh, get to where we need to get. She's not going to be able to move. She'll have no turn. What happens if he just opens the door? Chat, tell him what to do. Who we're trying to get. So I assume we need to get the whole team in here, right? Can I not revive Lazel? Of course I can, but I need to have someone who can, like Shadowheart, and it's not her turn yet. I can't do shit. He's so he's charmed. See, now there's gonna be reinforcements coming here. Wow, this is incredibly annoying. One person is enough. So what if I walk in here like this? We're good? That doesn't even make sense. Now Lazel's dead, by the way. She's not revived. I love because they didn't even explain what you were supposed to be doing there. That you were supposed to rush it to, to, to get to this scene. You think, oh, you have to get your whole team there. No, just rush it. Well, how would I know that? You know. I'm oh, playing shit. the fucking game! The game explains absolutely nothing. So we have to revive Lazel, but Lazel's not here. If you play if you the this, fucking then game, you come back you learn. Or you have to actually go restore her from her death point. Right? Like, how the fuck does it even work? Who even knows? Right? I don't fucking know. I don't think you can. Here, I'll do a short rest. Actually, no, we shouldn't. We have to manually revive her. But now the enemies are still out there, right? So now we're going to have to get through all those enemies regardless. Just there'll be no airstrikes. No. Now there's no enemies. The enemies have disappeared. This game is something else, man. The enemies just magically disappear with no explanation. My if you watch the cutscene, it explains what the fuck just happened. But that require watching the cutscene, which he's not gonna do. Because watching a cutscene is too much fucking work. And that's why your chat was telling you, use haste. Use haste on Polly Bazel. She's got the best leap ability and all that. She just leaves cross, gets there, bam. I get her there in two turns. Maybe she got sanctuary on her so she can't be hurt while she's doing it. Okay. Now let's go rest up. Jesus. Fucking game. Sounds like this is the final fight coming up, right? It sure does. You know that because of the I guy, Jack. Down yeah, there, but I think what happens is you could have went either way. Like, you could have either gone this way or there was another way you could have done this same sequence but in a different direction. But either way, I think that we've uh, we've made it, <laughs> right? All right, you guys, ready? Let's let's just make sure we save before we heal, just to make sure this fucking works, right? Yeah. 
And then let's do a second save. Wow, really okay. safe scum in this. I took a harder route? Oh, great. Uh. So wait. Oh, we don't get it back. Okay. I was gonna say, wait, should I do something new here, but... Yeah, here we go. I need to do Crespa's favor. Okay. Now. She kept her summon, which is cool. Do we want to keep a level 6 spell <clears throat> right now for Shadowheart? Or do we want to do a feast? Do we want to do a feast before the final fight? Right? Hmm. Would the feast help in the final fight? I wonder. Chat, he's be he's literally begging you to tell Can him what to feast, do. You, think? you don't think I'll need this level 6 spell with, with uh, Shadowheart? I don't need the food, don't bother. Yeah, but doesn't it give you the, the boosts? Oh wait, we still have them. Oh, we still have some of the boosts. The only person that doesn't have it is Lazel, because Lazel died. We already have the, the feast boost. Take a look. Everyone but Lazel already has it. So, maybe the feast would be a waste here, because we already have the effect, right? Do I have aid, the spell aid? Yeah, I have the spell aid. I don't know where the God, fuck is, but I know I have. The amount of hand-holding is insane. Where is it? Guides and hand-holding, he still struggles. Uh, hey, there it is. Kill your allies and increase their hit point maximum by five points. And it's only five. <laughs> Don't give all your allies and full rest potions. I think we have two full rest potions. I think we only have two, but I don't know who there who has them. And this is why a fight takes an hour, because he's gotta sit there for a fucking fifty minutes of a ten minute fight. Everyone gets five bonus hit points, basically. Not a huge deal, but it's something. Level 6 aid? Oh, you're saying you do, like, level 6 aid, is what you're saying. Use a level 6 spell now. 25 hit points. Does it really matter? I think we're just gonna do it. Fuck this. Alright. Like when it comes back to bottom in the ass. It. Although he's already done a lot better than expected because he's using guides. And check to hold down. his hand. So he's already doing a lot better than he should have. Let's just do it. It's taking too long. <laughs> I said, didn't he Super play like Smash Brothers? No, Civilization Six. That was a smart move. Put the neural link thing. Which, Wait, if he's I'm actually able, able to do else? that without any harmful side oh, effects, holy right shit! Me. Like I've wanted something to like neural fight. link for the longest you know, time. Like, that is. And it dies, we're like, hey, go I'm going to Japan for a couple weeks. I download Japanese language into my brain. I can now read, write, and speak Japanese. Awesome. Like, that is just the end goal, I, I feel, of what civilization should be. Is being able to be like, hey, instead of wasting in the 15 years worlds. of school, download. Alright, kid, turn what five. What the download hell? English. The crown of download math. The sight of download power. science. The sight of domination. Looks like that crown could use some nether stones. If these things were ever going to work, it's now. Yeah, not made by bus. Made by people with no IQs Hope over Carlack 50. Hope Carlac survives, but there's not much we can do about it now, right? Pretty much, we're boned. Whatever happens, happens. Emperor is our enemy now. You revealed he's evil all along. That face. Yeah. The one in my dreams. I know you. I know 
everything about you. Your thoughts, your feelings, your weaknesses. And so do they. Let me guess, they each had a dream visitor all along. They were all being visited by the Emperor throughout the game, you just don't know that. I think that's what they're getting at here. Let's take a look. Dream Guardian. This is your Dream Guardian, is it not? Yup. But there's other Dream Guardians. So everyone had a Dream Guardian visiting them over the course of the game. Eternal Napalm. Yes, I made a good choice by refusing the Emperor. I revealed this right as we... Oh, fuck. A dominated red dragon? Oh, I don't like the sound of this. Physically dominated. The dragon is being controlled by the deep, twisting grasp of another brain's <laughs> psychic might, and it's immune I'd never to be fire. president. Oh, God. This is gonna be a tough one. Um, be on national TV. Alright, can anyone yeah, explain to me were all having the why the fuck dreams and having is this guardians taco to them? Five dollars. The emperor was lying all along. It's revealed in a cutscene we didn't get. Bring me the head the of the CEO of Taco Bell. Duke Stelman Have you explained to me why does Taco now cost five dollars? Stelman, he completely lied about it. Two and years ago, this was a two dollar taco. Died. Now it's five dollars. His plan. Bring me his head. To actually, just dominate <laughs> everyone forever. But he needed you as his tool to take out the Nether Brain and get the crown. So when you turn on him and say, "Oh, I'm not going to give you the Nether Stones," he realizes he has no chance to beat the Nether Brain, and so he allies with it instead. Yeah. It's a really fucked up situation. He even says it. He says it right in the cutscene. He says, you will do what I tell you. You are just my tool. I will dominate you, like, forever. Like, he says this in the cutscene to you. That missed. I didn't get the cutscene because I didn't have that dialogue where I refused to help him. Yeah, I want to bring... I don't want that like, greasy, forces you to help smelly him head. The game, no matter what. I do it's a Super Bowl commercial about him. You really think about it. Can you imagine how many eyes uh, he'd have on him the next he, day? He like he's your friend the whole time. I just know he's streaming on Super Bowl because he's an idiot. Guys, I don't get anyway, it. Why did 30,000 so people just show up to my stream? This, I guess after what, there's a Super Bowl commercial about me? And then we're done, right? So there's two more and fights. And the whole chat is just, how come you mass pay for the children? <laughs> can, we, can we target the brain? Guys, I need to set sub-only mode. Target the brain or not. And then I need to do uh, 48 hours. Oh, wow. These guys have different shields. Breathe in ice cold flame. For the enemy, sheds light in a radius as resistance to fire and, and deals cold damage if someone hits them. Breathe resistance to cold and deals fire damage to those around him. Wow. The goal is to get Orpheus to the crown and to use the stones. So you don't have to kill everyone as long as you can get Orpheus to the crown. Okay. Interesting. Way to spoil so it, do you chat. Think? You think this is a case where Boo, chat, we just call all the allies? The is this truly the final fight of the game? Because if so, I'm going to summon all the allies. Fuck it. Just flood the whole fucking map with the allies. There's no other reason to, to use them, right? By the way, this is the last time you can even summon allies? Okay. By the way, I received an incredibly generous contribution. Forty dollars, I'm guessing. I just received a one hundred and fifty dollar oh. tip, and he says in Asterian's voice, "Oh, final boss hype! I can't wait for your Dark Urge playthrough." <laughs> oh, too bad I'm not there for the final fight. Oh, all right, wow. one hundred and fifty dollar tip. He's going to be so Which mad when he doesn't get this have, kind of money obviously, anymore. The Viking hat for the finale. Okay. Obviously. Now, I don't know about what vest. I guess we should do a poll for the vest. But, oh. It's so bad that I'm not with you for the final fine. Oh. Yes. It's okay, though, because you know what? Dirge run coming. There's one thing that I can Dirge say. Dirge run coming. Right, through this 140 hours of the playthrough. At the very least, at least at here in the final hour, we can summon gold grind. Oh, gold 
grind, you sack of potatoes, you. You vile piece of garbage. Only you weren't dead, maybe you would be in the final five. <laughs> All right, let me get the Viking hat, and then we'll figure out the whole situation, and then we'll do the final five. Go grind. Oh, go grind, 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 grind. Go I'd have immediately have him investigated by the IRS and bankruptcy courts. Have fun explaining to oh, the court go grind on how the you have nine thousand dollars with a business expense that month. <laughs> oh man. Alright, we'll do a poll for a vest and then we'll get into this. By the way, May Rumi, I apologize. I don't think I ever shouted out your super chat. I was so annoyed by this the end game. So, which vest is BG3 finale vest? Would it be the gold vest for gold grind? Or how about the original beige? How about silver, a the McFly platinum one. vest, Basically or how like about a Dem vest? There you go. Gold, gold, If it's not platinum, gold, no one's... Fuck you. you. Should've been platinum. You are such a piece of shit. We want platinum. And I hate your guts. Still here at we the We want game. platinum. Well, let's see. So, who should we summon first? <laughs> should we... Man, anyone have a recommended order? I mean, holy shit. You gotta tell them who to summon. It's it. First of all, we should get the Hellrider platooning because it says they're gonna go to the front lines. So let's bring in the Hellriders. Right? Let's bring them the fuck in. If they die, it doesn't matter. Aelin, she's immortal. If she dies, she comes back. Is that true? I want the ox. I want them all. Oh, Bur Zapato says, do you check it out for the elements? Wall of Fire should be used right away because they're grouped together, so use it right away. You mean Kithraki Inferno is what you mean. That's a good point. Let's do that. Let's take a look at this. How does that work? You just select where you want it. By the way, hold on. Astral Gravity. Gravity in the Astral Plane is different than on Farin. The affected entity is immune to falling damage and its jump distance is tripled. Volatile shield. The fact that entity has been granted temporary hit points by an elithid. These are removed by incoming damage. The shield burst, possibly stunning nearby foes. Okay. Hmm. So I wonder if I use... See, I don't know how the wall works. If I put it here, will it just land right in front of them all? I don't really know how it works. That's the problem. By the way, he's immune to fire. <coughs> A hundred forty plus hours. Starting point you I don't know how a firewall works. How far does it go? Oh, well, that's far. Okay, let's do it. Guys, how am I supposed to know how a wall works? Here he comes. That worked. That was a cool start. All right. And for probably Frenzy turn one. Boy! And likely we want to separate. We don't want to be standing next to each other. So if they do area of effect, it won't hurt us. So I'll probably move her down here. Hey, I was about to call, so I muted the megaphone. Yay. Okay. That's her turn. All right, Lazelle. You don't get the placement? What do you mean? They have to get through it to get to me. What do you mean you don't get the placement? I hit two of them, and they have to walk through it to get to me. Why is that bad placement? Shut up. Okay, uh... Wow, way to be antagonistic. Monster? No. We get put Dame Aelin in. She gets a turn, and can't she summon more? We should get the people who have turns. Allies cannot summon. Damn it. I wish they could summon on their turns, no? 
Is she really immortal? Like, she can't die? I have four turns before it gets much harder. Well, I have to move Orpheus to the platform, correct? That's who I'm trying to get to the platform, Orpheus. <clears throat> Aelin cannot die. Oh, shit. We should get her in first then, no? Alright, let's get her- let's fuck her put her right in the middle of all of them then, right? Fuck that. What the hell is that? A tentacle <laughs> came Made out of nowhere. With a stream for a, a living. A tentacle. Weird. <clears throat> we don't have at least a part-time job where you work 12 hours okay. a week or more. You can't live stream because you're just turn? being a burden oh, on society. Turn. What does she have? Lunar Smite. Engulf your weapon in Saloon's Light and additional radiant damage inflicting Holy Flame on a hit. But it takes your entire thing. Damn, it takes everything. Cleave, where she can hit three enemies at once. Almost strike. She doesn't have any abilities, actually. Not that good. Guam's part of America, so I don't think that'd be considered deporting. Deport him to Italy. Hey, you're Mr. Italian, right? You go ahead and show that Italian pasta sauce of yours to the real Italian. See what they do to you. She moves, stupid attack of opportunity. I was gonna say, can she hit them with cleave, but no, she'll probably, yeah, she misses Emperor. Fuck. Fox Boulder, 10, 19 months as a member, says, I want to believe. It's an X-Files quote, I'm well aware. I guess we could attack the dragon. Or we can attack the stupid tentacle. Or we can attack the Emperor. Man, I don't even know who to attack. Oh, yeah. Let's put him on a one-way mission trip Emperor. to Mars. Have fun with that, DSP. I lost my turn? I didn't what? sweat. It, it Why do I need to take a shower? Her. Fucker, we're in an oh, enclosed space for the next three that. months. I didn't know that. Take a fucking her. shower. But well, I didn't sucks. sweat. <laughs> well, that really sucks. The first murder in outer space so occurred much for that. on the one-way trip to Mars. Yes, Madara, I have to fight the Emperor because I told him he could not get the nether, use the nether stone, and he turned against me. Because he revealed that he's actually evil. If he if he is, is is at the end of your playthrough, if you gave him everything, you basically did the bad ending of the game, just so you know. And you wouldn't even know that because the game won't tell you. Fucking tentacles everywhere, dude! God damn it! Tentacles. Tentacles. Beasel says you like ever played the game and did a it's 21 the tentacles. Months update? Sure. Why not? Why not play it? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, that's you gross. Have to push your out Why wouldn't you play the game? Why would you put that image in my head, Gary? That's gross. Can I free her from the tentacle? Maybe if I have Lazel jump up there, she can hit the tentacle and free her. Pandaree, right? how's it going? Work? Try it. Oh wait, that's only her bonus action. Shit. Yeah, if I do that, she has no regular action. So there's no point. I guess I'll just hang back then. I'll just hang Instant back for now. Oh wait, I could do action surge. So maybe I jump up there, I action surge, and I kill the tentacle. Okay. Burrito for Burrito Thursday. All right. No, that's next week, isn't it? Burrito day. I killed it instantly. She's free. She gets her turn again. Cool. That worked. It's kind of like, do I wail on the Emperor? Or do I go for these Dream Guardian idiots? They just reduce the numbers up here. Right? Hmm. He dropped his weapon. Holy shit. Wait, why is she stunned? Oh, because when you break the force field, it does an area of effect attack. He dropped his weapon, dude. 
He can't even do anything now. He's fucked. Well, that worked out well. Try a troop attack too. Oh my god! <laughs> I can crush him with that. Yo! The Emperor just got fucking rocked, dude. Alright, I will definitely do. Come on. Next weapon attack is an attack roll bonus equal to your superiority die. Remember, I was going to use it, right? And. I made it to. Oh, I say, but the patches are worth it because they make the shit work. Alright. Without a guide, he'd still be in Act 1. Good shit. So, I mean, I have a choice here. I can try to finish him now, or I can summon a, 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 you know, another ally. But I feel like I should just finish him quick, right? So that way we won't have to deal with him anymore. Yeah, we can chain lightning him from here. I think that might be it for him. Let's do it. Ready? Eleven doesn't kill him. Oh, we got him. Died. Damn, got lucky. That was easy. And we killed the tentacle, and it hit the red dragon for giant damage as well. So that was cool. That was worth it. Wait a minute. Couldn't I technically use... No, it would be a spell. Never mind. I thought I was going to get extra turn to summon an ally, but no. Killed the fucking... I killed Baldurin. Yep. The founder of Baldur's Gate is dead. I just fried his ass. So much for his ass, right? He sucks. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Uh, excuse me. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. If I do Chain Lightning again, because I could do it again... I could kill this Dream Guardian and this Tentacle, but I don't know if it would chain into the Red Dragon. I wish it would. Because it's kind of a waste if it only kills those two. It's such a powerful spell. And I'm debating what to do here. No, my mic does not have any mute button. No, there's no mute button on this microphone. Nope. Bullshit. No, there's never been a button. There's no buttons on this mic at all, actually. So how does it fucking work? Nope. Uh, if I do this, then I do this, and I do this. You got the only microphone in the world that doesn't have a mute button on it. Mm -hmm. It looks like it would hit the dragon, no? It looks like it would chain into the dragon. Actually, if we do this, it should hit them too. Oh, I'll just hit the dragon then. No, it's 72% chance. It's a 90% chance to hit the tentacle. It worked. It killed the two. It killed him. It killed him too. Oh shit! It killed three enemies at once. It killed these two. It killed this dream That's guardian. That's why I love chain lightning. And it hit the dragon, and the dragon's down almost a hundred health already. Wow! And we just started the fight. All right, gold vest is winning. Let's get the gold vest on for everybody. Yeah, this is a pretty darn good turn one. I mean, it's because the chain lightning is so good. Now, what I should do turn two is start casting haste on everybody, right? All right. Is he wearing the Zeldas? I think he's wearing the Zeldas. Go! Ah, he's grind. wearing the Zeldas. Wasn't paying attention earlier. Oh, you shine like a bright diamond in the sky. I should just say gold. I should say gold vest from now on. Gold vest, you are. I said I was not paying attention earlier. I didn't realize he was wearing the Zelda pants, pajama pants. <laughs> All right, gold vest it is. Oh, gold vest, you have it's stood a day that ends in the y. test of time. Wearing. Uh, well. Channel the stone's magic to control the crown of Karsis and dominate the nether brain. That's what we're supposed to be doing. I don't know why that wasn't enabled. 
I guess the question here is... Do I want to go all in and just try to get him across the map? Because it's kind of dangerous. He only has 150 health. And even if I... Let's say I, I fly him over here, right? These guys might start piling on him. And then I might be in trouble. I almost feel like I should wait. And have him attack... Try to attack some of these enemies. And until we have a clear path, right? Good afternoon, Red Bandit. He says, glad to see you in the end game. Thank you, Red Bandit. I think this is the final Red Bandit, fight, you're going to send right? him yeah. some money? Yeah, just says, if Orpheus dies, it's game over. You need him to win, so... So I feel like Orpheus should not be rushing forward going crazy here. He should be more reserved until we have the enemies clear. Oh, he can summon backup? No, he can't. Orpheus cannot summon backup. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, uh, let's move him to the side. He evaded the tentacle. Nice. That was actually cool because we got to see the tentacles there, right? Uh... Tentacle whip, he actually has to be physically next to something. I don't want that. Mind Blast! You can hit both of them. Alright. Let's try Mind Blast. Immune. Saved, but they did take damage. On. What I don't understand is that you can do a second attack. That's a normal attack. That's weird. I'm not going to do this because this is going to move him. Concentration fuck Blast? Him Come on, dragons. Fuck him up, dragons. Fuck him up, dragons. Fuck him up, dragons. It worked. Alright, that's it for his turn. Now it comes down to the dragons fucking him up. Okay, um, hmm. Does she have haste? No, she has Misty Step. She doesn't have haste. It's Karlak that has haste. And it's also Lazel that has haste. If I wanted to, I could summon a second planar ally. Or I could just wait and use like a really good spell later, a level 6 spell. Not sure what to do with her, actually. I might just summon more allies. Saw oh, that catnip there, Mon Spaghetti. I want to get bodies out there. Jurger, maybe? Hmm. Your Ballsgate 3 fan who doesn't enjoy watching DSP suffer. Let's get the Iron Hand Grenadiers out here. Let's have them chuck some grenades around. Let's have them back up Orpheus. I want them to back up Orpheus. Hopefully they, they do some damage here. Okay. And then as her backup... You know what? I should have her go with Orpheus. Should I not? I should have her travel with Orpheus and protect them. Absolutely, I think. So oh, that'll be a party that'll a go up the left show. side together. These three. Because he three. hates the I game. I that's a good idea. But how do he I get over there without triggering that to play a game he doesn't want to play. Hopefully I can do this. Let's find out. I did it. No, I didn't! Ah, oh, it missed! Oh, I got lucky as shit. It was about to grab me. That was good. Okay. And then... I will put Sanctuary on Orpheus. Therefore, he will never take damage. Eh, I wouldn't watch him every day. A beautiful move. But... There we go. That was good. Always fun All to right. watch him suffer. Ears. And suffer he does. Security work. Did it work? What happened? Caused blindness. Why did they walk into the tentacles? You mean the fire? It's really weird that they walked into the tentacles. The fire. They walked into the fire. Oh, you, you, I hate that you Where are you seeing tentacles, yeah, asshole? You miss a lot of messages. It's really dumb in that way. <laughs> Let 
Magic missile on multiple targets. It's only level one. Oh, I don't care about that. It's only level one. It's not going to be a big deal. So I'm not going to counterspell it. That was Dame Aelin anyway. I don't care. <laughs> I wonder who he's targeting. Can you tell who he's targeting? How do you tell who he's targeting with that spell? Can we tell who he's targeting with that spell? I counterspelled it. It died from the flames. Who'd he hit? He hit Dame Aelin again. They're all targeting Dame Aelin. Wow, they really don't like her. They also hit Lazelle, but they mostly hit Dame Aelin. I can't even see what's going on. Damn, she got fucked up. Lizelle got fucked up. That's what he said, Greg, too. but guide saves his ass every time. Can we get to the dragon? I wonder if we can get to the dragon. It landed. It's trying to attack Karlak right now, basically. I could take out the Dream Guardian and again try to assist with Morpheus. Or I could go for the dragon, right? Not enough movement. Can I get to the dream person? No, I have not enough movement to attack anyone. Your movement sucks. Womp womp. The dragon actually killed Dame, but she rose from the dead. Oh, wow. It says, no, it says she can reach it. Okay, let's do the better attack then. Let's do the Lunar Smite. Two more tentacles. Jesus, these tentacles, man. These tentacles are serious business. He gets an additional attack. Cool. Come on, tentacles. Fuck him up. Dodged. Fucking piece of shit. Lunar blessing. Surrounding people in a pillar of light. Inflicting moonbeam on nearby foes. Oh. Once per battle only. So if she does this, she'll attack. I guess she'll hit all three. Do you think she'll hit all three of these? I can't really tell. Like, would she or would she not hit all three? If she did, does, maybe I'll do it. I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna fucking do it. Come on, Tentacles. Fuck no, up. it only hit her. Wow, that's super lame. That's a super lame ability. I can fly, but then it's gonna get attack of opportunity, so there's no point. That's one full turn. Well, Karlak, it looks like it's you and the dragon at this point. Because the dragon landed <laughs> right next to her, right? I think I should cast haste. She has it, right? No? Who the fuck has haste? I guess it's Lazel that has haste. I thought she had haste, but I guess not. I guess I'm just going to fuck up the dragon. As much as I possibly can this turn. So we'll do menacing attack. Oh wait, I have the giant enemy special. Do I have it? Topple the big folk. Ready for this. Wait a minute. Why did I get 210 experience for that? I have no idea. I gained experience points. I don't even know why. Threatened and reeling. I don't know why we got that. Why? I have no idea. Very much a pro level gamer, dude. Anytime you're in control and play at a pro level. Saying. So says the pig roach. Okay. I used it. <laughs> 18 to 28. 22 to 32. We'll do 22 to 32. I get a third attack. Wow, critical hit. 
Damn, he's getting and so she gets fucking another lucky attack. With this. She's just chopping this dragon up. So I believe she has haste. Yes, she does. Celestial haste. Requires concentration, though. So, what do I want to do? I probably want to heal, but then I probably want to attack and try to do max damage. But who do I attack? He's wearing the vest, but it matches his I'm black really begging shirt so much that you can barely see it. Of anyone. I guess, oh shit, she can attack the dragon? Oh wow. That's true, she has the transformation ability as well, right? I don't remember where it just is though. She barely see it's a little huge. shinier than the shirt he's wearing. I don't remember where it is. That's so hard to see. I thought she had it somewhere. I don't see it. I thought she had the ability to grow, but now I don't see it anywhere. Unless she doesn't have it anymore. I don't think she has it anymore. Alright, anyway. So. Well, I guess we'll try to kill the dragon. Right? Let's try to kill the dragon. So. Let's hit it with a goading attack. Baseball make any new rules. I saw that NFL is getting rid of the hit drop tackle. And they're doing the hybrid nice. kickoff like XFL does. Did big damage, right? Yeah. Now I get my bonus. No, I don't get my bonus attack. I thought it was a. I thought that was a special attack. I guess it wasn't. Darn. Right. Soulbreaker. God damn. I think I'm probably gonna do second win. So they're gonna make the game even faster. This dragon is fucked. Yeah, and now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do second win to get some health back. Okay. Whew. I said they should have had the pitching clock years ago. Can't even catch my so well, I can about more allies, baseball which I is. probably want Here's to the do, pitch. But I and also want to haste on the people. Alright, well I'm gonna to go to fast. town, get something to eat, then maybe stop doing my grocery shopping and get back. Alright, he's winding up for the second pitch. Oh, come on. Come the fuck on, dude. Ah. Uh. I seriously can't get over there to cast this. This is getting stupid. You mean the see-through uniforms? Because I have no movement. <laughs> so I can't move over there. Like, how are you going to make see-through uniforms? Right? Farlock can grow now. She's the one who has the sword. Oh, I see. We swapped people. Yeah, I totally can't get over there to cast haste at all. He's too fucking slow. He's a he's a fucking slug. That's how you built him there, DSP. I don't want twin spell. Turn this off. Why can't I do my leap now? Wait a minute. Because I used all my movement? This is terrible. Wait a minute, I can fly. Alright. Wind spell, haste, shadow heart, and Orpheus. That's what we needed. Now they're both haste. Good, because they're gonna be my squad moving up here, trying to get to the to the crown. And that's it. Yep. So I have no more turns. It doesn't even matter what I do here. I have no turns. So. They're taking over two yeah. turbo. Like, why did you think see-through uniforms was a good idea? Orpheus is terror. That's a lot of movement. Okay. Stunned! Beautiful. Thunder his ass. <clears throat> so, where's the one? Here. 
Where's the one that attacks people who are already stunned? Because there's this, an ability that does that. So here we go. Lobotomize a creature that is stunned, prone, sleeping, or unconscious. Not enough movement. Ah! Oh, come on, I want to lobotomize him. <laughs> You're not going to let me lobotomize him? <laughs> womp womp. I want to lobotomize him. Come on. If ever there was a time to lobotomize someone, it's now. Levitate, he's already levitating. I can't fly over there. There's no ability to. Look, he doesn't have it. And he's already levitating. So they won't let me get over there. Yeah. Ah, oh, that was perfect. It sucks. Wait, what if I do this? Awesome, Can I do Greg. this first? Yes. Oh, but it knocked him back. So now I still can't lobotomize him. <laughs> Damn it, fucker. <laughs> Just once, all I ask is to be able to lobotomize someone once. Is that too much to ask? Oh, good job. Yeah, apparently so. They will not let me lobotomize this man. Oh. Well, forget it. Uh, can we do this again? I can do it twice. The only bummer is then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be in harm's way because this guy's gonna attack me, right? It might not be that bad though, and I'm gonna see if I can get Shadowheart. She has all these turns to walk up and follow him and try to buff him. Well, if I do Force Tunnel again, it may kill him. It may not. Let's try it. It killed him. It killed him. But now this guy's gonna attack me, so hopefully the, he won't fuck me up, right? We'll see. Uh, everyone's gonna have a field day our, with uh, this. Resident I'm Genie. Confused. Can't wait to see what everyone comes up with. Did he help? Maybe he can teleport over here and try to help, uh, Dame Aelin. Yeah, he can. Damn! It had a constitution saving throw. This she died, this Dream Guardian died, but I didn't get the same Dame Aelin. It didn't work. So I need to get Shadowheart as close to Orpheus as I can get her. Alright. I say I'm wearing pajama pants right now, but that's because I'm at home. I'm not at work. At work I got a problem is pants man and everything. fucking rocket up there with a fucking turbo in his ass. So I can Misty step over there. Or I can just dash. Yeah, I want her to help to buff him. Oh my god, the movement is ridiculous. Holy shit. The movement is insane right now. Because you cast haste on him. So I guess move all the way up and buff him. I want her to be the target, not him. Now, what do we want to do? He's okay. He hasn't taken any health. Oh, he took a little bit of damage. Not a lot, though. Okay. So what do we want to do? I mean, we have so many options at this point, right? Yeah, this is the final fight, I guess. I didn't forget about the allies, but I'm trying to do what I'm told. I'm being told I have to do this in four turns or else it gets harder. That's what I'm trying yeah. to do. Chat told me what to do, guys, so I got to do what chat told me. Let's see. Sunbeam has a limit. Oh, that sucks. I was hoping I could hit two in a row, but it has a range limit. See that? Shit. Oh. Uh... What to do, what to do? I really don't know. Too many options at this point. He's immune to fire, correct? Uh, more like 140 hours. Yes. Resi no, no. He's resistant to cold. Oh, okay. I could call forth allies. Yeah, you know what? Fuck this. I'll call forth allies. All right, who do I want to help? 
Yurger, perhaps? How about a Hell Hellrider platoon? Let's get a Hellrider platoon right here and see what happens. All right, we got a team of three. Hopefully they help out. Devilor's with them, which is awesome. All right, and now I think we'll just do Sanctuary on Orpheus. And that's our turn. Okay. Nice. Why did you walk back into the fire? That is kind of weird that what they did the that. Fu nice! You freed... Wow, freed Dame Aelin. Perfect. And you died in the fire because you walked into it. They committed suicide. Well, Lazelle just died. Well, Lazelle is down. Not dead. Oh, shit. That's going to do some damage. Running? Yeah, running away, coward. Yup. Game Halen's turn. He said, Ugh. Poor Lazelle. I guess we're gonna have to have Karlak revive Lazelle, but Lazelle's standing in a line of fire. She might die even if she's revived, right? You choose where to place wow, those iron ass. gnomes are real smart, huh? <laughs> that was great. They fucking seriously just committed suicide. They're morons. If I do this, can she revive Lazelle? Probably not, right? Yeah, she's gonna get attack of opportunity no matter what, so I'm gonna have to attack the dragon. Alright, here's what we'll do. We'll save. It's a good place to save. Split the part. <clears throat> and likely I'll finish this fight in the next part. Um, I actually likely. see a dollar... You should have been in this fight already, jackass. From Jeppy Bezos, before you have Orpheus interact with the crown, do a save. Okay. Fair enough. I guess that means there's something else coming. Okay. Hold his hand. Good stuff. Hold Let's his split hand. the part and we'll continue get with the final battle. Hold his hand. All right. And before we get to that, I have to open the window again because it's hot in here because I never reopened the window after the landscapers were out there. The fuck, dude? You already got $211. You're really gonna have to stop the stream and beg a little bit more on your phone? Come on, jackass. Cool. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Okay, everyone, we're continuing on with the final battle. It's uh, Dame Aelin's turn, and really all she can do is attack this dragon because he's in her way. And uh, if she moves, he's just going to attack of opportunity here anyway. So might as well attack. Here we go. The moonbeam hit the dragon, and then she clobbered it. So that was good. She gets an additional move. Missed. And that's it. That was good. The moonbeam hit the dragon. That was cool. Well, Karlak, I think we gotta revive, uh... If she revives Lazel, is Lazel gonna die? Because she's standing in the fire? Is it gonna be, like, revive and she instantly dies again? You know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna do that, obviously. If that's Chat. the case, I don't know. Um, Can I, like, move the body? Use the call allies heal? Oh, we could do that. I could do that. I don't know if it really... I mean, Lazelle's really the only one who's hurt, though. One... Wow, the range is not going to help me at all. Two. I can only heal two people. 
Womp womp. And herself. That's three. Wait, it, it didn't select somebody? Who didn't it select? It didn't select a melee? Target must be an ally. Dame Aelin is an ally, but it won't target her because the dragon's on her body. Look. Here we go. Okay. There we go. So I can only heal three with this. It'll be Carlac, Lazel, and Dame Aelin getting the heals. Can you double up on the heals? You can. Oh, wait a minute. You can double up on the heals. Whoa, it fully healed her. Oh shit, that was amazing. I think chat's had to tell him what to do. I can't see Dame Alien's HP though. She got almost full health. Wow, that was amazing. That was super duper good. All right. Uh, well. Man, if Chad had told him to do that, he would have really I been could... fucked. Perhaps. Darn. I was going to say, can I come up here? I can. But if I do, I can't attack. Unless if I walk, can I jump after? You need a little bit of movement to jump. A little bit. I'm going to move up here. See what I can do. If I go, like, right here. Find a route. It works. No, not enough movement. Are you kidding? Not enough movement? Oh, come the fuck on. Uh -huh. I need like a, a minuscule amount of movement to jump up here, and they won't let me do it. Thank you, game, for fucking them over again. They won't let me jump. Well, I guess I gotta stupidly use arrows then. Just a bunch of arrow shots. It's gonna be lame. That was pretty lame. Not gonna lie. Enraged throw. Throw the Orphic Hammer. Throw the Doom Hammer. Throw something at this guy. Don't throw your Greatsword. I don't want to throw this because then my Greatsword will change in my hand. Yo, I don't need the Orphic Hammer anymore, right? I just throw the fucking Orphic Hammer at him and hit him in the head. Right? Right, Pizza chat. Box Gaming, thank you for the super right, chat. Changes. Proud of you. You're almost there. Right, yeah, this is it. Chat, right? Right, chat. I wish chat, I had too chat, much right? right? Chat, 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 I'm going right? to throw the Doom Hammer. See what it does. Let's find out. Critical miss. It said 95% chance to hit, and it had a critical miss. Wow. Womp womp. Well, Lazel, you have revived, but you have no turn, which really sucks. Because she has no turn, she can't... Her haste is fucking ruined, right? But she can use a potion of speed. So now she gets a turn. I think it's time to kill this fucking dragon is what I think. Too bad his chest I'm willing to troll him at this point. Again, with how many times he's saved, I wouldn't go back too far, would he? You were able Let's to kill the dragon. Stupid. A critical hit. For some reason, she doesn't get her bonus attack, even though she hit with the critical hit. Six health left. Finish it. Oh, fuck you, dragon. Get the fuck off my battlefield, bitch. Interfect. Interfectorum Draconis. Kill the red dragon in the upper city. Gone. Killed that bitch. Alright. Where do I go from here? I think I should summon more allies. Seriously. Wait a minute. Who the fuck is that? Who's that? Are there more illithids that are gonna teleport in here? I think there are. I think more illithids are gonna show up. DSP should be giving an MVP trophy to your chat. So, my concentration is still working. It is right. No one, no one. Yes, good. Who else do we get out here? How about Jurger or Ooh, 
Florix Cohort. Floric and her group are here? No, Floric didn't show up. It's just the fist, but they, she didn't come. What the fuck? What's your problem? Get a cane. Brutal leap. Stupid tentacles. Can't slow down. They're all stunned up there. All right, Zorpheus' turn. It's time to start taking these guys out, right? Crap. I don't want him to hit her. Okay, he won't if I do it this way. Save See you, Lee. Thanks for hanging blast. out. God damn that bullshit. Look of the Far Realms. A double critical? It did a double critical and insta-killed him. No, it didn't. It knocked him back. He's right here. Okay. So wait. He's prone. He's not stunned. He's prone. Okay. Oh, here yeah, we go. I can do it. This, fight. this should have been yes, a hell I can of a eat fight. It. You should have been a I can lobotomize fight. him. We can lobotomize him. And instead, he's going to breeze lobotomize. through guys in chat helping. It'll... And he's over $200 in the tip, so he's very It was happy. ultra delayed action, but it worked. We lobotomized his ass. I always wanted to lobotomize someone. Anyway, uh, we could cast Compulsion of Karsis. Well, actually, we can't. We don't have it. We do not have a, uh, we don't have a turn. Next turn, we can do it. But we don't have everyone up here. Carlac is there. We're trying to get everyone up here. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get everybody up here. We're trying, right? Poor Lazel is down here under the body of this fucking dragon. I can't even see her. Look, there she is. I guess we're done. That's our turn. We won't do anything else for now. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll just stay here. What about our Jin? He has nothing to do down here. Because we don't care about these tentacles anymore. These don't matter. We'll just leave the tentacle and, uh... Really, what do we have left? We have the two Mind Flayers. And that's it. Just the two Mind Flayers. So we're almost ready to go. Only your party in Orpheus faces the Netherbrain? Oh, I see. Well, I guess we're almost done then. Wish you could heal. Nope. He has no healing ability. Um, I want to dash him up over here. I want to basically again. have him be a human shield for Orpheus. Guess who's back? Back again. Lee is back. Tell a friend. Everyone just got insane buffs, right? Loot the dragon. Carlax spear might be in there. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, and to think, without that spear, he couldn't Darn, possibly beat the game without that spear. Right I wonder why. Oh wait, he's he about to beat the game without on the spear. Him or is it off? Womp womp. I oh, uh, I guess I'll attack the. Uh, what's his name over there? What if I put a Guardian of Faith over there just to troll? Oh, I can't. Can't get over there. 
Oh, she has such limited range. Try this. No Ryan Tannehill, okay. no Pete Carroll. Oh, I have a double turn. Because there's a lot of people, coaches and players that aren't going to be in this season, apparently. Ryan Tannehill, I don't understand. Like, why the hell has he not been signed even as a backup? Like, how she much money is he asking for? We're not even a no, backup the position be open to him. Well, Dame Aelin, did she fly up there? Yes. No. You get close. You fly here. Another tentacle spawn. Jesus. Those tentacles are ridiculous. The tentacles are outrageous, guys. Too many tentacles out no, there. I don't have any movement speed to do this. I'll dash. Wait, dash? Why does she have dash or dash? They can give her two dashes. It's a glitch. Should I dash or dash? Okay, so Orpheus should should start invest or start interacting with the brain. Got it. Do that next. Cause you're right. It did say it's gonna take like a turn, right? I think it did say that. Oh, those deadly tentacles! I'm so nervous. Look at Pizza Box. Let me get Pizza Box on the leaderboard for a super chat. Thank you for that. Alright. I'm fine. Let's just fuck this person up. Ready? I don't care that you're reflecting back. You're gonna be dead with the next hit anyway. I don't get two shits. Uh, Fuck off. We're done. We killed everyone. The only thing left are the tentacles, so we got plenty of time to do whatever we want here. And then reinforcements show up and fuck them up. Oh, reinforcements. Good. Everyone come up here and chill. We are good. Look at that. They're attacking the tentacle because there's nothing else to do. DoorDash. Come on, Lazels. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if the ASP has an Uber Eats membership, too. Good. Here, uh, Astral Knowledge. Gain proficiency in all skills of a chosen ability. Let's do... Strength. Actually, I don't even know. What should I do? Dexterity? Why not do this? I have nothing else to do. Here, strength. Probably not even gonna do anything. Watch. <laughs> I do nothing to help. I have nothing to do. Does she have a potion? No. I can't even drink a potion. I have nothing to do. Alright. Still breathing. Come on, gang. Just do something to fuck with him. Okay. Where's Dash? I can't even find it. I have too many fucking things. Alright. We're done. Oh, comes on this game. How Whoa, what do you give us? I don't know what that is, but it looks good. 
All right, so we're gonna do this. Let's see. Oh, you know he doesn't tip. Because I don't know what's about to happen. Let's get him to start to interact with this. Only he deserves tips. No one else, dude. Okay. Cast spell. And turn. And turn, right? Okay. Wow, you really want to go down there and attack these tentacles badly, huh? Look at this. The gin doesn't need to do anything. The gin doesn't need to do anything. Really, DSP? The gin needs to do nothing. Are you like a clown? No, I'm not a clown. Professional gamer. Oh, so you're a clown. <laughs> Keep it up. Just have to hold out till the spell is complete. Exactly. Let's just heal. Let's do a group heal on everyone. Everyone get blessed. And everyone get Blade Ward who doesn't have it. And just chill. We have nothing else to do. Just hang out. Don't let him be interrupted. Interrupted by what? There's no enemies. There's no enemies. I can't possibly be interrupted. I, I cleared the board. He immediately right? gets interrupted. There's like no suspense here because there's nothing to fight. Come on. Immediately gets interrupted. Come on. Get interrupted. It'd be hilarious. I'll just chill. We have nothing to do. Here comes the Nautiloid. For some reason, they skipped Carlac's turn. I don't know why, but they skipped Carlac's turn. Womp womp. It wasn't even explain. Oh, you know why? Her speed potion ran out. That's what it is. Her speed potion ran out, so she loses a turn. Not that it's a big deal at this point. So, no new enemies, just tentacles. It shows the Nautiloid, but the Nautiloid doesn't do anything. So I have nothing to do, still, right? Never a dull moment. Come on, game, this is your last chance to fuck with him. If you let him beat you, you can't fuck with him anymore, game, until he does a Dark Urge run. There we go. <laughs> it worked. Amazing. Here we go. Come on, game. Don't you want to fuck with him? The brain is weakened. This is our chance. Let's do it. Unbreakable Will of the Nether Brain. 300. Chains of Karsis. The Nether Brain is too powerful for even the momentary god's magic. Karsis's compulsion could not dominate it completely. The spell has instead bound the brain's will in place temporarily. To complete the domination, you must strike it down. But we have to beat it up. Come on, game. Fuck with him. Fuck with him. Fuck Sounds with like him. Come 
On brain, we need this. Mind broken. What does that mean? Can't use reactions. Mind broken. Target cannot be moved by any force. Okay. Alright, we're fine for now, alright? Jin. The Jin cannot go in. We should just get out of the way. The Jin cannot go in. Uh, I'm sure nothing would stop DSP from getting the Jin in his belly. What is all my summons were out here still fighting the tentacles? So I kept teleporting out and back in and back out and back in. I'm used to it at this point. I'm used to the jankiness of the game. I'm like, I know that's what's going on. <clears throat> Reinforcements are about to show up. I don't care. I'm already in here. Indeed, we definitely have the upper hand at this point. I mean... So you think. I have to go all the way that way? What if I jump? Okay. So let's uh beat the shit out of this thing. Sunbeam? Saved. God damn it. Did like 12 damage. Womp womp. Uh Can she cheat? And can she now summon her level 6 summon? Planar ally? No, it's not here, is it? Did they remove it? No. I can summon a planar ally now. Nice. Well, that's going to be cheap. <laughs> she can't go in. Nope. I say have her fly down here because the reinforcements are coming. So just have her fly down here and get ready for the reinforcements. Yeah. Why would you not want her up top where she has advantage? Alright, whatever. Alright. One of my allies was standing in that like an idiot. Can't help that. I have to defeat in five turns. I have to defeat it. It says five turns to beat the brain. The rage ended. Oh shit! I have to recast rage. She does not have. Haste. Oh, she does. She 
She can get to it. Yeah, she can. Nice. Time. Oh, Simon roll. But I got mine broken. Yep, so I don't get another turn. I got mine broken. Okay. At least I hit it. Yeah, this is Dark the final boss, Taja. Sure this is it. Follow you into the gate. Good. I'm gonna live. He's like, all right, guys, seven o'clock. Like, you have one more hit to okay, win. But it's seven o'clock, guys. I gotta clock out. It's down to two health. Just hit it one more time and you win. But I gotta clock right, out. I don't know what the fuck it is. All right, uh, ray of fire. Yeah, ray of fire, right? Critical hit. Cool. That'd be hilarious if he had one of those Garrett. We go in. This is it. Its will is weakening. So I have uh opportunity to destroy it here. With some pretty high level spells. I have a free chain lightning. It's absolutely great. 43 damage, absolutely great damage there. Wow, great damage again. And now I can't do a third, but that was pretty good. Pretty good damage turn. Very good. The reinforcements are coming soon. Okay. Not prone, sleeping, stunned, or unconscious. Darn, I can't extract the brain from the brain. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. That's gonna hit my allies. What a tentacle whip. Nice. Another tentacle whip. It's about to be dead. It's about to be dead. Lazelle never made it in, did she? Where is she? Did Lazelle ever make it inside? Where is Lazelle? I don't even know where she is. Where's Shadowheart again? I don't know where Lazelle is. She never made it in. Womp womp. Yeah, I didn't need divine intervention. I'm gonna I'm about to beat the game without it. So I guess I never needed it. Oh well, save it for another life. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Poor health. Come on. Fuck him up. Miss. Miss. It missed. <laughs> Tremendous. Of course she missed. The fight continues. It missed. You're kidding me. <laughs> Every single fucking time with her, isn't it? Can I hit it with some crawler mucus or something? Nothing. I have nothing to deal damage. I have nothing to deal Every damage single at all fucking time with Shadowheart. Wow. That's why I don't have her in my parties. Wait. I get so many. Oh no, it's immune to force damage, so the spirit weapon would, would be worthless. Unreal. Wow. So we need to wait another turn to finish this thing. 
Oh my god, it missed. Who's this? Game alien. Oh. You're not even doing anything, just stand around. You left Dame Allen sitting in the fucking explosions, dumbass. Got a heart died. Yep. That's what she gets. Shadow Heart died. Dude, you're Carlac, you're right next to him. Fucking hit him! If we kill it, she's still gonna be she's gonna be alright, right? She won't she'll still be in the story. Or do I have to revive her? I can't. Actually I have no way to revive her, do I? She was our she was our healer. Dude, four health, just fucking hit it! Stare at chat for ten she's minutes still really? Alive, so if I win now, she'll be in the ending. You I have so. twenty minutes to go! Are you really gonna take twenty minutes to fucking hit this fucker? Resist. Holy shit, DSP, you're about to take twenty minutes to hit him one more time to she kill him. She got revived. Yep. Oh my god. There. Wait, 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 wait. At last. It is subdued. Spare me. Join me. Wield me. Become absolute. And thus, I honor my mother's legacy. <clears throat> the grand design, once again, ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. Opportunity, hold on, let me, uh, stay. So go ahead, command the brain to destroy all tadpoles and then itself, or you become the absolute. No, I don't want to become the absolute, so. All right. Bye bye. So this is the good ending. Hopes, nightmares, and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn elithids. Good ending. Obliterating all thought, all feeling. Your tadpole burns in your brain. Silence. For the first time in a long time, your thoughts are entirely your own. And then gravity. And then Gravity. Gravity? I to what did I say? I said, you're standing on a giant brain. If you kill the brain, what's going to happen? You're going to fall. I hope someone's going to catch your ass. Or hopefully you have the feather fall shit going. Well, people are going to be eating brain meat sandwiches for a while. <laughs> Whoa! An over three month long playthrough, guys. 
you I heard you just link the epilogue, and obviously I want to do that, so I guess we'll see. After doing this much of the game, I definitely want to see the epilogue. What's up, King Michael? I want to say the good ending. It's an ending. Probably has the best results, but is it a good ending? Eh, it's up to you to decide, uh, right? About three and a half months. We started this around the middle of December. So, here we are at the end of March. We didn't even get to summon all the allies. We ran out of time. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't use Gale to nuke it, so Gale's okay. I mean, in reality, that wasn't that hard, you know? Who cares about Gale? Don't get headaches. <laughs> that was my spear? Oh, she got my spear. She found my spear and she's using it right now in the, in the final fight, I see. <laughs> Done it. What the? Hada hada! Membership time! Work. Making it rain on Garrett, Pandari, Kosnov, Vond, and Nota Pathetic Cumcumba. <laughs> the Wolverine toy. Victory! Yes. Huzzah, huzzah! Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. For some reason, I'm Karlak. Why? She got the final hit? I guess so. It says that I'm patrolling Karlak right now. <laughs> huzzah! Huzzah! Because <laughs> of him finally finishing the fucking game. You wanna finish the fucking game? Uh oh. Should have learned to bloody swim. Can't believe I almost drowned at the last hurdle. My powers. They're draining. Just like Mizora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of yeah, things. Yeah, shouldn't he revert to human now? Fucking hell. It's so Yay, funny. Carlax, I'm in roll, love you. I can't feel the tadpole. <clears throat> they must have all died with the brain. That means we can't turn into mind flayers. Not that there's necessarily anything wrong with being a mind flayer, of course. <laughs> when my time in the prism stretched out like eternity. When escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. But now he can't. I was wrong. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Yeah. Now help me destroy myself. You must. Oh, does so he do it? have to do it, but he wants it. It's what he wants. It seems like everyone who's a mind flayer eventually succumbs first, to it and wants the power, even if they, they want to control I need it. Your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos. And ride to the astral sea. Nice. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. I have no idea where that spear you went. Well, unfortunately, need you. Oh, I think she should do it. I'll say this is your choice to make, not mine. I entrust it to you. Let her make her own decision on what she wants to do. Duty. <clears throat> All my life, I've traveled in its slipstream. Not once questioning its path. 
In his service, I came here. And now, I will carry your hope, Prince Orpheus. Aha. And I will carry your burden. But to that burden, I must add my own. The loss of those I leave behind. Luck crushed, Macvleck. So be it. Now, give me my freedom from this form. You don't deserve to die. You're a mind flayer, but you're still you, aren't you? Yes. But for how long? Right. Exactly, for how long? My mind screams. And it's such a good game, D-Dog. I can't wait for you to play it. slipped away from me entirely. I will not be Gake. I did what I did to save my people. The rest is up to them. Someone else must rise within the ranks to lead the revolution against Vlakith. Give me my freedom. And before from I forget, this form. let's create posts. Release my soul to the astral seas while I still have one to call my own. All right, we're gonna do the honorable thing. Visibility, all channel members. I mean, invite to the wants. Discord. Is, you may not be able to return to your people, but you deserve to live to see their future. Yeah, but again, this is what he wants. Here's the thing we know about mind players. It doesn't seem like no matter what they try or how good they want to be, they Space all catch eventually human give in. Even the Emperor. Looks like originally he did just want to break the control of the Absolute. But then once he was free of its control, what did he do? He went and he mind controlled Duke Stelmain and basically got her murdered or, or made her kill herself. As she just went nuts. And then his whole part in this plot. Yes, he wanted to end the Absolute, but ultimately he wanted to get power back too. So... It just seems like sadly he's right. Like once you're infected with the whole mind flayer deal, you just give into it at some point. It's just a it's a matter of time, right? Now that's true that we know of Omelum. Omelum seems to be good now. Doesn't mean that maybe somewhere down the line he'll also give in, right? The way I see it, we gotta give him what he wants. You know, I gotta give him what he if, if this is what he truly wants, then we should give him what he wants. And now he dies a hero. Rather than turning into a villain later. Is she gonna do it? Is she gonna fly right now? To go kill fucking Vlakith? Holy shit, do you get to see it in the game? No, that would be cool. For her. You get to fucking see it. I can never forget you. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlagir. Liberator. Liberator. Wow. He's waiting for his super chats and tips to come rolling in. Like, guys, I beat the game. Where's my reward? Bitch, you already had two hundred eleven dollars. Fuck off. Time for some dragon surfing. To the skies. They go through their boom tubes. <laughs> How do you know about boom tubes? Look, the Githyanki take flight. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence. Did that so fucking late? He's such a dunderhead. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Gionfo. It fell in the river? <laughs> if I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. With the crown in my hands, I would be unstoppable. The casts I weave would be mine to command. I would be more than the greatest wizard who ever lived. I would be a god. Do it. Good luck. Don't forget me when you're a god. Is that really what you want, Gale? 
Want, need, deserve. Choose whatever word you prefer, but it is what I'm going to do. Mistra has dictated the terms of my potential for long enough. The crown would grant me control of my own destiny at last. Think of all I could achieve. All that I could grant to those whose ambitions are restrained by Mistra's yoke. I could raise a new Netheril, right here in Faerun. Good luck, don't forget me. Your hubris was your downfall once, Gale. I thought you were wiser than to make the same mistake again. And I thought you were wise enough to recognize that I am not the man I once was. It seems that we've come to an impasse. You got through the very end, Luis, with lots of help from chat. And you would try to keep me grounded. It's not your. What fault. the fuck is this? I can hardly expect you to understand. Why are we looking at someone's turrets in his ass? This chance because you're unwilling to imagine a world where I succeed. Ah, uh, I will never forget you. That much I promise. And if one day you feel differently, I will be honored to have you as my chosen. So we don't get to do anything there. Basically, that happens no matter what. Another low mortal grasping at godhood. Perhaps he will manage it and be everything he promises. Perhaps not. <laughs> better for the world not to find out at all, I think. And certainly better for Gale that Mistra does not. But he set himself on his path. We have our own next steps to think on. So, what now? One person dropped 150 that bucks, that's how. I could use a flagon or three of ale. <laughs> so we have no idea what happens with Gale. He could succeed, he might fail. We have no clue. I think a celebration is in order. We should stay in the city. Let's get rid of this, get out of this godforsaken city. I hear Am is lovely this time of year. Of course a celebration is in order. Very well. Perhaps after a drink or five, I'll be tempted to inflict some of my singing on you all. As if the city has not suffered healthy. enough. A lot of people died so we could get to this moment. Let's go find somewhere to offer them a toast. Yes. Cool. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be... Oh, away. she's going to die, isn't she? So he He's about to die. And she goes to a furnace. Oh, god damn it. What a shitty ending. I tried to save her. Uh, engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. Then I can do. There was no there was no option ever presented to save her. So, how'd I do? You were spectacular in every way. You do what we needed doing. It doesn't matter, it's over, so you were spectacular. So are you, my friend. My I say I never got her ending like this because she wanted to join my party I in my first playthrough. You. <sighs> Careful, hot. This is bullshit. There was no way to save her besides get... turning her to a mind flare, which is I shitty. Such nonsense. I did my best. No way to save her. Uh, it's the one thing I can't beat, isn't it? I wanted to live in my city. But if you go to Avernus, you get friends. saved. My life is for the living. And I saw... <laughs> Goodbye, son. Goodbye, sea. Oh. I won't allow this. Oh. Karlak, you're coming with me. Back to Avernus. We can't let her die. Not like this. Which camera? Off to Avernus. You can't. Go, we'll be with you. You won't be alone anymore. It's your decision. You have to choose. We'll go with you. Zeriel won't be able to touch you. Enough. The three of us will make a new life in Avernus together. Yay. Well, enough. It should be me who goes to the Carlac. You could still live. No will. Carlac's made her choice and she's ready to go. Wow, you get a million options. You get a ton of options, right? And I mean, any of these would be interesting RPG options. She goes with Will. Oh, you dev you I'll definitely say scum here all and do all the options. Go, and that could be the next adventure, right? 
Like, any of those are valid options. Huh. I'm afraid if, if I have her choose, she's going to kill herself. And I don't want her to kill herself, obviously. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Well. Come on, Dark Scale. Feel you got anything else better to do? It's one of the... Oh, man, they're all... I don't know. Which do you choose? I don't think... I don't think she would willingly do it. I think that she would say no. If you say two. So it's one or three. I'll do one. So, what do you say? Die here now, or live on with the blade of Avernus at your side. Zariel won't touch you. I swear it, Karlak. Ah. Yay! There we go. Cinnamon roll lives. Cinnamon roll lives. But we have to go. Now. Wow, you don't have a way there, do you? I can't hang on much longer. How the fuck are you going to get there? You don't have a portal. What happened? They don't even show it? <laughs> they don't even show it. And it's all because well, at least she survived. Awesome Thank DLC God. To go to. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no Illithid Empire. No Death God's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the sword. Hey, remember Baldurin? Yeah, sir, salute Baldurin who just tried to kill you. you and we just stomped his ass Baldurin's like a bug. Gate. Am I crying? No. <laughs> oh, is this it? We get to see them in hell? Yes. Cool. Thank God. Well, soldier, here we are. Yay, Carlac. It worked. My engines calmed down. What are we stare? Oh, no, it glitched. It, it fucking glitch. glitched. It didn't glitch. Shut I can't the fuck even up. do anything. Look. Here. You piece of shit. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zara's going to come at us with everything she's got. Did it glitch again? It glitched again. Gods. Like clockwork. They'll be on us soon. There's just enough time. We get rock music for the end. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. Cigars. It's glitching again. You're fucking shitting me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Oh, uh, isn't that how Hellboy lights a cigar with his thumb? But then, there was you. Will gets a cool ending. Look at his face! <laughs> yeah, there's no. different grab modes when he used the wrong one. His face, it froze. It's fucking ridiculous. Let me guess, it would have been sure talking to you instead of just Will if you had made that choice to all three of you go. Charge. You would have been on the left side. Yep. That's still cool though. That's a cool ending. For her anyway, that's a happy ending. And I guess for Will, since he's stuck half demon, right? Tiefling. Which is real bullshit. He had the he worst plot. Turn into a Will had the worst plot in the whole game. It's Not a demon, shit. a tiefling. He just gets shit on the whole game by the, everything around him. Look at now we're stuck again. Are you kidding? I can't even advance. What the fuck is going on? 
Yeah, Will's plot is shit. He's he's like he's not the worst character. He's just treated the worst. Seriously. He's like a plot device rather than a character. Alcin was eager to leave the city after the Netherbrain fell. Although you remained for a ten day to help the wounded, some of them accompanied you when you left. Their homes were rubble, and the promise of a sanctuary sheltered from the city was appealing. They helped to build the place you now call home, hidden from those who are not welcome, open to any who need shelter. One day, Halsin returns from a patrol of the borders with a letter held in his jaw. What? You read it. What? As you, as you scratch his behind ear. his ear? What? Of your friends and allies. Oh. Uh, well, he, he's this. His accident. usual form is a bear. The gathering will not be in you would know this if you paid attention to the game. <laughs> what? How Sin considers his true form to be uh, the bear. Gee, thanks, Larian. I'm sure I chose this one. What happened? Well, he considers here. his bear form his true form. Fucking hell. How do you go through this entire game and not know that? Whoa, he became a god. No awesome. way. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, they're getting married together. Thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it what? to halt. Though thou wert it's a fucking wedding. Apart, what? <laughs> after the collapse of the absolute, what is happening? Tonight, fate renews thy bond. Oh my god, thou shouldst take How the fuck are you me? talking about? DSP, shut the fuck up. It is a great <laughs> weapon. This is today, two hundred eleven bucks. Ending. What? Go. <laughs> what no the fuck? Once more. What the fuck just happened? There was no wedding. Where the fuck are you getting uh, a wedding from? Right. Where the fuck did you get a wedding from? What the fuck? How the hell? So you're are you literally forced no matter what? It, you the game just randomly selects someone, basically. You're not married! What the fuck are you getting a marriage from? What the fuck? It straight up says it's a reunion! Well, what oh, the wow, everyone fuck? Has outfits now. Look, they have end game outfits. That's neat. What it is is they're all going back to their camp positions. You can have final conversations with them, right? Yes, but it's not a fucking marriage or a wedding. What the fuck? Yeah, so the game glitched and gave it a romantic relationship. It didn't do that! You notice her eyes are glowing? I think she became the god of the gith. I just want to fucking tase him right so. in the fucking balls. I think she became god of the gith because her eyes are glowing. That is awesome. Go, Bazel. Go, Bazel. This is the original camp, too. <clears throat> no? All right, so should we say... We don't have time for this right now. Does anyone know how long this takes? How long does this segment take? Holy fuck, right are now? you Someone about to do an, an entire hour, right? day stream because for this shit? Obviously, I don't have time to finish this now, and I want to give it some time. Took about an hour. Okay. All right, well, here's what we'll do then. It was a nice drink. I have an idea what we'll do. We'll do nice this drink. Friday night. Since this is done now and this is the finale, we'll just, we can flip the streams, right? We can flip them and that's probably exactly what Are we'll do. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna drag it out Friday another fucking them. stream. And that way, since people want to see me kind of formally review this game, I can do like a, 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 a formal review of it. That makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, I have no idea where the fuck you got. Because I want to give, I want to give it time. I mean, we played 140 hours, guys. I want to do the real ending. I'm not gonna rush through this. I've already gone over this stream. So, and obviously, I want to see the epilogue for everyone. I'm sure they all have interesting milk, milk, milk. I don't want to be Mr. Milk. So that's what we'll do. All right. And uh, so hopefully, you guys will come back. I realize that obviously, right. It's when literally it dialogue. There's no gameplay. This stream being a night stream for the finale. I hope that people will show up. Because you guys have shown up the whole time as a day stream, but obviously this is the end of it. I want to see how it ends. 
but we don't have time for tonight and i don't want obviously this is not enough to carry a whole day stream right you have the all the time in the world all right well you literally have nothing to do saved. it's time to end today's stream but i'll be back on friday night for the friday night finale of baldur's gate who the fuck is that up there playing the guitar the friday night finale of baldur's gate 3 and I hope you guys will join me for that if you can make it. And if not, obviously it'll be on demand after the fact. Yeah, it's time to drink right. gin. Can't miss this that. This is also good. It'll give me more time for the other game I'm trying to finish. So, all right, guys, thank you so very much for watching the final combat of Baldur's Gate Three. When we return, it will be the true finale and final part of the playthrough. So I hope that you guys will join me for that uh, later in the week, or obviously, oh, if you want to join me doing? on demand, if you can't make that stream, uh, it would be really cool. And apparently I'm getting married to Halston. Isn't that great? You're not getting See, married! Just, I was scratching behind his ear, so you tell me what that means. All right? All right. Guys, see you next time. Okay. The good news is we are done. Right? The combat is done. We're just at a point now where we obviously want the epilogue, and we're going to do that on Friday night. So that's what we're going to do, guys. Tonight, it'll be Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Tomorrow, I'm off. Friday, it'll be Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth as the daytime stream. And maybe we'll be able to finish the game doing it that way. And then the night stream will be the finale epilogue of Baldur's Gate 3. And that means hopefully Saturday <laughs> it's we'll fine, be Vanguard. That would be great. Okay? All right, good. I'm so happy we got that done. Thank you guys for being here for that. Thank you for the support while I did it. I'll see you tonight, hopefully. Uh, if you can make it for Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth Endgame stuff. If not, I'll see you Friday. For the finale of hopefully both games. Okay? Why do you Thank put in the rest of And I will see you tonight. Turn off. What the fuck? And end stream. Where the fuck did you get it's a wedding from? I am just I am so confused. Where the fuck did you get it was a wedding from? I don't understand where he gets it's a wedding. And I know he doesn't understand the whole scratch behind the ears comes back with a letter in his mouth part because he doesn't pay attention to the fucking game. Halcene considers his true form not to be person, but to be his bear form. For him, his bear form is his true form. So yes, he comes back with a letter in his mouth and you scratch him behind the ear. Ugh. Fuck are you getting a wedding from though? <laughs> I am just not understanding where he's getting this from. And probably no Friday restream because I got work on Saturday at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I cannot be up till midnight plus. Unfortunately. Because unlike DSP, some of us have real jobs and we got to be there at 6 o'clock in the fucking morning. That could be a heard reunion as union and being a dumbass. Holy hell, DSP, how are you this fucking stupid? Hala hala for the dollar dollar, Jay Uso! New podcast titled BG3 Gay Glitch, huh? <laughs> I don't think I'll do that, but. And I doubt he would either.
say Wusao. Adam, do this. Wusao! Wusao, yep, spelled it right. All right. <laughs> Stream it while I'm sleeping. Uh, I don't think I'd get away with that. <laughs> Holy hell, DSP. How are you this really fucking stupid? They said union. No, they said reunion. A reunion. Not a union. But guys, I heard union. It's a reunion. Fucking hell. Hey, DSP, I get it. You're a fucking idiot, but how are you this stupid? <sighs> fucking hell. <laughs> Snort. Exactly, Robert Carmichael. Greedy Piggy! The reunion! Yes, he is. That is just insane. How the fuck do you get... It was a wedding. They straight up say it's a reunion. How the fuck do you get wedding? Fuck. He's so fucking stupid. But with that, guys, it is 7.16 my time. I have work tomorrow, 6 o'clock in the fucking morning. Woohoo. Got to be up at 4.45 a.m. So I'm going to get a shower and I'm going to get ready for bed. Thank you guys for watching. Hala hala for the da 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 da. Wusa. And Wesley for the donation of five gifted memberships. I already put the link to the Discord in a... Uh, community post so hopefully you guys can come into discord and join us and as always like subscribe comment down below now nah, he's not making a phone call to rambo he's making a donation to scopely and have one hell of a day tomorrow i'm gonna go see godzilla after work friday i got golf after work so maybe saturday i might start out uh, the pills of eternity so look out for Pills of Eternity coming up. Deuces. Godzilla in six hours? Awesome. Oh no, they say he's got to go, 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 Godzilla! I swear to God. I want to see Godzilla. I love Godzilla. I still got some VHS tapes of one of the guys. No, actually of, uh, what was it? Godzilla vs. Gigan. No, not Gigan. Megalon. Gigan's in it, but it's Jet Jaguar and Godzilla vs. Megalodon and Gigan. Then I have the original. The very first one on VHS. And then I got the American version on DVD somewhere. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Monarch, I don't think so. Hmm. Barbecue sauce is delicious. <laughs>